Alright, guys, what's going on? I'm trying to set up my stream. We should be live here. Oh, we got aces. What a good time. We played one hand with six already. Um, let's see. It's on a five-minute delay, so let's say. But this time, you guys get to see our cards. So, we're going to do some stuff different this time around. I also got a huge giveaway coming. Sorry. So, I think I got to wait five minutes. I'm going to have to open this up so I see all my chats live. So, we'll see. Aces, we made it four times the big blind. Let's see if somebody has the guts to play. Nobody wants to play. Okay. We'll take it. Well, if we're in a really conservative table, then obviously we're going to start raising a lot of hands. Uh, okay, i got to count my stream. I think we'll be in a five-minute delay here. So remember, this time I'm going to show the cards when a five-minute delay. And um, so if you ask questions, it's going to take five minutes. So we actually can remove this guy too. So you can see our hands. What is this new symbol? Oh, yeah, these emojis. Ugh. Seems to be a very conservative table, actually. But a lot of times you play it on the weekdays. Um, it's different. So it has uh, less people. That's also the big thing in Uruguay going on right now. But it has less people and it's more like trying to people that play a lot of poker, so more professional. Sunday is really the day to fire a bunch of bullets. Because if you get on a good run on Sunday, then um, you really build up chips too, which is nice. So my countdown right now is 160 seconds, so I'm waiting for that to come in. Hopefully you guys can come in then. Uh, it's just bidding on a big locker, but it was kind of BS, so... It was at $300, and we took it all the way up to 17000 But I think the guy's bidding is probably not going to pay for it, unless he knows something I don't know. So they'll probably send me a backup offer for $17,000, which is kind of BS because I, I was the high bid at 1000 and somebody just ran it up. But we'll see. I mean, who knows? Maybe he'll pay for it. I mean, maybe he has the same knowledge as I do. You never know. This one, uh, let's put this over here so I can watch. Sorry, like I said, the first five minutes will be slow because I'm running five minutes late, so I can't talk to you guys. And because I'm also streaming on YouTube and Facebook, I cannot really run crazy music. If I only stream on Twitch, we can have a lot more music options and stuff like that. So I'm actually going to consider to start doing all my live streams on Twitch exclusively. Because with Facebook and YouTube, there's just so many copyright issues. And it makes my stream a little bit more boring because I don't, I cannot have to upbeat energy with music and stuff. 7-5 obviously, we put a flop the gut shot draw. So that's the new thing in poker now. A lot of people raise hands in early position. They're aggressive, younger European players especially. And then today we're also going to play more aggressive. I feel like the last couple of Venom tournaments I played pretty conservative. Very tight. And uh, just didn't work out. So I think I'm going to try to play a little bit more aggressive. Build up some chips. We started with 300,000. The hand that you guys haven't seen yet was pocket sixes. And the board was... King, Queen, 10, Jack, and a 9, I think. And we bet like 35,000 on the river. Ace 10, we would have flopped a gut shot, but obviously full house possibilities already, so no point in drawing to that. Pick up double belly buster, miss. Probably would have been good if we hit since they checked the turn. 
Okay, so I think I'm live now. Let me go to my YouTube over here. Okay, if we're live, we can close this. Here's the seventeen thousand dollar unit. Close that. Let's see. Reload. Are we live? We are live. Perfect. So let me open this up so it's in the chat window. see live chat what's up shay weak place so like i said you guys are gonna see all my chat in a life in a five minute delay but you get to see it live i need to install a third screen to be honest what's up sapan lukey fresh oh you know i have to turn this up otherwise you guys hear this i think um looks like our audio is good five six offsuit we fold okay let's see if we can see all the chat and opx what's up john let's go dilip ghost of m in the house acr acr hey guys we have a huge giveaway too we're gonna do a huge giveaway yeah uh, um there is a part two for the video coming so it's coming sunday but we were just trying to buy another locket and we took up to 17000 I think it was probably a fake bit, but we'll see what happens. See if I get a second chance offer. If I hit the lotter, we can do a $100 buck one-on-one. -on -one. Let's do it. Whoop, whoop, go, Renee. So, um, yeah. This time, like I said, it's on a five-minute delay. Oh, you know what? Let me see if I have the delay thing right here. Image, uh, which one is it? Streams of, so we want to show that one. Okay, we'll put this. Okay, streaming is a five minute delay. What's up, Wendy on YouTube? What is that game? It's poker. Servus aus Deutschland, Facebook, do me. We also should be on Twitter, and at Ghost of M was on Twitch. So, like I said, I might, I might start streaming on Twitch exclusively, build up that platform. When am I giving away the ticket? Um, I'm going to play it by ear. So um, probably the next hour or two. Where's the other part of the rug video, Ashing? Uh, I think I'm going to have another one coming Sunday. Phil Lupo, what's up, Phil? Yeah, the second part is going to have a twist in it. What's this legend doing? What's up, SoundQuest? Legend is playing poker. We're in a five-minute break already. That was fast because we started late. So it's already been going on for 45 minutes. But yours truly was bidding $17,000 on a locker. But we didn't even get it. Which is funny, but that's the thing that sucks about online auctions. See, this locker right here, it was at uh, $300. It went up to $17,000, like literally the last two minutes, me and one person were bidding. I don't know if it's a real bet. Like people with online auctions, sometimes they just enter the numbers and then I'll get a backup offer, which would suck. But... um. What happens is, like, you know, that's why I like live auctions. That's why I think online is kind of BS. At live auctions, you have to be there. You have to bid. You have to pay. Where you don't have to do that uh, in online auctions. But we'll see. Maybe, maybe the person pays. Maybe it's a real bid. I don't know. Yep, I'm back in the game. I was in the game. Poker Goat, what's happening? So we have a big giveaway today. What's up, Sam from Ohio? If you guys haven't done it yet... Let's go over here really quick because we're in a break right now. We're in a five minute break. Message. What's the message? Uh, okay. Notifications. Um, and, like, you know, it's funny because we, we kind of put that out there, but a lot of people don't didn't really follow the. Um, there's a lot of people that did follow, but a lot of people didn't follow the instructions. So you want to do this right here. This tweet right here. Read this. It has um, like a lot of retweets, likes. But, oh, that's a cool card right here. Star card. So I'm, we're going to give somebody a ticket to Venom for Sunday. And, you know, that's a big shout out to America's Card Room. They said, hey, Renee, you should give your followers a big ticket. <coughs> the ticket to buy-in is twenty six fifty. So it's not a free roll or anything. It's a real tournament. The buy-in is $2,650. And uh, I watched your kids on TV. I left the show. I always been at home. Only one kid. Only one kid. Let's not spread rumors. What's up, Striker? 
We got Ghost of M and Shrike in the house. Ghost of M moderates us over um, on Twitch. Shrike pretty much pretty much helps out with Facebook, and his main thing is YouTube. Uh, I'm probably also gonna give away some percentages during the stream. Uh, you know, we might do it more on a day two. We'll see, cause I want to concentrate on playing some poker this time. Um, but you want to be there. So anyway, America's card room. They called me up. They're like, Renee, you gotta give your fans a ticket. So if you buy into this tournament, which 95% of people probably do, I mean, there's satellites you can win and stuff like this. But if you just straight up buy into it, you can, um, it costs you $2,650. You play day one. If you make it to day two, you're like, I think usually like 90% of the people in day two in a mini, and the money. Uh, minimum payout on that is usually um, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 in that range, depending how many people play. Um, I, this is not a PKO, so I think it's going to be right around there. But if you win it, it's like a million dollars plus. What's up, Fritz, Russell, and Thomas? So it's a million dollars plus. So we're going to give you guys a ticket, which is good for buy-in. It's a $2,600 value. Like, again, if you haven't seen it, go to Twitter. Hey, Shrike, I, I know you just got here. I don't know if you saw it. I was bidding on this room. It was at three hundred dollars with like four minutes to go, and then we started bidding up. Me and a guy, and it closed at seventeen thousand. But there's so much stuff lately where people, um, where people are just using fake accounts, never paying stuff. That's what I hate about the online auctions. So again, also this stream on a five minute delay. I say it one more time: five minute delay. But I think it's gonna hopefully make it more exciting. You guys get to see the cards. You guys get to play along. What's up, Frank from Nashville? So normally we used to do the street live. The chatting was a little bit better. Great to catch you not working your lockers. Enjoy some quiet time. How are you doing after the COVID scare? I'm good. I got it recently, but I'm okay with it. So I still got the COVID cough. So I'm hoping not to cough, but we'll see. What's up, Arvin from India on YouTube? So I see chat messages from Twitch. I see messages from Facebook and YouTube right now. I'm doing good, Corey. Let's see. I also got this one going. So, like, any questions? Like, I'm watching the live stream, too. So, any questions that you guys see, you, um, you'll you you'll see the um, answer, like, within five minutes. But, again, last time I asked, a lot of people said they prefer to see the cards. The other part of... Oh, I'm, so now I'm, re I'm watching the live, so I'm re-answering the same question I already answered. Let's go back to Streamlabs. What's up, Michael? Jerry? Little Numsky? Great videos of your storage unit. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, Fritz, you got the other comic book auction last unit Thursday? You know what, Fritz? When you pulled up, when you pulled up and you said you bought a quarter million dollar unit, I thought you were full of crap because people tell me that all the time just because I'm on TV. Everybody always comes up, but after seeing my unit, um, after seeing my unit, um, you know, I believe it. I don't know if you, did you have the comic books in there? So I know the guy bought crazy artwork. Um, I know a lot about the guy in the meanwhile. I, a lot of people, obviously, because, uh, a lot of people, because, um, a lot of people, because, um, I'm on TV and they see the videos. Then, you know, when we get these fines, they contact me. So I had a lot of his friends contact me. Um, did you bid on the other unit today? 17K. I have an idea what could have been inside. But I don't want to spoil the second video. But uh, so Fritz bought one too. And he, he got a good unit too, I guess. So at least he's saying on Facebook. I don't know him personally. So obviously not verified. What's up, Lewis? I'll be in Uruguay in October. Um... But, you know, actually, it's probably true because he just told me something that only he would know. He did say hi to us at the gate. Um, so, uh, yeah, so the other unit was really good. So I guess you probably did get a really killer unit there. So we found some really cool stuff in there. Um, unfortunately, we didn't really have comics now. So the guy did collect comics, too. But, um, I mean, who knows? It, you know, some like the way these units look. So now I've seen three of the units. And I, I didn't, well, I've seen two of the units. I didn't see the one Fritz bought. Um, I don't know. It looked like somebody might have came in and took a bunch of stuff out. I don't know why they wouldn't take the pulp magazines, but who knows. Um, Ace-10. All right. 
You know what? We said we're going to play a little bit more aggressive today. Hold on a second. I want to go over here really quick, too. I want to see my Facebook stream. Um, I'm going to be quiet for a couple minutes, guys. I want to check some of the... Make sure my Facebook stream is running the way I want it to run. Uh, we need to switch. Over here. So we are playing... This guy, Warzone, right here is in pretty much in every hand. <coughs> so his race, you know, we're not putting as much value. We're just trying to play our hand. Check. B bets will fold. Sorry, guys, I'm doing something on my Facebook. I'm trying to, but it's not working the way I wanted to. It's funny, like Facebook, like really lowers live stream. I think I'm going to start going live streaming exclusively on Twitch. I think that platform is just made more for that. Uh, let's go back over here. There's another video coming from Facebook. You have been coughing. Please get checked for dimer. I don't have dimer. It's, um... So whenever the summer comes, I always get the allergies with the air conditioning. I have bad lungs because I just have bad lungs. So I'll just leave it at that. But, um, so whenever the air conditioning comes and stuff like this, I cough. And then also, uh, it sounds suspicious on Lucky. I was thinking too, but I mean, who knows? Maybe somebody did pay 17000 on that. I mean, where do you play in Vegas besides when the WSOP is on? Hey, Fritz, DM me a message and then DM me your phone number. I'll call you later after I'm done with the live stream if you're still watching. Um, I mean, who knows? I'm always coughing during the summertime, and also I just got over the big, the the, the big um, sickness everybody has, and that caused to cough for a long time. Take it down. We'll see. We're early in day one, so we're gonna give away that twenty six hundred dollar ticket. So if you guys haven't done it, go to the Twitter account, retweet it, leave a message. The one thing that sucks about this giveaway, I have to pick somebody. So I have to pick. So I'm going to pick some story that I like. You know. What's up, Stony Cards 22? You slacking on the face like Rocket. Not slacking, guys. Remember, I, I film a TV show full time. Um, You know, I have a family. How much do I weigh? Uh, 330. Kind of a weird question, but okay. What's up, Lisa from Iowa? Hey snooze, snooze! Don't don't uh, don't spam the channel, please. That's the third time you put the same message. Hi UK from F Felix Stove. Felix Stove. Hmm. Time to stack up and bag. It's a hold'em tournament. Yeah, the buy-in is $2,600. We're about to give a ticket away in a little while. Go to Twitter. Uh, where's my tweet at? Home. Oh, Chris is giving away a ticket, too. Let's see what he's saying. Reading through some submissions for the Venom Seed and see several people I want to help but can't. If you don't play poker, then this giveaway isn't for you. It needs to go to someone that knows the game well enough to have a shot. I think that's a good statement, so I'm going to pay attention to. What's up, Andrew Saf? Appreciate it. Let's get them wins. By the, be the fan, by the way. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, Fritz is We got over a ton of rare Golden Age comics. I'm a friend of Vice. The, I don't know. Oh, Vice. Okay. Well, if you, um, Fritz, why don't you send me a DM, uh, send me your phone number. Uh, oh, Vice bought the $17,000 unit? Oh, he bet that high? Well, he's going to be disappointed, so. 
Are the book locker you bought available online? It was online, yeah. Well, Vice is, I think at $17,000, Vice might be disappointed. So, um, he bet that high because the second half of my unit. Um, what's up, Cleason News? Oh, you know, you sent me an email to Cleason News. I forgot to answer. Um, I wonder what's happening here. 21000 in a $26,000 pot. All right, we're full. Um, so a lot of those boxes that in this unit looked, I had those same type of boxes in my units, and there was no uh, Golden Age comics in there. I found a little bit of comics, but nothing crazy. Yeah, I'm working, Jen. I, can't, I don't want to give away what was in the second half of my other locker, but th that video is probably going to come Sunday. But if... Um, I gotta call Y seventeen thousand. I'm gonna call him in the next break. Yeah, Ben is streaming in a Facebook sucks. Yeah, I don't know. Oh good, so um Let me see. Alright, I'll find the comment later. Well Fritz, if you wanna sell a whole bunch of it at once, you know, I'll spend a couple hundred thousand dollars with you. So I know you said you have a quarter million dollar unit. I mean, you know who I am, so money's not a problem. But I don't know. I mean, you might want to just sell it one by one. The one thing I always tell my on my channel is um, when I teach people this business, I always say the best way is just to maximize the money for yourself. But, you know, some people like to get a check or cash for $100,000 at once. So. Oh, thanks, Don. It's okay. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm okay. I just get a cough still. It's all good. But like I said, I have to cough every year. Let me text message Vice right now. But yeah, I mean, I think at $17,000, that lock is a huge risk. Because uh, wait till you see the second half of my lock, and a lot of those boxes look like that. And um, it, um, I, ho I hope it doesn't, his second half doesn't look like the way it looked. Let me see where's Weiss in here. Okay, hold on a second. What's my Twitch channel? Also, our Barbie Hunters. Comedy Drainer says, I love your videos. Hope you win. Thank you. Thank you. Senior Dynasty. Hope you win. Can you play this in America? Yeah. I mean, I'm playing in San Diego. Oh, you're not going to see what Panini is at with their Dutch auction at 312. Oh, it must be passed, isn't it? Oh, it's sold out. Okay. Uh, Can you win something? Well, go to the Twitch account. Uh, I'm with Casey right now. Perry, let me ask you a question. When you make dumb comments like that, obviously my wife is downstairs. She was here a minute ago bidding with me. But like when you say dumb comments like that, like you with somebody else's wife, like does that make you feel better? Or I mean, I, I get it. Like that ignorant people, you guys have a hard time with things in life. But like why make a comment like that? And like why do it on the internet? You know, um... 
you know, in real life, guys like you just get slapped. You know that, right? Um, you, like, would never say that to a person, to a man, like, to anything, because it just doesn't work out. But it's just, I mean, I don't know what, like, when you say that, like, I'm really wondering, let's have a conversation, because, like, I don't get to talk to that many idiots. But we'll take advantage, because it's the internet, it's a safe space, so you can act any way you want to. Um, why would you say that, and, like, what do you get out of it? I'm wondering, really. Because ignorance is becoming a problem in America, and maybe if some of you guys speak up, and you talk about that internet warrior mentality, then maybe like normal society and successful people can help you. I've been watching from the Major League Baseball signed baseball. So that's awesome. Brian, I have some killer um I have killer boxes of baseballs. Alright, you know what? We're gonna go set mining. No set. I'm everywhere, buddy. I'm everywhere. Try to be. Sorry, I'm kind of flustered today because I got outbid on a huge locker, but I just didn't think it made sense at that because, like, we bought the one locker. It was really good. Then part of it got really, really bad. So who knows? See bedding. Okay, we have to fold. Should have just went all in pre-flop. We got to have a huge stream coming on Sunday. But let's start looking at the giveaway. Oh, I just saw Fritz. What happened to Face Locker? So the first unit, the first video is out. And then uh, we do sell online. It's gonna, so a lot of our books will be on eBay. I am paying attention. So if I miss some of you guys' chats, I'm getting a lot of chats coming in. Well, I'm just looking at some pictures from the other locker. But the other locker didn't have any comic boxes in it, so I don't know. I mean the the locker that just sold for seventeen thousand. The third locker. Storage was rules. What storage was rules? A seven call. No, A seven is not a good hand. Almost a straight. So you guys get to see my hands. But like I said, I'm not totally in poker mind today, because I just had a huge locker. There's somebody. So I'm talking to somebody that bought um. Captain Arrow. That bought a, the second half of the locker that we bought. And he paid fifty bucks. And he probably has $100,000 of comic books. The only thing, the condition of these seems a little rough. But, I mean, they look like they're amazing issues. Books, books, books. <coughs> Bargain Hunters on Twitch. Mike, wow, what's up? I didn't find the Holy Grail. I got a killer locker. I mean, I did find the Holy Grail when I bought the comic book whorehouse. But the guy who got the second half of the locker, he found he found a Holy Grail locker. He found a lot of money. But, uh... <coughs> um... 
and he only paid fifty dollars for the locker. But here's the deal. Um, like I wasn't paying attention on these lockers. I, you know, face rock bottom. I wasn't even looking, and um, ah, that's funny. And um, I never looked at the auctions. I wish I would have seen the second one. I would have bought that. Probably would have paid a lot more than fifty bucks. But I didn't see it. And, you know, I don't know, Fritz, if you're still here. Uh, if you're still here, could you see comic book boxes when you were bidding? I mean, obviously, you must have not been able to see. You must have not been able to see it because. Uh, let me see. You must have not been able to see it. Otherwise, the, the locker would have brought a lot more. It would have brought a lot more than $50,000. I mean, a lot more than $50. So those are the best lockers I tell people all the time. Like, you know, in the storage business, that's why I like buying 10 by 20s that are just packed. When you see a locker and it's like 20 comic book boxes up front, then um, then people will go crazy and overbid like crazy. And, you know, most of the time it's just, you know, common new stuff. This is, this is a tournament, but we bought it for 2600 but we're not playing with 200 k Hi, YouTube. I'm a new subscriber. What's up, Patrick? Did the guy have an answer who said earlier he was with Casey? Probably not, huh? Because like guys like that, they usually don't like being called out. All right, let's see if we can flop lucky. Missed. Check fold. Um. Oh, yeah. SoundQuest says they were raced by fool. I forgot I'm on a five-minute too, Lee. Did Daryl on the show make the most money? Uh, I don't think so. Don't feed that monster. To eh, I'm not feeding it. To me, it's funny. Okay, guys, I said today we're going to play aggressive, so let's see what happens. Aggressive. Aggressive poker. I'm going to cry in a second, I feel like. Oh, yeah, this is bad poker. Uh, yay, we lose. Okay, we're going to fire another bullet. I have another pre bot ticket. Oh, I still have chips. Shit. I'm totally not like I'm working a... Okay. All right, we're going to do another buy-in because we have to do the giveaway. Like I said, I'm planning on playing a uh, Super Series on Sunday. All right, let's re-enter. It's still early. All right, guys, let's do, let's work on a giveaway. Now I live in 66 Casino, and I have to go to Los Angeles, Vegas. On eBay, we're bargain at the thrift store. If you go to our YouTube videos, every video has a link in it. Um, let's see. So right here, I'm going to give you guys a few more minutes. So I know who bought the locker for 17000 so it's going to get paid. Who? White. And then I was talking to the guy who bought the second lock originally. He paid 50 bucks for it. 
and he sent me some pictures. Seems like a nice guy. I don't think I know him. Then but... have his wife know because you. Well, probably because this guy was talking about it. Ay, ay, ay. That's why they say in the business, uh, loose lips sink ships. But he didn't buy the set. Okay, everybody, remember Renee said that. Where did Renee learn that sentence? He learned it from me because Renee tends to talk a lot. I'm like, don't give away all the secrets. No, lo loose lips sink ships is a World War II thing. Or it might actually I be know, World War One. I. I'm the one who used to tell you that because this is way before we were ever on store doors. Renee would say stuff, and I would be like, don't say anything to our competitors. Here, look at these pictures. So we had this book for This is Avengers number one. We sold it for 5000 when it was graded. But um, this one looks no, rough. No, he got the comics. Yeah. Well, good. Everybody needs to get blessed. This is, um, this is, so he paid $50 for this locker, so all this stuff must have been hidden. It's kind of bad condition, but I think it's, I mean, I don't know. That book went up, so it's still, I mean, at minimum, that's a $3,000 book. And who knows? I haven't checked it in a while. It might be an 8000 Well, maybe he needed to get blessed. Here, this is, uh. Yeah, but Vice is going to eat doo-doo because you know what he doesn't know? Or wife? Well, I don't want to talk about the second half of our locker. And he said there's a reason why he didn't buy it too. But who knows? You know like, why? Be because it may not be comics in that book. He had comic books. I think he's going to have to paperback books, yeah. And it yeah. had the hardback books that sell for 20 bucks. Here, stay here. I'm going to show you some more pictures. Oh, I got so, um... Uh, um, I think Wise is going to have a lot of paperback books, which is going to be hard to make up. So 17000 plus 10% is going to be 18700 But see, this is another co nice book, Captain Adam. And then um, it says this is part of the Crest Roll Ross collection. So that's usually stuff that Heritage auctions. So why did this guy talk? He should have just stayed quiet and then bought the other unit. Maybe I mean, who knows? Nobody knew another unit was coming. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, no, yeah. Nobody knew another unit was coming. Because this guy scored so hard, he was like, ah, he was excited. Yeah, so, and that's actually the guy that pulled up to me. He said he bought a quarter million dollar unit. And remember, I told you it's probably full of shit because, and I, that wasn't really against the guy. That's just like, again, guys, you got to understand, I'm on television. And every time, like, somebody comes to me. Oh, yeah, they're like, I I just make $19.7 million. And I found uh, Amelia Earhart's body. And I actually. Yeah, we get that a lot. Yeah, actually, I found a million shares in SpaceX. So, um. So, um, you know, um, so I get that story all the time. So usually when people say that, they kind of say that. Some say it for jokes. Some people say it for jealousy because I'm on TV. And then some people like this guy, he actually did. So I don't know if it's a quarter million dollars, but the stuff I see looks really good. So, I mean, they look in. Who's that these pictures, wife? No, these are the pictures. This is not the unit that is sold. <laughs> no. This is, the, this is the second unit from Face Rux unit. So, um, that we didn't. But see, like the way yeah, these books are stored. These? The guy who bought it. Okay, how did you get hooked him with? Uh, on Facebook, baby. We're, like, people know, watch our shit. Oh, he contacted you? Yeah, he's like, he bought the second half. But see the way these are stored, that's not did good. Did this just happen right now? This just now, yeah. Yeah, just okay. Now. But um, the way these are stored right here is kind of rough. But in the old days, the books didn't have that much value. So they stored them like that. But again, if these are all golden age, I mean, these are all 50 to 100 bucks a piece. And then here, check this out. Uh... I mean, it's, I'm not done talking. It's a killer school. So he has these boxes. We had these boxes, too. And most of those boxes... I mean, he just showed me a stacks of boxes. Most of those boxes just have paperback books. These boxes right here is where we had our pulp magazines. Those are good. What boxes did he have the comic books in? in the right white here. Oh. They're all oh. white. So which oh, we did... got all that for 50 bucks. Whoa. Yeah, so they must have been hidden because the locker only sold for 50 bucks. Yeah, it had to have been hidden. And no way a locker like that. So... But see, look. Oh, he has comic book art, too. That looks like comic book art. Yeah, but Weiss's unit didn't have that. So we're going to talk later. After I'm done with the stream, I might just go to this guy's house and just take a look at it. But he doesn't want to sell me. He has a successful eBay store. He's doing it the right way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Will he let you film it for YouTube? Uh, I'm sure everybody wants to see, like, what did he get? Because this is a killer score. It doesn't happen that often. And it's always exciting to talk Solid about Tech, it. I haven't announced the winner yet. Um, oh, hold on a second. We're going to gamble. We got a pocket pair. Oh, no, let's see. We're going to make it 58000 Um, I'm not in Pokemon mode right now. You guys can tell. So it, it excites me. So, you know, like, it sucks that I didn't get that unit, but I haven't even looked. But it still makes me super happy that somebody goes out there, pays fifty dollars in a unit, and you know, right? Hustle, cause the dream's real, baby. It's out there. You know, it, from what I can see, that guy on eBay is probably gonna make at least a hundred grand. Well, good. Yeah. See, God bless his business. Hard I, work gets paid off. Yeah. So it, it's the hard oh. work that you do the right way. 
hard work that you do to honestly. Of course, yeah, honesty is the best policy. Okay, good. Come here, come here. So, uh, 6,000. You know what? We're going to go all in again. If we bust, we're just going to do the giveaway. But like I said, I'm playing pretty aggressive today. But it's so funny because so many people always say storage unit buying is not real and stuff like this. Um, it's crazy. Uh, I'm doing a live stream for ACR. I'm playing the Venom tournament. But I just seen the second half of the unit. Somebody scored big time. Yeah. $50 unit is going to make at least 100k. I mean, it's going to be a bunch of work, but it's like when you make that kind of money, who cares? What's up, Master Duba? Uh, how was phase rug in person? Prine is cool. Brian is definitely cool. Man, so many people argue. That's the one thing I don't like about doing giveaways. Sometimes people argue too much. Like I said, my mind is just somewhat different today. Like, I'm trying to get a huge double up here, or um, we're going to try to get a good double up. Well, then we're just going to play Sunday. Yeah, we got a five-minute delay, so... So true, so true. I'm going to call my friend Dusty. And there's a reason why I didn't bid over $17,000. I mean, a $17,000 bid would have been like $20,000. But wait, wait till you... So I know who bought the unit for $17,000. Uh, it's like not a buyer. He's a friend of mine. His name is Weiss. So the guy who bought the original... So when I when Face Rock bought the unit, there was another unit at the, at the yeah. facility... That the same owner belonged to the same owner. That unit only sold for fifty bucks. Oh wow! And I just seen pictures. The guy contacted me. Um, he contacted me online because he's seen our videos and stuff. And that guy scored hard. He probably has like twenty boxes of uh, comics and a lot of Golden Age and Silver Age. Oh, uh, that's why he went crazy then. He didn't bid on it. He has a reason why he didn't bid on it. I know why. The, I'm pretty sure I know what the reason is. But I don't want to say it on stream right now because we still... So you're live, by the way. So whatever you say, people can hear you. This is Dusty, guys, from oh, Storage. With, I'm streaming. So what, 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 I, I'm pretty sure I know what the reason is because of my unit, but I cannot say it right now because we got a second video coming on Sunday. And that's why I couldn't bid $20,000 in the second half of the unit because... Uh, I mean, there's a chance it's a score... So you got a Avengers number one, but it's low condition. It's probably like a three or four, and I think I sold a seven Still. for five thousand. Still good. And then I, he has like he showed me a picture of a Cap Captain Adam that came out of a collection, like a name collection. So, but the thing is with this guy because he was an older guy, he seemed to be collect a lot of these comics in the older days, and he doesn't even most of me doesn't even have those nice white paperbacks. They're just like in sleeves. So. Uh, oh, he just had them wrapped in plastic like your Argosy magazine. 
Yeah, exactly. Just like the Argosy, which is still a, it's still a, it's still great stuff, but it's not going to be the mint condition stuff, you know. But it's I mean, hey, the guy paid fifty bucks and like um, you know, from what I can see, like just the quick view I can see is going to make a hundred grand, and, and who knows, maybe make three, four hundred grand. I don't know. I I, I can't know oh. until I, I see the stuff and. Maybe there'll be a positive uh, a possibility for us to see the stuff. Maybe there won't. I don't know. He gave me his phone number, so I'm gonna be like, "Hey, do you want to film something with it, or you know, we'll make a cool video out of it?" I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's why I went so high, though. You know, the other one did. Well, if he wasn't bidding on it, then who else would have known, though? You know, it, it's somebody that he must have told. You know, so there's like two types of storage buyers. So like before I did a YouTube video that, and educate. That looks like an eight hundred like dollar room. You know what I mean? No, I know. Yeah, so. They they knew and they figured out too. So, but um, the um, but like you know, even like so, the comic books he has, they were all in comic book boxes. And in that room that went for just now for seventeen thousand, there were no comic book boxes. So, we didn't do this Twitter giveaway yet. We're gonna do them in a few minutes, guys. Slow play, yeah. I mean, it's it's tournament play. It's patience. So um. Yeah, I'm doing a live stream. Okay, my, cool. my mind just is not in poke. I mean, I'm super excited. It sucks that I didn't buy the room with the comic books. But you know what? The, honestly, uh. So you called me to give me the prize? <laughs> no, I'm just telling you, it's a real bit. So I know why he's gonna pay for it. He's probably there right now. Oh yeah. So, so yeah, that one. No second chance offer on that one. Yeah, which is fine. That's but good, I mean, I know why. You know, I hope he does good. I hope he kills it. He's a he's a good person. Sometimes you get a couple slices of the pizza, and sometimes you get the whole pie. Sometimes yeah. You just get a pepperoni. And you know the truth is, I was so busy filming that week, like I was, I, I wasn't even looking at those lockers, even in the original unit. And you know, since the locker only went for fifty bucks, all those comic book boxes must have been hidden. So. Uh, you, know hurt, you know what hurts my head? What? Right. Is uh, I opened uh, storage treasures in that room. You sent me the room with the blue cooler on it that had all your magazines in it. Yeah. And I pulled that. I pulled that up while the auction was running, and I was like, "Oh, it looks kind of curious." That nah, I don't want to drive to San Diego. You, you know what's? I'm like, all right. Maybe what's up, Shazzy? Drive to San Diego sometimes. You, you, you know what's really funny is that um, if I would have looked at the lockers, just because that one room with the cooler had that huge big leather bound book, I would have bought the lockers. Those lockers I buy, they looked old. I would have just taken a gamble on them, and then you know just just. Interesting looking boxes, you know, bankers' boxes, and they always just tend to look interesting. Yeah. A lot of book rooms. Are you guys doing a side for our channel? I'm going to ask him if he wants to be on. motivating for people of, like, look, he personally enough, he's, like, locker nuts, you know, with a little bit and working it up and selling online. Well, I'm going to ask him if he's willing to do a video and do an interview, and um, it, it would be great for the channel, but some people don't want to do that, some people do. Yeah. It would be a cool story because um because um it it would be a cool No, he has golden. I mean, he has golden age stuff. So, you know, you, actually in comic books most, I mean, there's some golden age oh shit, we would have flopped now. There's there's some uh, golden age books that are um really really good, but in general it's better to have silver age. Silver age brings more money in general cuz it's more the Spider Man and the superhero stuff. Now, if you get early well, gold, even, huh? Even even the bronze is starting to come in. <coughs> no, bronze is good. There's there's a lot of copper. But like, I had some really um, I had some really like good Captain America's graded and stuff like this, and I mean awesome covers. So you can go back to my old videos and see them. <coughs> okay, Solid Tag. He says nobody wanted was a scam. As it seems like. So Solid Tag. So here, this is the favor we do you. And I know you come in there, but because because you're just trying to push the fear and the hating and telling people it was a scam, no matter what, you can't win. I'm not picking your comment no matter what. If it's the best comment in the world, I'm not picking it. Because I just hate it when people spread fear and hate. We are giving away the ticket in a few minutes. You know what? But you're trying to force me and pressure me. Um, you're trying to force me and pressure me. And you want me like, hey, I'm just going to call him a scam and we do it right now. So guess what? As a matter of fact, uh, Shrika, if you can, just 
Vox style attack. That's some BS. Make sure he's not on the channel anymore. Got some haters live. Uh, you know, we th that's the problem. Like, you know, I stream on YouTube, but I prefer doing videos because, like, we just always bring out the idiots. It's like, I've given away, like, tens of thousands of dollars on these channels and, and all kinds of things. This guy's like, oh, it's a scam because he hasn't done it right now. And, you know, now he says crickets, doesn't say nothing. He's not even smart enough to realize that the stream is on a five-minute delay. And it says big in the stream, stream is on a five-minute delay. So if you ask a question... Um, Every cave has a troll. It's just... Hold on Every a sec. cave has a troll, my friend. It's okay though. It's, uh, it's on the internet if you, don't, if you don't hook a few trolls. Oh man. It's like, you, you know, I like being in the public eye and I love it that I can share people our adventures and stuff like this and, you know, educate people and hopefully change some people's life. But dealing with the idiots is really frustrating sometimes. Yeah, you just gotta ignore them. That's all you can do, you know? When you, uh, when they get to you is when they win. They don't get to me. It's just, you know, you, you know what? It's frustrating that, like, because you hope that people do good and stuff like this, so it's frustrating when you have to interact with idiots, and it's frustrating. Um, it, it's frustrating when um, when you see how dumb people are, and it's even more frustrating that somebody says, "Oh, because uh, it's a scam," that. Uh, um, yeah, like the, he's trying to pressure you. Like he's like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna call Rene a scammer, and Rene's gonna be so intimidated that uh, he's gonna do something right away, and he's gonna make sure I'm the winner. I'm like, this guy, if he has the best car in the world, because the way this giveaway, it's a twenty, we give it away a twenty six hundred dollar fifty ticket, which that's a buy, and that's how much it costs, and you have a chance at a million dollars. It's a ticket to get into the. Uh Poker game or something? Yeah, into the Venom tournament, and like 90% or 95% of the people, maybe even higher, I don't know what the stats are, but they buy in for 2650 So, so it's real, it's real, it's real money, it's a real ticket. Um, if you gave me the ticket, I'd only last for like, I'd probably lose like in the first like round. I'm gonna try to have somebody as a poker player and stuff like this, but we'll see. But I, 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 I pick too, a. I got too dumb of a poker face, you know. I, 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 I'll pick a comment that that I like and stuff like this. So. But it's like I don't know. That's the way to do it. Yeah. The most humble person you can find. Did you what? I said pick the most humble person you can find. No, it's like a good story. It has. It's supposed to be a good story of something they found. But um. Oh, I, I got you. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna stream. I'm just gonna stream and not do any giveaways because the giveaways just bring out the dumbasses, you know. Or maybe, yeah. uh, what's up, Jess? Or maybe do the giveaway but don't announce it in advance and just do it at random. Like I'm gonna give away some percentages if I make it a day two and the money and stuff like this, but I'm just gonna do it at random. This way, the people that act like idiots. This way, yeah. this way, um. The people that act like idiots, uh, they don't even stick around because most of those people only stick around because they think you, you have something. Yeah, it's better to, it's better to weed out the, uh, the dumb ones. Weed out the, uh, the losers. Yeah, hold on a second. I'm going to see if this guy, um, where's this comment on? I want to see if I can interview the guy that bought the killer locker. Yeah, Oops. you should. It'd be, cool. It'd be cool to see what he got, you know? Yeah. It's fun to see, you know, it's fun to see nice things come out of lockers because then it keeps every, you know, it keeps you going. Yeah, no, I mean, it's great, but like, you, you know, one of the big reasons we have the channel is to, uh, to motivate people. Yeah. Oh, no, this locker, Jesse's amazing. Um, So he said he's home. The what? He said he's at home. I just asked him on Facebook if he'll do a video with me. If he does a video with me, I'm going to go over there and do a video. That will be such a great video. Uh, hopefully he's so willing many, to. How many units do you think this guy had? So we know of three. Face Ruck bought one. Oh, that's what I was about to say. I never had a chance. So I still got blessed. I got a good unit. Face Ruck bought the one for seven fifty. Then this Fritz guy, he bought the other one for fifty. I think new storage was in October. Um. Um. Face Ruck bought Face Ruck bought one for um, the other guy. Fritz bought one for fifty, which seems to be the biggest score so far. And then Weiss just bought one for. Uh, Oh, good. He, he replied, we can talk about it. So he said that he would be willing. 
he said we can talk about it. So I don't know if he wants me to pay him, which I probably won't do unless it's cheap. Because I have a lot of content myself. But, like, I really like sharing these success stories. Because, um... I hopefully, maybe he wants to be like, okay, I'll do it, but I don't want to be on camera. We'll kind of keep it on the down low or something. But um, I love changing the success stories because Dusty knows and I know this business, if you work hard, is literally changing people's life. Do I miss Kobe? Sometimes. I would say I'm going to go out on the weekend, but then I'm sleeping because I'm constantly working late. Um, sorry, okay, Dusty, I'm, I'm answering questions at the same time in the stream. Uh, you're good, man. You know, every, every blind chicken's got to find a kernel of corn. Yeah, I mean, you know, so I saw that this guy's truck, so he seems like a newer buyer. I'm not familiar with him. The truck looked a little bit older. So I think this is a guy that's probably got in the business and, you know, is working hard. And, you know, he, obviously he's buying lower lockers, unless he saw something that nobody else saw. And um, he paid uh, 50 bucks for it, and he totally got blessed, you know. So, which is awesome, that's because that's the, story, sometimes. that's the story you want to hear. You know, it's like, I, I, I tried, you know... Yes, Vin, so that we're not covering the cart, but we run on a delay. So that that's why we share these stories so people can go out there. It's like, hey, you go out, then a lot of times you will buy these. And I hope if he's willing to do an interview that, uh, that that he's willing to talk about that and kind of tell his story. So these people go out, you know, they buy fifty, hundred, two hundred dollars lockers, double, triple their money, get lucky five times, and then all of the sudden, um, then all of the sudden they hit that mega score, you know, and they make a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars. And yeah, exactly. uh, and just totally changed their life, maybe. Uh, and I don't know. Who knows? This guy might be a multimillionaire. I'm just talking out of my ass. I really don't know. So I don't know this person. I know Wise. So so Wise who bought the locker for seventeen thousand. I know his story. He used to be in a swap meet when we used to sell. And his, uh, I think it's cousin Rommel. Um, he's in the business too. And he saw how successful uh, he was. And he used to just sell those cell phone covers, you know, for two, three, four, five dollars. And then he said. Um, then he would, yeah. Then he would see how much money we make, and he got in the business, and he totally built up his business. Now that he can buy, obviously, twenty thousand dollars lockers. I've definitely been in that swap me booth before, where I uh, have like fifty customers in my booth buying merchandise, and then you look across the aisle, and the guy selling cell phone cases doesn't even have anybody looking, you know. Yeah, so if they'll have a good day. They do five hundred dollars, you know, with a, uh, you know, make yeah. like two or three hundred profit. You do that when you're all, you're you do that when you drop the back door of your trailer. <laughs> but, you know, that, that's the difference. So, But he built it up, and he's a big buyer now. So somehow you find out about the locker. Okay. Thank you, Jesse. Appreciate it. Hold on. I'm going to do the giveaway. Do you want to be here for the giveaway? Okay. Where are you going? Um, we have to go to the truck lot already. And they're oh. not shipping. Okay. And I just want to give a big... Good. Well, come here. Come on camera. Hold on a second. I don't have any makeup on. Hey, Dusty, let me let you go because we're about to do the giveaway off Casey here. We're, gonna, we're about to give away a huge... Yeah, no, I just pulled up to it. I have a 10 by 20 I just pulled up to. It's like packed with boxes. I'm pulling out like oh brand God. new Monster High dolls and like 1990s clothing still with the tags on it. It's looking pretty good. A good time over here. Oh, that's awesome. You should make a YouTube channel. You buy some cool stuff. Oh, what happened with the blue case locker? Did you buy it? Which one? The, the one I told you last night to buy. Oh, 12 minutes. Oh, how high is how high is the bid? Uh, twenty five twenty. Oh, you should buy it, man. Yeah, I'm so I'm high bidder right now, so we'll see what happens. I might swing the bat. All right, sounds good. Because because I at the locker I'm at, I already know that this one will pay for that gamble. So hey, why not, right? Yeah, why not? Right, just well, cool. just buy. All right, man. I'll I'll probably Sorry. call you later when I'm off stream. Well, good luck for uh, whoever the uh, lucky winner is. We'll talk to you soon. All right, you want to say something to the all the fans out there? There's a lot of storage wars supporters out there, a lot of team bargain hunters, so they got to like me better than you. But you can still say hi. It's all good, man. Just keep digging and keep scoring. <laughs> good I'm, luck. I'm just kidding. They don't, they don't even like me. They only like me for giveaways. But it, it's all good, it's man. All right. All right, I'll Everybody see. Everybody loves free shit. All right, cool, man. All right, sounds good. We'll talk to you soon. All right, bye, Dusty. All right, bye. Bye. All right. So, you know what? I want to see when the break is because, hold on, you might have to be here for, what, what, what does it say next break? Because I want to call Fritz really quick. He said we can talk about doing an interview and it would be like, it would be so cool to share a success story. It totally would. Let's and see I, in the next I break. I want to say hi to Shriker. Big shout out to Shriker. Okay, guys, the next break is in seven minutes. So, um, Casey's going to stick around. I'm going to make her stick around. I'm going to call Fritz in seven minutes.
and um, we're going to find out if we get to videotape this. And then after we come back from the breaks, we're going to do the giveaway. Because the giveaway will take about 20 minutes. We've got to read a bunch of comments. <coughs> we have to go look at the house. Okay, if that's more important, then go. Oh, well, I don't know if you made the frame. Let me see. <coughs> then uh, I can do the giveaway by myself. It's not a big deal. Okay. So, it's... Um, so, when we come back from the break, we're going to do the giveaway. If you guys haven't participated yet, go to our Twitter. This is the tweet right here. It gives you the instructions here. Please follow the instructions. I'm going to pick somebody. Whoever that solid tag is, I know he participated. No matter what, you cannot win. Solid tag cannot win. Because we didn't give it away fast enough for him, so he decided we're all scammers. So, he's disqualified just for being a negative human being. So, Solid Attack is out, which is really funny because I'm pretty sure that Solid Attack won giveaways in the past where we gave away like a whole bunch of money. Uh, by the way, Shrika, so we are going to give away percentages later and you're enough for an automatic 1% if we cash. What's up, Brendan? Storage Wars is coming back in October. Johnny Walker, I'm the worst night to, nice to meet the beast. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Ace 5 suited. Let's play the last five minutes. Then we're going to call Fr Fritz. But I'm going to call Fritz off camera just out of respect to his privacy too. So um, let me write down his phone number. I might call Weiss too on camera. But I have to tell him that he's on camera. 61997333. I wonder if Fritz is going to do the same thing why he didn't buy the $17,000 locker. And it's, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't buy it because he scored hard on his first one. If I would have scored that hard on my first one, I would have bought it probably. Okay, we're here. So you're going to stay here? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to make up. We're going to take a break. We'll come back. I just didn't know if you had an appointment. That's why. Okay. This guy is like funny. It's somebody that like totally like won before. It's like, oh, it's a scam. He's not giving away tickets. I'm going to block him from our channel later because that just really annoyed me. I know. I was listening and I was like, fresh in my face. It's like. I, I, you know what? I think the more free stuff, or it's it's like in life. You sell dollar watches, you got nothing but complaints. Sell a twenty thousand dollar Rolex, they're nice to you. It's just so funny. We give do giveaways. People cry. Like like, there's any reason for me to scam on a twenty six hundred dollar giveaway? Like I have anything to gain there? I mean, we have a hundred sixty thousand, a hundred seventy thousand on YouTube, hundred and one thousand on uh, Facebook. I don't know what seventy thousand is there. I'm like I I'm on a TV show in every country in the world. Like I need to scam a twenty six hundred dollar giveaway to gain something. Doesn't even make lo if if you were like a halfway logical person, right? That doesn't even make logical sense. People throw into other people who they are, so he must be a scammer. Yeah, probably. Remember that one. Probably makes sense. So guys, the chat is a little bit different today because we are running on a five minute delay. But I thought it'd be more fun for you guys. Um. To see the cards. Actually, Shrider, why don't you do a survey while we're on break? Let people say, do you prefer to have chat where we answer everything instantly? Or do you like it now where you can see the cards and you can play along with me? So, yeah, Casey will be here. Casey will help me with the giveaway. And then you get the ticket from ACR. As soon as we decide to use a name, um, as soon as you decide to use a name, we'll get your ACR name, and then ACR will deposit the ticket uh, before Sundays. Uh, poker's been okay. We did okay at the World Series. The so main event, we lasted till the end of day two. <coughs> is, that cool? is that like a Star Wars lightsaber? That's pretty cool. Is that what it is? Looks like it, right? Ah... <sighs> I have like 10 different things going on in my mind right now. It's crazy. Okay, one minute. I'm going to go call Fritz really quick. You know what, guys? I'm going to fold the last couple of hands because I, I want to have a couple extra minutes to talk to Fritz. Um, It's so funny. It's such a German name too, Fritz. It's like we're meant to be friends. I'm going to try to see if we can get it where we can film this and share the success story. 
Some people are super cool and open about it. Some people are not. And I'm not saying either way is good or bad. It's just whatever your preference is. I'm going to call him. I'm going to let you guys know. If Fritz is willing for us to fi let him film, you know, go over there, just kind of talk about the story, show some of the stuff. Um, You know, I also told him, it's like, look, I'll come spend $100,000, $200,000 with you. I have the money. You know me. But he said he's selling one by one, which is fine. Um, But um, we'll be back. Let's look at one more hand. Let's see. Do we have one more hand? Oh, shoot. King, queen, suited. I got to play. Hey, how come we didn't go to break? Doesn't it say break? Next break, one minute, okay. All right, let's get play this hand really quick. So, um, call. So I, I hope we can film it. It's just like, I, I like success story. I love it when people, good, honest people work hard and they get re rewarded. All right, we're flat top pair here. You can see if I have tails on big hands. Ah, funny. Probably do have tails. You know what? In online poker, I really don't pay attention. Plus, I'm talking a lot. Like, half of it is uh, I'm streaming. All right. Okay, we're going to go on break. I'm going to call Fritz. Everybody cross the fingers, and hopefully Fritz says, you know what? Let's do an interview. Okay, hold on, guys. I got a different number. So if I'm late for a couple of hands, don't freak out. I'll be right back. We're going to do the giveaway. But I got to talk to Fritz because if I get this video going, it's going to be a cool, cool video. And I'll have the video sponsored by ACR2 or something. 7334. Can't tell you this number. Oops. I don't want to do it. I did the wrong thing. Oh. Uh, Okay, let's call Fritz. I'm excited for this phone call.
Okay, guys, we are back. Um, so I just talked to Fritz, which is the guy who bought the other locker the, the first half. Um, you know, he thinks he might find a million dollars for 50 bucks. Here's the good news. We're going to film the locker next week. We're going to film some of it. We're going to show some of the highlights. We're going to advertise his eBay store. Um, I'm going to help him out with some stuff with Heritage Auction. I mean, he just told me some of this stuff. And if everything is the way he says and his perception, but I believe it because he already sent me some pictures and stuff, obviously. And if everything is the way he says and he's excited, you know, he probably is right. He might have a million dollar lock here. Ooh, I love it. Which, which is super awesome because he spent $50 and he's, I mean, shoot, if he makes back $200,000, it's a crazy score, right? But this is life-changing money. Um, he's doing the right thing. You know, I always tell people, don't wholesale your stuff. And, you know, get get max, max money out of it. So he actually has a few questions with some of my experiences because we bought some really crazy high-end lockers. And, uh, you know, he's a super nice guy, so I'm going to help him. Uh, I'm going to talk to him next week, and I'm going to hook him up with some people also uh, that will maximize the money in a really good way. And um, an auction house, I mean, I have really close relationships with Heritage Auctions. I have a really close relationship with Heritage Auctions. So I'm going to get him hooked up there. Oh, second one half year, we hit the Broadway, which is the nuts, right? I'm talking at the nuts. So, and the guy is a super nice guy. It's funny because his name is Fritz. And when he answered the phone, he actually sounded very German. So he speaks a little bit of German. So uh, he seems like a super nice guy. We're going to get together next week. We're going to film this locker. Um, the title of this video is probably going to be Million Dollar Locker. So, um... And he said he'll show us stuff. We'll do an interview on it. He'll talk about his story. He's going to tell us about his story. And um, it's cool. Like, you know, I really love it because we, we do try to inspire people. And the deals are out there. And you get a lot of stupid haters out there that always say everything negative and fake. But it's just not the case. The truth is the deals are out there. And um, the, the deals are out there. And... Uh, the, the deals are out there, and people make millions and millions of dollars. So, um, you know, if they work hard, they're honest people, they do this stuff. So we got to do the giveaway. Casey, you want to do the giveaway? So we have to pick somebody. Uh, that was really cool. That, that just made me really happy because it is a nice person. You know, I've seen people score before, and they're just kind of not really that nice of people. So it made me really happy when I talked to this guy. And I found out um, that he's a nice person. And you know what? So also, um, I can't say. I don't want to say because our second video is coming Sunday. So I'll talk about it Sunday. But, you know, this guy has money. He already has a million dollar locker. And there's a reason why he didn't buy the second locker. Honestly, if I would have found all the stuff that he found, I would have bought the second locker no matter what. But it's okay to each their own, you know. So, um, hold on a second. Uh... Ballot appliance here. Let's see how crazy do we want to get with this. I am so not in Pokemon today. This is probably my first time in my life my Pokemon is not gone. I'm, I'm like so hyped that somebody bought a million dollar lockers for 50 bucks. And he also told me the way that... Um, he also told me the way that he did his research and how he came up with that it's a million dollar locker. Not that it's a million dollar locker, but how he came up with that he wants to buy the locker. And what he said was very smart. All right. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, you won? Wow. Yeah. Ready? I think he made it ever playing Jack 4. Nah. I mean, Jack 6. He's so. just trying to bluff me. You know, he's trying to bully me. He's betting all three strikes. Actually, he's bet on the river. It's kind of stupid. $20,000 into, what was that? So seventeen eighty. dollars $20,000 in an $80,000 pot. Yeah, you know, he's trying to make it look like a value bet. I'm not even totally thinking. I'm just playing by instinct right now. Um, like he's a ninja. It's um, a lot of these people bet, but whatever. But uh, so he, you know, he said that like, and that's what the manager told me up front. It was a lot of old furniture. I was kind of rough looking, but he said there was tapes from auction houses on two boxes, and they were sealed boxes, so that gave it away. And in the back was a petition where well, we got nut flush draw, gut shot, straight draw. Actually, double belly bust a straight draw. We bet the pot. We have a lot of outs here. Um, he, uh, 
he said there was a petition halfway through and you could see there was a lot of boxes that you could not see the comic books. You know, he found posters from World War One, books from the 1600s, a lot of Golden Age comic books, um, just crazy, crazy stuff. So we're going to film with him next week. You know, we're going to talk about him, tell his story. Um, if your screen looks blurry, that's something with your internet connection, just so you know. Um, so we, we, we're going to talk with him, tell his story, then we're going to show a whole bunch of stuff in the locker. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Man, I'm not even trying to play today. We got 456,000. So I know. I'm it's just like, yeah. my mind. I'm like way too excited right now. I want to go look at this locker. <laughs> I know. He's oh. like next week. But he's like, no, we can do it this weekend. <laughs> we can do it right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, if Fritz would have called me, it's like, hey, Renee, get your butt over here. Let's just talk and get some footage. I would come look right now because obviously, like everybody, I wish I get the locker because a right. million dollar hit is always nice. I would play the poker game then. <laughs> but, uh,. But what we really want... Uh, here, you want to come on camera? You want to put your chair back here? I know, but my chair is like a stool. You're going to have to be It's okay. Like... The stool, this was not set up for... Um, there you go. But it, it makes... you got to go more... You, go you, down. you, you actually got to put your chair right here in this hole. Yeah, can you make room for me, mister? Well, this is not set up for this. There you go. So? Hold on a second. It's too hot. Oh, thank you. The wrong way. There we go. Oh, that's no Renee. They want to see me. I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> Casey's here. Woohoo. Oh, you think the delay hurts the quality? Um, yeah, so that's like, oh, no, my hand got folded. Ace 10 suited. I'd have called it. Please just be like all spades and rags. But, um, yeah, but, you know, I think a lot of people with poker, uh, I'm not watching oh. to see what, it's okay, it's a gotcha, sorry. I'm not watching, you know, I'm interested in this place, I'm watching because he's a super great guy to watch his interact with his fans' life. Okay, that's cool, Wiley. We'll probably do some more interactions um, that are non-poker related. It's okay, Wiley, I appreciate your two cents, so. But I think a lot of people, they get, when I have my cards completely covered up all the time, it's kind of boring to watch poker. So now you guys get to do it. All right, we got to do the giveaway. So what was I talking about, Fritz? Um, like I said, oh, man, we had to stream. It's always like that. And I would call the flop probably, too, just because we're running good. Three for delay, four no delay. We only got five votes on that? How many viewers have we got on YouTube right now? Holy shit. How? Oh, yeah, it's 74. Okay, so people don't really have that much of an opinion. Uh, okay, we gotta we gotta do this. Run around our flush back door flush got there. Uh oh, our case is a poker pro. <laughs> so um, so what we have to do? We gotta do the giveaway for the twenty six hundred dollar ticket. And we didn't get to see what they won with. No, they must have bet. So it's okay. Ten nine, we could play it normally. It's actually good. So now the way new way people play poker, they'll take hands like this and raise them in early position. So let's try that tactic. So we're going to do three-quarter pot. Is this the new way? Like, because it's the people that are doing the new way. Is this millennials or who? It's, um, well, a lot of European young aggressive players, they, they raise a lot of hands in early position now. Oh, to throw people off? Yeah, especially they raise hands under the gun, and then they play them aggressive afterwards. Under the gun means the blind? Next to the blind, first person first to act. First person to act, yeah. yeah. So we raised it, we came out with a bet. Our hand, our hand comes across <laughs> as stronger. So when I played the World Series and main event, I had like two, three guys that were playing like that on different tables, very aggressive. All right, so we got to do the giveaway. Fritz is a super nice guy. I think we're going to make a really cool video. I think we're going to shoot it next week, and then I'm going to try to get it not this Sunday, but the next Sunday. It's probably, honestly, it might be the best locker video we ever put on our on our YouTube channel. And he got it for 50 bucks. But the guy knows what he's doing. He explained why he bought yeah. the locker. And he said, yes, nobody bid on the locker because it looked like crappy furniture. But he did his research. And um, he said he was willing to pay several thousand dollars on the locker. Yeah, remember, guys. What does Renee always tell you? Do your research. Do your work, so. But like I said, we're going to get to meet him in person. We get to see him. Um, but on the phone, sounds like a super guy, straight up guy. Yeah, May he sounds like he's a really nice guy. May maybe we'll call Wy Weiss on the stream after this. All right, that's working a giveaway. So what we have to do here with the giveaway, we have to switch between poker and the giveaway. 
So let's pull up this video. We're going to minimize this. Okay, so we need to let's update this. Okay, so here's the giveaway, Casey. What we were asking, so we're going to give away $2,650. That is so awesome. I'm uh, excited. You guys excited? Woo! Yeah, but if you ask Solid Tech, it's a scam. Okay, I'm going to do it this way. Oh, no, that's not. So let's close this. If you ask Solid Tech, let's do a little bit over here so we can see, so I can switch between these two easier. So we still got to play poker. If you ask Solid Tech, it's a scam, and we're actually not giving away uh, $2,600. Okay. Uh, we don't lie around here. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, what we got here? Okay, so... We bluff, but we don't lie. <laughs> right? Bluffing is different. It's part of the game. Yeah, it's part of the game. We're, we're about to give away the ticket right now. We don't bluff. Okay, here we see all the responses. We got to make sure they retweet it. So here was the question for the giveaway. We were going to pick one person that shows us your must, most fun, exotic, weird bargain find. So people shared a story of what they found. And they had to retweet it. And um, we were uh, we were going to pick one person. And what, what we find the most interesting is something we can relate to or what we like. So and people. So now we're gonna read all the comments, which is a lot. So we have to do this at the same time as the giveaway. So let's see what we have. I was in Turkey cruising around, wanted to buy a shirt. I ended up buying ten shirts, better quality. Eh, that was a bargain. That's cool. I mean, it's a cool find, but not that exciting. First place pays over a million, probably. So I guess I gotta share this amazing old book from Text Dolly. If you send me a ticket, I'll guess I'll have to read the whole thing before Sunday. And isn't that guy that is that the Doyle, really famous, Doyle right? Brunson, yeah. Yeah, picture of Doyle Brunson. Yeah, uh, so he found the book. It's not bad, but he's like, I don't know. It's like he's going to tell the rest if he wins. So Ghost of M is in here, too. He's going to help us with the giveaway. So what we got here? I would love to get in Venom. My best farm was extremely fun several years later, finding 84-star Jordan rookie card, which was bought 25 years ago prior to at the local flea market. He, he dug it out two years ago. It got graded. That's cool. We had that car, too. That's actually a great car. So I like this right now. That's my favorite. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. Jack 10, out of position. We normally could play it, but we're doing a giveaway. I'm not sure whether or not this counts, but I found a shirt at a thrift store in college. That's still worse today. I have no idea what these festivities entail, but I got to love, love Ohio sometimes. It counts. Nipple suckers. <laughs> That is definitely an exotic and interesting uh, pocket eights. See now we like we're trying to do the giveaway right now, and we're getting hands. Hold on, go back. Well, shouldn't we play? Yeah, no, I'm playing pocket eights. Oh, okay, I was like, uh, hello. <clears throat> Renee Nay says hello, Casey. Mister Picky says yes. Okay, so we're just gonna call the flop. Let's see. Are we opening up another store? Not right now. Okay, two overcards. I don't remember, so I've been kind of paying attention. I don't really see new count playing too many hands. Three over cards, got shot straight draw. If he has king ten, he beats us. I mean, obviously any of those cards match up. Ace king, we have dominated. Smaller pocket pair, we have dominated. And there's a potential flush draw. I'll go too. Yeah, it's just a draw. But with that flop, since he's a pre-flop raiser, most likely he would be betting the draw. But I don't think this guy played that many hands, so we'll bet 11 now. There's a good chance he has like an ace-king, ace-10. He's going to call with ace-king most likely. He's going to call ace-10. This is so great when Renee reads people's hands. And then there's a <coughs> across the table going, how did you know my hand? Well, it's easy on live poker, but it's, <coughs> it's a little bit harder on tournaments. But it looks like he was betting ace-king. And also because I'm... Won, yay! Also, uh, also because we're streaming, I'm not paying as much attention, to be honest, but... <clears throat> okay, so we got the shirt. This guy, I once bought a storage unit at auction. I had tons of neatly stacked sealed toes in it, but you couldn't see inside them. My imagination was going wild, and I was top it. And when I finally got to open them, they were all filled with deer legs and antlers taxidermy. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, so, Everybody's seen it, too. Okay, good. Check that out, guy. Check out the hoof. Yeah, so that's a cool one. That's interesting. <laughs> that's That's kind of a cool one. Yeah, are we looking for the most interesting or the most expensive? Because I think we should be interesting, right? <coughs> interesting and unique. So it's it basically the one thing I didn't like about this giveaway, it's up to us. Like, I'd rather have it where they have to answer a question or have to do some kind of contest. Because honestly, we have about 250 entries. 
We're going to get some guys like I'm going to call a scammers. We're going to make one person extremely happy. And we're going to probably have 249 people mad at us. I know. So we just, we're just going to pick what we pick. And that's that. So uh, my best bargain, I got a 2014 Audi A4 for 12K. And the value was 30K at the time. I found it right when the person was bringing it back into the dealership to get out of the car. And the owner had paid it off and just wanted to get some money back. Wow, that's pretty good. That's really cool. Yeah, I'm surprised you did that. You're already the winner because of that. Yeah. I bought a neutral driver online from Outland when I opened it up my package. There were two of them. I was only charged for one. I contacted them, so he's doing the right person. And yeah. it said, go ahead, keep it. Days later, my brother tells me he needs a new drill. Gave him the other one. He still uses it. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Blessings from God right there. When I was little, walking with my two brothers and my father, I found a gold bracelet that had, as I said, a ladybug. Not only was I lucky to find the bracelet for its monetary value, but the luck really began to accompany me. From that day, I adopted Ladybug as my lucky charm. That's cool. That's a cool yeah. story. Um, weird one was a few days back, my friend posted my name on a giveaway, and I saw it, then thought, why not can't participate? Then I fill everything needed, and guess I won a $290 ticket to a Venom satellite. Oh. So America's card room hooking somebody else up. Yeah, the winner there. Yeah, so that's awesome. I was one year old, and my uncle told me to get the garage and get what i ordered in a box that were more than 30 playboy magazines <laughs> uh so at one years old i don't know if that's a score if that's just dramatizing i kept all of them the hardest part was hiding them at home this was this to me was strange at one years old playboy i mean i think you'd be more interested in getting breastfed than anything else then exotic but a great time over the next few months i don't know that's kind of Maybe a worse you meant 11 i don't know at one years i mean i, I don't think at I one think 11 I think he forgot to add a one. Yeah, I don't think at one years old I would be excited about a playoffs. Now, 11, that's a different story. Yeah, that's yeah. A, I think he forgot to add the one. Yeah, I don't know. So, right now we are working on a giveaway, guys. We're reading different comments. We're picking somebody. I found this crazy, but well, not sure I had found back in it, but now I realize how precious and lucky you had to be on the receiving end of such a fine best bargain in your local shelter. That's a cool Aww, story. I like that. That's a pretty guy. And he's a poker player, so I like that. Yeah. George Nino. That's a feel good story. I like I like that. What's our favorite so far? I don't know. They're all good. This, well, we have You're to pick gonna one. You're going to have to pick. Not okay. Me. All right, let's see. I have trouble. Being hey, it's Mark again, 275. When I was like 12 years old. Eh, not a good hand, but we'll see a flop. We're in late position, right? Yeah, almost. Actually, we're at the button right now. Let's play this hand really quick, guys. Sorry, guys. The giveaway is only in poker tweets. Um, So are it's going to take a little while because this is a long giveaway. Are we, like, live or are we delayed by five minutes? We are five-minute delay. Okay, because I was like, everybody can see your hand. <coughs> no, it's a five-minute delay. So you and me see it live right here, but actually the stream is a five-minute delay. Okay, Spowie has 188,000. If we lose this hand, that leaves us a 280 starting stack. We flop top pair, backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw. You could say we have possibilities. Mm -hmm. That's interesting that you think backdoor flush draw also. Mm -hmm. Well, two hearts come with a flush, right? Yeah, I wouldn't think that way. I would just think uh, straight. A seven, eight would be a straight. Yeah, so yeah. you... So especially in tournament poker, you want to you because let's say what if he has us totally dominated with ace king? It's like can stuff come that helps us? So we hate the nine on the turn. Yep. If he has like if he was raising ace nine of diamonds, and now you know he he made a because his flop bet was loose. He bet quarter pot, which means he's super weak. Or and you know in this in this case, um, pocket queens be weak, always is dominated. So we kind of hate that turn card. But let's see, um. His wife has a nice rack. How it's so ignorant. I mean, yeah, she does, but like, like how low must your education be to have to, the urge to say that right now? Like when we're live, it's just so stupid. But I don't know. Ignorant ignorance is life in the veil. Make sure nothing bet three R. If we pick your comment by accident, you're also disqualified just for being a dumbass. I mean, could you imagine like these guys like this, like the, like those are the type of guys that's the only place they can say something like that is on the Internet. Because like if anybody on the Internet, you, you yeah, all in 133,000. <sighs> Damn, I wasn't paying attention how this guy plays. 
Um, I mean, this got you Austria, Austrian players, European. I hate that they bought double pairs. So if he made a small bet, on, but his flop on the on the bet on the flop was just a quarter bet. Then he bet pot size in a turn and an all in, which is just under pot size in the river. I mean, I guess he raced in in the big blind. I guess he could have aces, ace, king, king, queen, if all beats us. Or he could, I mean, he could also just have pocket queens, and we never played back at him. You know, we have a nice stack. Well, we started the hand at 51 out of 3 or 9. I mean, it's either way. He either has us totally crushed or he's bluffing. So 133,000 went 450. And I'm talking. I'm not paying attention. You know what? We're just going to fold. Okay, that's what I was going to say, but I didn't want to tell you what to do. Well, you know, we're playing tournament poker, and today I'm playing aggressive, so, I mean, you can justify the call, but if I lose that hand, and I'm, like, just under starting stack. Okay, not a hand. Like, we're trying to do this giveaway, but not a hand, so we have pocket kings. We're just going to limp. Let's see if somebody else gets aggressive. These guys have been playing pretty tight on this table. I mean, this guy bluffed over here a little bit. That's been some bluffs, but like pre flop, they've been playing pretty tight. So I let the big blind in for free, so he's probably sitting on 10 4 right now. We'll just check. <laughs> That's two fours. Alright, let's see. We'll just try to do pot control, try not to get it too crazy. But we'll bet a three quarters of a bot just to see if he has anything. Wow, so I had aces earlier. I raced it a little bit. Nobody called. And now I get kings and nobody calls. I just limped and no call. This is pretty bad. All right. Let's continue with the giveaway. Hey, it's Mark. When I was 12. I to read that one. When I was 12 years old, I went to a so tag this, sale. Oh, this guy, this guy, that's already his second entry. We only accept one entry. Right? Hey, it's Mark. Or well, maybe not. I thought it's already a second one. Okay. You want to read it? Yeah. When I was 12 years old, I went to a tag sale after being forced by my mom. And turned out some clueless mother was selling her son's baseball cards for a dollar for any 10 cards you wanted. I picked out 30 Griffey and Jetter cards. Bonds, Cheetah. Jeter. And Bonds. And five or six of them being rookies. <coughs> Oh, we, awesome. we got an all in here. Jacks versus nines. <coughs> I mean, queens versus jacks. That's a cool find. See that? Um, I went back. That's um, that teaches you always listen to mom. Okay, when the big blind four five suited. Yeah, also teaches you don't let your mom sell your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's a, but tag sale. I guess that's like a yard sale or whatever. That's probably something to say in the East Coast. When I was in India, Rickish, I exchanged a soccer jersey to rent a room for 15 days. It came with a little monkey. I returned a mischievous little monkey to his owner the same night. Oh, yeah, you guys ever see the stories when uh, monkeys eat, like, people's faces? So they raced it. They eat monkeys. Faces. Look at this flop. Look at this I flop. Know. You're getting good cards here. Not really. They, they made it. I was the big blind. They made it, like, three times the blind I decided to call. Oh, man, these guys are betting. Oh, why does the board pair? I don't want the board to pair. But they raise the pre-flop and call, so I'm not going to assume they have bigger cards. Unless somebody has sixes and threes, that would really suck. Do what? We're in a five-minute delay. You can say it. Yeah, I flopped it straight. Oh, I flopped the nuts. Then why are you worried about them having big cards? Well, what if this guy made a triple call with pocket sixes, pocket threes, or pocket sevens? He's calling. Let's find out here. 82,000. This guy most likely has an over pair. He's the original razor. Ghost of M says, hey, 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 hey. Hey. So the original Razor folds. A new account. I mean, I cannot. Normally, I would just smooth call. Oh, that's a bad river. We'll just check. Let's see what he does. Normally, I would just smooth call. But here's the problem. That original Razor probably had a big pocket pair. And if another seven hits the river, that would be bad for us. The one thing that scares me, new account. Shit, he's all in. Damn. 
shit, he flopped a set probably. You know what? We're just gonna take a chance because if we win this pot, we got a million chips. Oh no, he has the same straight with chop. Oh, I was like, ah! Oh, did he flop a straight too? Did we have four five? Is that what just happened? Hold on. Yeah, we both flopped the straight. Okay, thank God. Okay. Yeah, but you had better four five because you had the redraw to the back door flush. On the flop, but on the turn, it was irrelevant, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, you know what? We got chips. I had to call it because if he had flopped a set and he got it, I, I figured he flopped strong because he's just smooth calling, smooth calling. I figured if he flopped a set, then, you know, oh, well, we lose, we rebuy. But if if he didn't and he doesn't have to straight, then we got a million chips, which puts us as the chip leader for the tournament, I'm pretty sure. <coughs> this Jota probably was either bluffing or a pocket pair. But if we both called it 38,000, he's not calling anyway. It would be fair if you choose the best in your opinion another random from all the replies. Then with the random, we'll pick one of them. Justin Kelly said that a that ACR give away fair chance to everyone. Okay, so I'm giving away at twenty six hundred dollars, but because I'm only giving away one twenty six hundred dollars, it's not a fair chance to everyone. All right, uh, school school PTG. No matter what, you can win. I'm sure people will support this way of drawing. Hey, if you don't support the way we give away twenty six hundred dollars, just leave the channel. Don't worry about it. It's like I don't care. It doesn't. Really, I don't gain anything by giving it away. We giving it away because we love you guys. ACR loves you guys. But that doesn't mean we give you a giveaway and then you send us a page of rules. If you don't think the giveaway is fair or you don't think it's a good giveaway, don't participate. Simple as that, right? <laughs> so it's like it's it's fair if you give away 2600 and you give away another 26 then we can support you i don't need your support <laughs> not with that attitude i want to support from cool people good people people that have good attitude and people that are part of team bargain hunters peter P team people that are part of team america's card room this is a bonus for those people this is not for people that i've never seen in my chat and the first thing they want to contribute to the chat is negativity and saying if you want our support that you need to give away more. It's not for you. It's meant for the cool people. The cool people. You gotta wear shades. Oh, we gotta get this giveaway over with so the dumbasses leave. It's actually good. Now that I'm trying to do this giveaway, we'll just keep on flopping hands. No, I could raise. Um, I don't know which hand you're talking about. Uh, let's just see. We'll just smooth play this. We have a huge hand and we got top pair, open and straight draw. If he, uh, he doesn't bet, so let's bet the pot. He checked it twice to us, so now we do bet. Does ACR actually pay in America? Of course they do. I catch it all the time. It's just an extra giveaway. Wait, no, okay. Please give us a bad hand. Ugh. I'm getting killer cards, guys. I know. We're like, we're totally running good today. Uh, I go back here. Back. Okay. Hold on a second. It's already. There we'll just three times it. Too busy looking at a rack. Might want to play some better poker. Nick, I don't know how to play poker. I'm not a very good poker player. I'm the first one to tell you that. <coughs> Last year we played Venom. We cashed it three out of four times, just so you know. And we gave away several thousand dollars on stream. <coughs> uh, the fourth space, we don't like it. We don't like the fourth space. Please just check. Let's just go to showdown. He checked the flop. A lot of times, if they have a big spade draw, they would bluff there. Eighteen thousand. That's such a. That's such a value bet. But that's the same guy that value bet earlier a twenties to the pot. Hi, mommy. Trying to get it. You know, we're gonna bet it. We're going to call him 18,000. He does have the nuts this time. Last time he did the same play, he had nothing. He was bluffing. So, But 18,000 to win 120,000 we have to do. All right, let's continue with the giveaway. Um, yeah. So, okay. Found a unit in with a bunch of kids' books dating back from the early 50s. Ended up giving them back to a local church to come find out somewhere worth some good money. Yeah, you definitely want to research kids' books. It's good that you gave it to a church, though, but yeah. would give away 10 to 10% th to three separate people to give good karma. So that's a guy that wants to change the rules, so disqualified. 
bought a broken ring at a tax sale for a dollar. Fifteen years later, jeweler mounted four stones onto my wife's ring. They were excellent quality diamonds worth five hundred dollars each, and he gave me two hundred dollars for the ring, twenty one ninety nine profit. That's a really cool story, and that you yeah. got it for your wife. That's cool. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life. Right. I've bought an easy fix for hair loss thinning for my dad. It's called Topic Hair. Fold. Um, it's called. Uh, what is that? Topic Hair. It's basically in powderized form and would make you look like you have a perfect hair. Ha. <laughs> You know, I don't relate to that fine, but I guess if that's something uh, that you really care about, that would be a really cool fine, right? Yeah. All right. Um, oh, this is in Spanish. Can you read that? I don't know. Minaja. Is it Spanish? Primera experiencia na... Uh, okay, I'm not... I don't think it's Spanish. Let's see. Sorry. Uh. Or it, may, it might have been Portuguese, but I don't it know. It could be Portuguese because we have a huge Brazilian following. And so does uh, America's card. My first experience of flat Ace of was when I won a 22 U.S. ticket. I played a regular tournament and I bought a final table. Just thank you. Okay, that's, oh, that's awesome. awesome. So I had a good uh, ACR experience. 2-5 offsuit. We can fold easy. Um. Hey, Ghost of M, are you handling the, the winner, the giveaway ticket? So kind of keep on watching that. He's going to answer it in five minutes. Or, like, I'm just going to email, send a message to support. A nice Olivetta typewriter will show pick if I win the ticket. Should have shown a pick in advance. I would have given you an edge. Flipping homes are fun to crazy, nasty thing like five tight pot containers filled with nail clippings. Ooh, Ooh that's pretty nasty. Yeah, that's a cool sign, right? Not really. That's nicey. But, what do you know? Oh, man. Unfortunately, in all my life, I've, I have not found anything funny or and exotic. I can only remember a very large bunch of keys that I found on the road. I hope the exciting finds in my life are yet to come, and the first of them will be a ticket for 26 Venom, Valerie. The funniest item in my house for sure. What is that? Alejandro. And that looks like um, like old art. Like, Oh, I know what this is. It's like a penis statue, like those stripes. I think that's what it is. It's like for, um, it's, you know, so you procreate or like, you know, it, yeah, fertility it, rod. Yeah, fertility. It's like the, um, indigenous Viagra. I once bought a storage unit for 300. It was loaded. Oh, that's which awesome. Georgia's... Somebody saying, um, thanks, guy, uh, Renee, for giving, for the giveaway. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Like, uh, you know, we love the giveaways, but it's like some people like to, they like try to call us out like we're doing something wrong. It's just, it is annoying sometimes. But honestly, guys, I've been filming every day this week. I'm tired. Oh, somebody I'm said to... if they win, they're going to give the money to Tunnel to Towers. All right. That's cool. That's cool. So you got to play and then you got to obviously make it a day too. But if, if you win the tournament, it's a chance at a million dollars. And, you know, America's card room is awesome. Remember, they're giving this ticket away twenty six fifty. The main event is ten thousand dollars for the World Series, so this is a huge giveaway they're doing. And not only are they giving it away, um, are we giving one away? You know, you can go to Justin Kelly, you can bet on True Ebony, um, a lot of different ACR pros and ambassadors are giving this away. So ACR is not just doing this for one person; they're doing this for a lot of people. That's awesome. Um, I love it when people give stuff away. Yeah, no. I, I love it when companies appreciate their customers and they get they give back. Yeah, America's card awesome. room is definitely like they appreciate their users and they, they do these giveaways because they sponsor it, they pay for it. I once bought a storage unit for three hundred. It was loaded with Jordan shoes, made a pretty penny. That's awesome. Been That's there, awesome. done that. Found some really nice Pokemon's at a Pokemon cards at a garage sale a few years ago. Bought a whole collection for ten dollars from an older couple. They were kept in a binder. Hmm. That's cool. If a story really stands out to you guys, say it. But it can't be yours, okay? <laughs> That's a lot of good finds, by the way. Best find I got was a nostalgic one. Five Kremlin books from the original movie with records for each book. I basically learned how to read with these records, and I found them as an adult. Great nostalgia day and the recreation of my childhood. Thanks for the opportunity. I like that. That's a cool story, yeah. Scotty. This is my bargain find. It looks like a Batman racket, but it's not. Having fun using it when punishing airborne insects. It's such an amazing electric pop. I thought you were saying punishing my children. <laughs> such a weird but useful device that I bought for the garage. That's cool. That makes sense. Especially if you live in some of the East Coast states where there's more bugs. Um, you know, I got to close this window because it, ma it makes it hard for me to go back. There we go. 
bought these do via Nike sneakers app a few days ago for 160 and sold it for 1400. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah, so that's that's raffles, right? You gotta win in raffles and those. I found my wife at a garage sale and for cheap. Best fight of my life would be awesome to play the Venom. I would use the cash for a 10 year anniversary trip as well. Aww. I like that one. I found yeah. my wife. I want to hear more of the story how you found her. I'm assuming it's a joke, or maybe you were at garage sale hunting and you found her. That's a funny one. On Match.com over right, 10 years ago. You found me at Starbucks. <laughs> uh, ago, a mysterious, exotic, shiny. I didn't work there. I was just standing in buying coffee. This is like all. Um, this is like all like these romance stories. On Match.com over 10 years ago, a mysterious, exotic, shiny creature winked at me. And I've been captivated ever since. That bargain uh -huh. cost me everything, but I still have her. And in return, bought her two amazing shiny, shiny diamonds in return. Oh, that's nice. That's a really cool the way he says that, too. Yeah. I like his profile picture. Yeah. And so I think his two shiny diamonds is... Um... His children. Yeah, you know, actually, I like this story the best because, you know, we always talk about value and cool finds. And, like, at the end of the day, family is everything, right? Aww. Right? See, I told you, ah, you gave me goosebumps right now. Look, I'm getting goosebumps on the wind. Right, check Aww. out these guns if you want some real goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys just, I, uh, bite it. Uh, I like that one the best so far. What do you think? Yeah. Because it's, uh, huh. it goes back to that rewards and family and life is everything. Yeah. So right now, emotional fish wins. Emotional Let's fish. see. You see a poker play because I'm gonna try to pick a poker play. I kept busy around the you know, twin boys. I love to play poker. My other passion is metal music. Oh, I like metal too. What kind of tattoo does he have his forehead? I know. I, I think that that looks like it's hand drawn. I hope it is. If not, he's gonna be really mad at me because that looks weird. Guys, don't get tattoos on your forehead. It's not the best thing. That's the only tattoo shop. But his, his two boys, boys look are precious. So cute. Aren't they sweet? You know what? That looks like a guy, and I'm not judging anybody. I don't know. He might be a mythic gazillionaire. <coughs> As you wish. When you decide, just let me know, and we will get the info to the managers to credit that. Perfect. Ghost of M is going to help us to credit that. It looks like, you know, he has a nice family, that young kid, so he has to pay for college. So if we give him the $2,600.50 ticket, oh. and he wins a million dollars, like, he can pay for his kid's education. And, and like, I, I, like, you know, guys, I don't want because people always get mad. I'm not judging. For all I know, this guy's a multi-billionaire. I don't know. But I, I do like his story. Um, face tattoo is a little questionable. I hope that's a joke. Oh, they're twin boys. Are they twin boys? Yeah, it says, if oh, you seven year old twins? my seven-year-old twin boys, when I can catch your breath, I love to play poker. Ah, oh, he is a poker player. So. My other passion is metal music. Renee loves metal music, too. Yeah, Nightwish, and he's from Ireland. And his boys look oh, really precious. Ireland? Yeah, because I was thinking that kind of looks Celtic. You know what? Y who knows? Maybe this, there. Maybe that's his family heritage. I don't know. I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of messages. Renee, you shouldn't comment on tattoos on the face. It's cool. I don't know. I just say what I think. You guys know that. All right. So I like I, I think that's my favorite one so far because I really yeah. like family is everything to us. I mean, family is everything to us in our in our life. And we this is cool. So and I think that counts. And I like the way he said it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Don't have yeah, one. No, don't remember or don't have enough said. energy to make some. But here's my ACR username. With that type of effort, I'm sorry, MD, but you're not winning. The most recent experience was when I was playing a 50-gate tournament. Wow, because I didn't pay attention to giving a fold. I ended up giving a call against an all-in card 7-3 with such luck that I ended up building a, a straight against a pair of aces. Wow. Wow, I've, that's a sick beat. So I've done that before in cash games. Um, I had the same thing. I accidentally called 1900 with 6-3 offsuit. I thought I was calling like a min raise, and I didn't see the other person. I was on the Poker 2 app, and this is a cash game. And uh, the flop was six three nine, and I had about eleven thousand in front of me. So I'm like, I don't want to take a crazy bad beat. So I just bet eleven thousand dollars and figured I'm only gonna get called by pocket kings. And another guy flopped uh, a pair of kings with a nine kicker. He called me. My six three held up. It's like a twenty five thousand dollar pot. Okay, my most exotic bargain was a gold ring. Where are you at? I'm listening. I'm... Tatiana, can you bring my phone? My most exotic bargain was a gold ring when I lost. I had sixteen years old, and six years later, it appeared inside of my one of my garden plants. I was putting insecticides yeah, on it, yeah. and out of nowhere, I see something shiny. So I researched through the leaves, and there it was very random. That's cool. That's super cool. But guess what? You're a winner just for that. That is cool. Yes. A lot of these stories that people are sharing are some really cool stories. I have a signed photo of Tom Twan and Phil Hellman from a heads up duel they just had on Poker Go, and I was able to go to the Poker Go studio and get some pictures taken with it. 
I'm sure I can run, run deep in attorney. That's a cool piece. Phil That's is a very good friend of mine. Yeah. <laughs> I think you already won just because of that story. Hey, Tansif, I like I like your story, but it's kind of like it's not it's not the edge thing I'm looking for. But I do like the story with the ten shirts. Should we because... take a picture and or add this to my story for our Insta? Yeah, you you can do a picture giving away um twenty six hundred dollars, and then you can get a bunch of people messaging you just like you're lying, you're not Wait, giving it away. Us? So try to keep the green screen in. No, the green screen is not. They don't. They see green screen. They don't see it, but we do. No, look right here now. Okay. Yeah, but he the green screen is gonna be. It's not gonna be the money. He. Oh, who taught? Oh yeah. So yeah. No, I. We will. I'm gonna get with ACR. So I, probably after the Uruguay trip. I just been so busy, guys. Like I would think that my life will get easier and slower. Out and, and it's and just it's actually. just going crazier and crazier. So uh, we will do a private tournament just for our crew, for our people, our followers. Oh, we don't have a hat, right? Okay. Sorry, I got to keep it back forward. One day we went to the beach with family and a nephew found a gold necklace playing the sand and we sold it for $2,000. That was crazy. Yeah. That's cool. You my, scored already. Or my nephew did. My best bargain had to be a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards I got for free when the whole lot was worth something like one k. That's cool. Should we hashtag it ACR? Uh, just do at americascardroom.com. Okay, what do you want me to write? That. At AmericanCardroom.com. AmericasCardroom.com. You'll, you'll see it come up. I found a Megadron Transformer, the original Japanese packaging that had been mispriced. And the person who registered seemed to have no clue. I felt bad after. But Venom. <laughs> yeah. That is really cool. Okay. This guy just puts his thing in it. He wants to play the tournament. Wow. That's <coughs> Does ACR have a Twitter account? Because it's not coming up. Yeah, just go to my Twitter. You'll see the link. It's, a I think, ACR underscore poker. <coughs> oh, yeah, it's at ACR underscore bottom line poker. Oh, this guy at Aces. He's running good, too. Okay, wait. Oh, we have Ace King. we got to play this hand. Start it with um, giving away. Oh, so Dr. Pepper says, most fun thing I could have done is become a dealer for this series. We're thrilled to meet Renee and deal to him. That's cool. Oh, that's awesome. I love that story. Mm. I think I know it is. It's a lady. I took a picture for her on my phone, and then I sent her the picture because she wasn't allowed to do it. Um, giving away twenty six hundred dollar Venom ticket. Yeah. Live the right progress. Now. You know, we have to read like two hundred of these. I'm getting tired. It's wearing me out of my poker skill. Man, every time I make like a min race, this table like just falls. Earlier, I would think it's like, man, maybe my stream is not on a delay. All right. Let's go back to the comments. I'm going to try to start going a little bit faster. These, that's just a username. Username. Chump profile. I recommend it. So he's just calling me fat. I found a Bulls Christmas sweater for $2. Gapes. I saw it's pretty weird. That's cool. I bought a micro gentry print from a yard store for 20 and I looked at it. It was worth 250 That's cool. Okay, now this might sound weird, but it happened. I, I bargained my cousin to give me a job, and I would do yard work for a year. I met a of my kids that I've been with over 17 years, so I have never done that. I've never gotten my wonderful Aww. kids. That's a really cool one, too. So I like it. A lot of people are reaching I think out. I that person already wrote one, Paul Gerbert. I feel like I saw that owl symbol. Maybe that. it could be. But that's a cool... I, I like it. A lot of people come with the family stories. Jack, 10 under the gun. Let's see a flop. Uh, when I was 16, my friend tried to exchange her real gold earring for a trash she really wanted that my sister had. I agreed. <laughs> that's funny. Did you exchange it because she got out of the dress or for the gold earrings? Uh, uh, you know, at 16, that's how you think, right? Bought four Nixon Millennium Falcon Star Wars watches for 450 and sold them for 500 each. Nice. Sounds like a good deal. Uh, back to a flush, that guy. Back to a straight, nothing else really. Eat, pray, chef. This guy's a pretty active player. But the hand is kind of a long shot for us here. If he has anything, I mean, we can't even beat Ace Jack. So we fold. Found a sweet original Coors Mirror for a dollar. Stumbled up Al Capone's vintage deck of cards from his playing days in L.A. Oh, I want to see that. I mean, if you have providence for that, he didn't put a... I wish he would have put a... If you would have put a picture with that and some providence, you would have had a really good... Um, you would have had a good chance at winning because that's a cool find. I once found a box of golden spoons and never got them checked out. My brother took them and we moved out. Maybe they were nothing, or maybe they were something. 
So gold spoons and golds is usually just nothing. It's plated. Got this free about eight years ago. A dog, service dog. That's awesome. People sure love their dogs. A service dog. That's a cool story. Oh, oh my oh god. My I played park one. I had to stop every 20 minutes because the piglet was born. My evening didn't even get better. Man, they're hungry. That looks rough. That looks painful. So that's when I see these piglets eating. Look at this real quick, Nana. No, I'm scared. Anybody see this? No, nobody. Look, look at this really quick. No, nobody's going to see on camera. Wait a second. Is that a joke against me? I will <laughs> get up off the... Hey. hey, you're not in the safety of the internet. I will come over there. Thank you. Here, look, yeah, look, like, look at Real eating. quick, because I got to go. You see it? Yeah, I see it. Okay, it's because we're... We, we still have three. tons to read. On Tom Brady internet... rookie card at a yard sale for five bucks. Hold on, we just got to get go, go through this. Nice. On the internet, there's so many stuff inside. Stop. Sadly, I've never even come close to fun exotic weird bargain find unless you count surprise sales at grocery stores. I do have numerous... Mm, no. Okay, next. Uh, yeah. The last funny find for me was I saw... It. You, not as a buyer of finds. What? Okay, whatever. Basically saying that we suck at reselling, which we've made millions of dollars, but okay. Okay. Like that's great. like people, I was telling Phil Helmut. How are you going to win? <laughs> it's, he's not trying to win. That's that's to people, I was telling Phil Helmut, he's not that good at poker, yet he has like 17 or 16 bracelets. Right. Okay. Um, this guitar and my cat, Sasha. Aw. I don't know, that's cool. That's a pretty. pretty. Found a hand-painted porcelain pizza at my grandma's house that no one wanted. Found it's worth 10K. That's a cool one. Wow. Thing. That's a cool one, Jamie. When I was 16, I found a hell of a man. He was 19. He would lose his money to my family in carts and dice, treat me well, kind to all. And so fun. I ended up marrying him to celebrate our 35th anniversary. Wow, that's a great Might story. not be what you mean, but my best friend ever, Venom. Aw, that... sounds like you're already a winner. So now I feel bad because we have three or four stories with the family, and I like them all. And, like, how do you choose one over the other, you know? So maybe we'll look for something different. Okay. Well, I, I was going to say I like that guy because he's Irish. I'm Irish. Mexican Irish. Green mm -hmm. beans. I like the way he put it, too, but I also like the way she did it. Yeah. I'm not sure about the 16 and 19 part. I mean, those were probably different days, but my 16-year-old daughter brings a 19-year-old guy home. as an ass whipping. So, uh, and you guys here, give, give your feedback. Casey will keep on reading this. Okay. Too much is going on all at once. Yeah, no, see, how do you feel? I do these for like 10 and $12, and Shrike is with me all the way. Ghost of Amazon with me all the way. I know, Shrike is And I'm trying to play poker at the same Did time. Did you ever send Shrike a t-shirt? We should send him a t-shirt. Oh, yeah, I sent him a t-shirt. I sent him a Patrick Mahomes rookie card. And any tournament I play, he's in for 1% oh, automatically. Okay. So I always package them. I forgot. That's right. We did send you stuff. Yeah, so he got a Patrick Mahomes rookie card, which is pretty cool. Um, I sent Shrike a few things. Shrike I it. once found Jesus at the bottom of the box of Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> I blinked off a 1C tourney feed that sat and got into the 1K Irish Open and chopped it heads up 480K. Wow. That's nice. That's really nice. One cents at 100K, you're already a winner. Uh, Some time ago, I found a little bag with marbles, which I used to play when I was a child. It was a nice memory. ACR Hard King, good luck and venom. How nice. I've been rooting for you a lot since when you arrived at the auction wars here in Brazil. I was watching. I'm very, I'm very years and I follow you and Dan and Lauren. I see how many you see when, what Joy Renee is Davis face seal of defeated, in the end my ACR. Yeah. Renee in Davis face seal of defeated. I yeah, don't... he likes seeing that you make Davis face defeat. It's because he translates. Oh, okay, because he does it Spanish. Okay, okay, okay. Well, yeah. Portuguese, Brazilian. Yeah, yeah. I've been rooting since the same one. After my grandfather passed away, I was going through stuff, and I found an old dive bomber jacket from when he served in the Korean War. That's pretty cool. I will never yeah. sell it. If you ever do want to sell it, let me know. <laughs> Is that bad to say That's after somebody said that? Um, old poker books from Harrington, they are selling now as a new strategy. You know, I wonder if that's really true. So I know old Dan Harrington poker books, but I, is his strategy considered a new strategy? So... um. Yes, Renny, I'm the one that we took photo. I could not. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Okay, raise and a re raise. We have to fold. Anytime body pillow for $10 on Amazon. Why is there a monkey in it? I don't know. That's the, that's a chimpanzee, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. Ugly picture. I'm sorry. The most value you can give to anyone is your time because you give something you never can get back. 
That is true. We give a lot of our time. America's card room gives a lot of their time. Shrike, Ghost of M. A lot of people give their time. That's why we get annoyed sometimes when we get the idiots coming in. Okay, we're in break. So, you know, normally I take a break. But I'm not going to. We're just going to go through these comments because we want to do the giveaway. Yeah, because my mom's waiting. I know. I went to, I'm went i going to try to do this a little bit faster. Just read it off. If something points, like, really hits you, just hit me. Okay. Or, like, just, like, say something. Okay. Actually, don't hit me because we can actually communicate. Um, it, uh, yeah, it's not necessarily that we need a pick. But I think if an item is that unique, I would want to see something. So it's not necessarily a pick. I went rummaging with old lady once. I was bored. and But, you know, like everything, the more effort you put in, the better I was. Um, I went rummaging with old lady once. I was bored. Came across a coffee maker that I thought would look pretty expensive for 10 Looked it up on my phone. Went for 100 Talked to the guy 9 to 5 Stopped at a local pawn shop and sold it for 50 Nice. 10 times your money, but you should have sold it on eBay and maximized your money. That's one thing I always teach in my videos. I found a ton of vinyl records. So I figured that was a huge win. That's awesome. Lionel's always fun. Found a storage container buy on YouTube that I used to watch on TV when I was young. Turns out he does giveaways. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Mm. Oh, look, a nice family picture. We got some food. Packed up everything I own. Moved to a new state where I didn't know anyone. I made some of the best friends anyone could have. Aww. Better than any of the cool stuff and trophies I've gotten over the years. That's a nice one. I that's like it. Nice one. Looks like a bunch of guys. Happy. Good food. Everybody seems nice. Sounds like you're already a winner. That's a winner. Yeah, friendship. You know, friendship and money is uh, it's better than... Uh, friendship and family is better than money. Because money can't give you hugs. Exactly. Cashing the Venom would be absolutely amazing. The best bargain I ever found was a PSA Chen chair set back in 2004 from a friend getting rid of his Pokemon collection. I held it ever since. Nice. And he got it graded. Okay, this is a really cool and poker related. When I was and I know yeah. the Charizard because he sold that in our store. Remember they were well, looking the, for that in that one box. Well, yeah. I mean, I was asking, you got a first edition Charizard. I'm like, you mean the three hundred thousand dollar Charizard at the time? So um, I'm like, yeah, it's in a nine cents box. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that's that's the main character in Pokemon. So let's see. This guy says this is a cool story. Th this is really cool and poker related. When I was younger and just getting into poker around two thousand three, boom. My, found, my mom found this really cool vintage poker set with a couple of really old decks. You twist the knob and the chip spins out. I've used it at home games ever since. And he put a little GIF video in the animated. That is a cool set. The only thing that sucks about it is plastic chip. And then I like it. It's an advertising set. Mars Oil Company. So I like this. This is a good one, right? Yeah. You want to take a picture of this one right here? Atlanta Atlas? Looks like he's a poker player. kind of like that idea that's a cool set it's poker related let's see if we can trump that one so i really like the iris guys post so uh i really like the irish guys post also but then several people kind of make the same post so andrew so said definitely an ass whipping my daughter's 16 yeah you're 19 years old and you come like dating my daughter seriously and i'm happy that they're married for 35 years but as a dad that's an ass whipping you better befriend my daughter for like three years and then marry her when she's like 21 or something. You still got to run it. You still can kick these young guns' asses. Sometimes I can, but um, I tell you I got the resources to pay people that can't kick these young guns' asses. That's for sure. So uh, by far the best deal I've ever found a dog. That's cute. So a lot of animal ones. Best bargains are always the Costco hot dog and soda for 150 I like those too, but sometimes I get some crazy ass stomach aches. Towards the end of 2012, my friend and I, all 1560 all participated in a CSGO tour and won second place. The price was $70, but we couldn't withdraw because we hadn't we we, we didn't we had didn't have a bank account. So the host managed to pay us with four to five bitcoins in years to come. It became a real deal, but we lost wallet email. Oh, oh, oh that sucks. That's a good story. Oh, that sucks. Oh. That sucks. Okay, I became an extreme coupon. and I got it good at it. Even at one point, the store was paying me to take out their score. Anyways, I was able to trade my goods for a coach purse with ID tags and matching tote cover. I gave it to my daughter for a sweet 16. That's really cool. I like that one too. Um, That's really cool because she gave it to her daughter. Yeah. Is she a poker player? Let's see. Happily married, loving mother, loves cook and bake. Always dancing around, loves music, pool and poker. Just you all around dork. Okay. I like the story too. What do you think about this one? Yeah. She did it with hard work. 
and then that's her best find. And uh, oh, back. She did it with hard work, and that's her best fat. Oh man, don't lose my spot. She did it with hard work. It's her best find. And here, you want to take notes what we like. Here, just um. Throw her again at the camera. Just the camera. here, just do notes here. I don't. We'll have a million pictures. And then she gave it to her daughter. It's nice too. I like when people give back. So that's a nice one. Just do a green eyed girl or a poker coach. That's a good one too. Okay, let's see. We don't want to skip anybody. We got the dog. Found a storage container. Found a Super Nintendo in a box with like 15 games. That's cool at 40 bucks. Finished T20 thinks T26 tank. Is it back? No. Finished T26 tank in a swamp near Dachen near Weiburg. We found it and ran it with the boys for two months. It was our secret. Then adults found out, kicked our ears, and called the military. I don't know. That story is hard to believe. You find a tank in the swamp and you drove it around for two months as kids? I mean, that'd be if that's a true story, that's one hell of a story. But uh, that's just, that's hard. I'm, I'm sorry. That's hard to believe. What do you guys think? Do you guys believe the story? I don't know. That's a hard story to believe. Victory is only victory. I, I want to go from poor to king. Hard work. Uh, our bargainers and AC are poker. I was sitting at home playing poker, scrolling through Twitter and Parallel, and I came across you. I thought this was my chance. I found it. Yeah, but you forgot to tell the story. Oh, you you didn't re follow the rules, buddy. When you expect nothing and you get everything. That's a real... I think that's a, that's a gear shifter, right? That's really cool. It looks like a gear shifter to me. But that's really cool. Found ninety dollars and quarters in a leather briefcase in the alley behind my house when I was five years old. Turned it into ten. Turned it into the police. They said it was likely a loose newspaper machine robbery. No one claimed it, so ninety days it was mine. And I'd make the local newspaper. That's cool. Um. Oh, I like that play poker now. So somebody said if we can't decide who to pick, we should make, we should do a drawing. That's a good idea. You know, so let's have Green Eyed Girl, the Irish guy, and what's the other picture we took? Maybe we do that. I like that. The ones yeah. that really stand out. Should we do that? Yes. Because, uh, see, the one thing I hate about the picking part is like one happy person, 250 people hate I us. I know. <sighs> and I'm not really playing poker. I should be playing a lot more aggressive, playing my chip stack. I sh we should have picked in advance, but then people say it's crooked. Uh, a friend's computer. I was playing poker yesterday, and the computer turned off. I lost all the tables. I have a spare computer. That is not a good find. That's a bad find. How about a set of school lockers found in a yard sale, spray painted in my room as storage? That's cool. Slow writing. I like it. I found a vintage old Sims deck. Nothing too crazy, but to me was sick find. ACR Sims deck. I don't know what that is. A go kart in the woods and fields behind no dumping sign. It actually started right up, drove it for five minutes till the wheel fell off, then pushed it two miles back to my house, fixed it up, called it Moses. Uh, love, you might have sold a go kart <laughs> because if it starts up, run running. I ordered a big ass pizza. I got delivered. It wasn't cut. It wasn't cut to slice. I sent a picture to a restaurant. Asked how I should eat it. They send me one more same pizza. Yeah, sound like you already scored. Mm, yeah, but you angry. couldn't figure out how to cut a pizza into slices. He was just complaining and got another pizza for free. Eh, not three times the mouse. I bought a homemade snorkel kit. Okay. That's different. I found Castle Grey Skull. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. Prepare a delicious made Argentinian drink with my lucky thermos. It's a horse. That totally missed the question. Some old antique musky lures. Oh, lures can be really good. That's cool. Nice. My girlfriend's grandma has everything. Hundreds of tablecloths, napkins, baskets, china, glass with silver, dolls, coins, and anything and everything in between. She passed March 2020. Oh, this, I think this guy's trying to sell me something. Oh, we're still trying to sort through it. Okay, it says, that's cool. The more I work, the more lucky I am. That's very good, Makisa, because you create your own luck. Whichever you want to put me in, it will be accepted. I will always play my best. Okay, you missed the point. Uh, 1,050 as a ticket. I multiplied it to 300. Awesome. I remember finding a snake skin. I don't know about that. Okay, this is kind of weird. I'm not going to do this one. I bought an old coin at a flea market for a few cents. Sold it a few days later for 800. That's cool. I played poker one night. I'd stop every 20 minutes because a piglet was born. My evening didn't even get better. He posted it twice. Doesn't count. Got a lucky find a rookie mint condition Charles Barkley rookie card for twenty five at yard sales, and a box full of cards. Go Suns! 
What's up, Michael? I'm great. I'm a great dad. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate it. So we're trying to give away this $2,600 so you guys can play Sunday. But we had, like, I was hoping, like, you know, 40, 50 people entered. I think, like, last time I checked, it was, like, two or 300. Wow. Keeping my cash for years on a poker side, cashing out when ease down to one to one. That's good. That's actually smart. I find a job. I would have to say most fun excitement Brian would be a shot at a ticket to free roll tournament. Tom Brady rookie card for sale, five bucks. That's good. Especially if it's the Bowman Chrome. You have card. Uh, King Ten. Oh, big blind. Okay, let's see what happens here. Um sadly never come close to an exotic find. Surprise sales at grocery stores. Okay. WEC Poker, that's a guy who won a lot of money from us already. At 1979, Chips Caprice Estate Wagon for $3. Okay. Wow. That must have probably been a fixed up, but still, that's cool. Okay, min raise. Let's see a flop. Damn, we had an actual building a good stack. The deer like one was unique. The wife one was the most touching. Dog one was cute. Okay. That's an opinion. I like it. I agree. The deer like was unique. Just got stand, but it was a decent fake signature. I've not had it. The racket down to my son. We played tennis many times. Oh, the, the seller told me it was used by Pete Sampras. I never listen to what sellers say at Yard Salon unless they have provenance. People try to sell me stuff all the time, say this was belonged to this person. But unless you have the provenance, it's meaningless. A story is just meaningless. I mean, it's cool to have the story, but just because you have a story doesn't mean um you can pay for it. This guy bluffs a lot. Okay, he bets. Let's, you know, I said I'm going to play aggressive. He calls. Shit. I played two big hands with him. One of them I won, one of them I lost. Another check again. Um. Well, you know he's going to bluff the river no matter what. Unless he has nothing. King 10. Damn, I had three better me calls with second best pair. I love this guy. Hold on a second. Let me put a note on this dude. I love this guy. I will green light him. And I will save it. There we go. Yeah, we made a little note. Uh, hi from the hammock. You have a beautiful family. Thank you, Craig. On the button. All right, let's go 18,000. I mean, we're at starting stack, right? I don't know we're doing bad, but... Let's see what happens here. I buy Star Wars comics for 10p. For 10s. I'm not going to get picked for that. I don't hate you. Well, that's nice, Wally Coyote. I appreciate it. Thank you. I know you're a good guy. How do you enter? Go to Twitter. It explains it. But we're about to give it away. So you had like a week to join. By the way, that one guy was upset because I said I give it away in 48 hours. Uh, you know, I should see, but I'm talking shit. Um, sometimes it takes longer because we just get caught up with filming. Have a drawing with everyone who entered? No, because that's not that, that's not how that drawing went. You know, ACR said I should pick somebody that we like. <laughs> a lot of times I do drawings, but ACR said we should pick somebody. I should have seen, but now the betting on a turn is a little bit weaker. So let's see. Hopefully they don't have nothing. What's up, Germany? Just fold your hand. You can fold one time. Okay, fold. Got the box. Yay. I played it bad though. I should have see bet the flop, but I, I guess maybe because I checked the flop and see see bet the turn basically, mm -hmm. they they think my hand is a lot stronger. Yeah, sorry, it's just on Twitter. Also, America Card Room is huge on Twitter. The poker community is huge on Twitter, so that's why we chose that platform for the giveaway. We did advertise it on Facebook and everywhere else. Thirty-eight thousand. You know, we're only gonna call because we love this guy. Like he's a huge calling range. That is a bad flop for us.
Yeah, it's supposed to be an honest story. I mean, there was a couple stories in there already where, like, I didn't believe the story. I made a loose brief. I'll call here. Oh, now we got the 10. Now I feel like I want this guy to bluff. He's going to bluff or he has a set. Do I want to give him a free card? What do we want to do? Do we want to give him a free card or do we want to bet? Are you a professional poker player, Casey? Let's just tell the truth. If it wasn't for you, I didn't know how to play this game. I guess. We want well. It's oh, this guy bets forty one thousand. We'll we'll just call. I thought he was gonna check, so we'll just call. He folded. Straight gets there. Two different straights. Five six jack nine. This guy called a big pre flop bet. How much was it? He made it eight. Well, he made it eight thousand. He called. He could have ace ten. This guy goes all in every time against me. Last time he did that, he made the straight. <sighs> what does he do here? He bets 41,000 on a turn. Does he have jack 10? Does he have 9, 10? Does he have ace 10? Does he have a set of 10s? Should I just, how much chips do I have if I call this? 577. Yeah, but you, you bust out then. Well, I'm going to rebuy Sunday anyway. This, this is the is second. This is not the hand to hang your tail on. Or you do what you, you want to do. I don't know. I mean, in tournaments, it's like. I mean, the one time he goes on, like the way he played. The one time he goes on, and he has a straight, but it doesn't make sense. I guess he could bluff on a turn with 5 6 because we both checked. And then he gets lucky on the river. Shit, I should have 3 bet him on a turn. Or just raise on a turn, I mean. But I mean, all in there, like. I think he did it earlier, folded. He did another one, we both had to straight. But we flopped the straight. Race, call, call, re race, fold, call. I guess he could have called my position with jacks or queens. That would make sense too, right? Mm. I say fold. Yeah, it's probably the right play to fold. Ah, uh, let's just fold. Uh, am I buying? Click it. You didn't click it. It's okay if I don't click it. My hand just times out. Uh, okay. Am I buying a dip in the card market? Not really necessarily cards, just sealed product. Ah, uh, let's go back to the giveaway. We have another ten million comments to read. Uh, guitar. Found a hand painted porcelain piece. Oh, we already did that. So sometimes people do it twice. Yeah. I wish an exciting story when I set up for online poker. I wanted to get a big screen for my computer. I had to walk into the Carmen's little pawn shop on the way home, and the next day he had a beautiful 27 inch curved Samsung for 60. That's a good find. Once I was offered a car, I stared at a very low price at a fuel service station. I bought it without hesitation. When I opened the box at home, my father was a painted prick. Oh, my brother did that too. <laughs> but it was a laptop. But you know what? If anybody offers you an expensive car stereo, um, it's probably stolen if it's in there. Yeah, all right. At a gas station. Woohoo, fire it up, Renee. Once helped my neighbor clean out her house when her husband passed away. She sold me this small trunk. She sold me this small trunk. She sold me a small trunk in the attic for $30. I found some rare coins that aren't if you were thousands. That's cool. Nice find. Found this gift. Weird. Best buy I found was $12,000 MOA for free. Bought my house with all the stuff left, and I found old signed pictures of famous people. Oh, we got queens. That is cool. That's just limp. Somebody raise it so we can make a play. Here, come on, Neo. You raise a lot. Maybe you like to race. Maybe 43 race. Every time these guys in the blinds, I had the aces, the ace king, the kings, and the queens. When's this guy's blind? Just make a bet. Come on. You're thinking. You have a strong hand. You have king jack here, and it's just one limp at the blind. No, we fold. Okay, eat, pray, shove. You know, I can be bullied easy. You need to teach me a lesson. Teach me a lesson about attitude, not to limp your big blind. Okay, we just check. That's fine, too. And then we flop a king, so we check. And then we turn an ace to make it even better. At least we have the queen of diamond. We're drawing to the second that redraw. We'll just check. An eight. And now we're just going to bet a little bit, and we're going to get called by king deuce. Yeah. I'm so positive. Come on, call me with an eight to teach me a lesson. Or ten, or four. Just not a 10 and a 4. Not with a diamond, not with a queen jack, not with an ace king. 
You even can't call me a pocket queen and a chopper because we're cool like that. <laughs> <coughs> he showed a jack. Oh, he had a jack of diamonds. If the last diamond comes, we'll probably get some action. So we played it, right? What's up, Jacksonville, North Carolina? Uh, now you race on the button, you punk ass. Uh, let's go back. Um, never actually gone bargain hunting. Hope to one day. 1984 bargain uh, fold. How come this guy's sitting out? FedEx sex? I don't even know what that's all about. How do you have a name like that and you have a million of chips? United States. Now this day playing really fast and I'm trying to give this giveaway. 1984 bargain, not at a store, but a guy on the street in Calgary when I lived there. I smoked a lot of weed. This guy sells me a crap bargain bag. He called it no lie oil weed and hash in one bag. Mm, nothing drug related. Yeah, we're not doing that. My f most fun exotic barn to be tweed for 26. I once found a bad old toenail. My wife and I found a pair of Gucci slides for five ninety nine at a yard sale. That's cool. A new business was opening up, getting rid of everything inside of the old business, delivering their mail. And they asked me if I wanted this post of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I said, sure, my daughter loves that movie. Got it, gave it home to her. Nice. That's nice. And, and it was signed by Tim Burton and all the kids' signature. That was cool. Oh, Who's wow. awesome? You are. Thank you, Jake. Oh, Jax. You know, we should just do this giveaway the whole day because I seem to be getting good hands. Um, I don't know if dumpster diving counts, but if it does, it does. Then my most fun exotic fear, fear was an untouched and placed and sealed box of expirations that after year 2024. Food. It was food. Food, okay. Okay, guys. Now we're going to gamble. So it's a race and a re-race. But FedEx Sex has a lot of chips. So he's that, that person is definitely going to play the stack. Should we, we should just go all in, right, and try to do the flip with Jax. That's 114,000. Oh, there's another re-race. Oh, shit. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why you love this game and you hate it at the same time. No, I mean, the right place to fold here, but I feel like gambling. Do we want to gamble or fold? Oh, just call. No, it's going to get re-raced. Gamble or fold? I don't know. This, I don't know. I'm just going to fold. Okay. This guy just sat down. I mean, race, re-race, and a re-race. Somebody got to have a bigger pair than Jax, right? You would think. Oh, yeah, this guy's all in for 450, so he has a hand. I mean, a best-case scenario, I'm going against, like, an ace-king suited here. And both of these guys just sat down. I don't know. Maybe 43, I think, sat down, too. So both of these guys fold. So the original Razor had the real hand. Or who knows? They might just... I mean, in tournament poker, you see crazy stuff. They have pocket eights. And all toys in a storage unit. That's not weird. That's like every storage unit. When I was 16, I found a hell of a man. We already seen that. Poppy Trolls at 20. My only storage giver. I bought a locker for 9. and got an iron board. Ken Griffey Jr. Rookies. I was at the flea market buying records and found the autographed Barbara Streis in the first promo record. That's cool. That's, these people just found NES at a yard sale. Playing Venom winning. So People have just been putting on there. My, my best find is getting the free ticket. That defeats the purpose. Ooh, Venom bad beat jackpot. I didn't know Venom had a bad beat jackpot. Or well, well, somebody just says the bad beat. Venom doesn't have a bad beat jackpot. Uh, my most exciting found is my own sport car and my own storage unit. I forgot about it for six years. <laughs> That's funny. Definitely done that. I'm a big fan of you. Thank you. Winning this ticket. Goodwill. Also, can you He found a Patek Philippe watch in the firewood. Okay. I found Jesus in the bottom of a box. We already seen this. Spanish. Marcelo Cipe. The most insane about Wishima. I mean, some of these people put their tweets up like they did them two or three times. Uh, my most weird find was when a dad passed away at Christmas. We had to empty his house while going through everything. Found an old coin collection. It went from that to she. Huh. Oh, when my dad was 15, we got a unit. I had so many sports cards. It took us almost two months to go through and sell them all. It was one of the best memories I had with my dad before he passed away. That's a cool story. I like that. You want to write that one down? Yeah, with the dad. It was Andrew Snap. Andrew Snap. I like that one. 
got an old deck of Nintendo poker cards. Found some really nice basketball cards at the yard sale. Take it. It's not it. Cons the universe conspires in my favor. I never forget the day I won a $50 ticket in a satellite. You ticket. Friend. Bought this locker for $12. When it was self-published, there was a new release in December with a new cover. They're going for 100 bucks. That's cool. And a card. Yeah, it's just a book. Um, my most exciting find was a touch pepper and salt set. I moved away from my home country. I was hunting for new editions. That's cool. I one time got about 5,000 of those sets. Uh, would you guys come to a fundraiser for a kid that raises money for his disease? It would be in Ohio. I mean, that would be really expensive for us to go. That wouldn't make sense, to be honest. And honestly, people get mad at me because I don't retweet GoFundMe and fundraisers, but I get hit we with get, fundraisers like yeah, five and, times a day. They could be scams. It, it's not necessarily that it's scams, but if I really get involved in all the fundraisers and all the GoFundMe's and all this stuff, I mean, our whole feed would just be fundraisers and GoFundMe's. Yeah. Well, and you don't want to promote something that could possibly be a scam. And then some of my scams, unfortunately, yes. And I've did a couple in the past, and then it, it turned out bad for me, where basically the people would call me 16 times a day. Uh, and every time there was something, I would get called. It's just like, so we just don't do much. We do participate in charity events, and we give a lot of donations. But if it's like big, big organizations, we come to the events, we play charity poke events, or we just give our direct donations. And we usually donate, like, if we do GoFundMe, it's anonymous and stuff. I kind of like this one. Which one? Found this at the Swiss store about a month ago, still waiting for the genie to come out of the bottle and grant me some. Run good wish. Wishes. That's Maybe actually really cool, today. yeah. Heaven God. Vinipak, Reverb Nation. So it must be a poker player, because he also went to Chris's back. Um... The genius. I bought this in a picture flea market. I'm not sure what it means or who painted it. Uh, Sarah. Clarence bought a 50 bucks for my daughter. Sarah won a lot of money with us in the past. Uh, good luck with the Venom. I, sorry. Sorry, this is a big giveaway. We just have to do it. Did no, not yet. We wait. still have to read all. Oh, I got Aces. Sorry. Okay, this guy made it. Oh, yeah, I got to be careful now because oh, no, I don't want to do that much half. We're going to raise it big. Yeah, it's because of the light. It's because of all the camera lights. Mm -hmm. We got aces, guys. I almost missed you that hand. Say hi to everybody. Everybody want to say hi Come to everybody? Come on, Neo, re-raise. You're the fish. You, you're my fish. I marked you down as a fish. Please, you raised under the gun. Yes, you re-raised. Thank you, Neo. I love you, buddy. I love you, Neo. You're my homie. <laughs> so we're going to re-raise him to... 130. Come on, re raise and go all in. You got kings or queens or jacks, or you got ace king. Ace king would be awesome. Re raise me, Neo. Hey, if you bad beat me, I'm okay with that. You, my fish, I marked you down as light, light fish. You gotta re raise. I'm probably bluffing here, dude. I don't even have it. And he's all in. That's why I marked him as a fish. Woo. Okay, guys. Here we go. This is where it gets exciting. He this has kings. He's a good head. Oh, okay. he flopped open ended. Uh oh. Uh oh. We both have clubs. And we win. Yes! yes! Woo! High five, baby. High five, baby. Bam! Can I get a kiss? Yeah. Hold on. That was awesome. I need to lick my lips. <laughs> oh, my God, girl. Yeah, no. <laughs> you know what? If you would have kissed me after that, I would have been like, that's gangster. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <sighs> All right. We got 564,000 aces normally on those hands every time i get aces like that and he flops an open man straight draw you know the turn card is like a nine so i have no odds yeah. all right that was fun face of death vhs tape when i was young i remember going on first board hunt to get out of the first box he opens and notice a weird smell that opened the box and that was a ziploc bag with filled with human pope poop <laughs> that's funny once found a small box of vintage Major League cards. My parents' neighbor's garage sale. I bought it for $15. Do you want to be on camera? And it turned into a four nice figure profit <laughs> sale. That, that's Casey's mom. Here's the roast. You got to go. Together. There you go. So you got That's what they see. <laughs> it's really funny because I almost missed my aces because my timer is down. My time bank. That would have really sucked. But um, yeah. I once found a small box. Okay, that's cool. Once found a 
bunch of Yuga mud flaps and an old canceled brand of car. So I know Yuga. I think that's European, isn't it? And it turns out it was the worst cover made, and they were collectibles. I made a bit of money from them. AC, my name is Buckleworm. Good luck. That's cool. Uh, I ordered a patio table set. They didn't send it to me, so let me go pick a more expensive one at the store. Remind me, when we picked a winner, we got to make sure, because one of the requirements is they had to retweet this tweet. Oh, okay. Okay. Now we're talking about bars. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to quick scan these comments now because there's just so many of them. So, wife and has a garage sale come across the dog tags about 15 years ago as a military girl, like craft them. Turned out my grandpa was in World War II with the guy. That's kind of cool. <coughs> um, I was like it when I started like this. This may seem silly now, but at a yard sale back in 2006, I had a box shop back with 42 flat screen for 75 it, was, it had the TV, a PlayStation 2, 20 games. That's not silly. That's a cool find. That's cool. It's always more expensive to, for me to buy bargains, but there's necessary. The last one day, I last time to tell you about a friend. When the pandemic started, I quit the job I was doing. I dedicated myself full-time to online poker. I met a lot of beautiful people, family. Rick, that's cool. Poker community is definitely cool. We got nines. Most of the poker community is cool. That's some weirdos at the tournament sometimes, but I think poker community overall is cool. Pocket Nines, he makes a min race, FedEx sex. He raised it early and then laid it down, so we never saw his hand. So let's see a flop. Uh, oh, you hear that? Yeah. I'm kind of hungry. That's a great memory you were blessed with. Three better this guy. Should we put another thirty-seven thousand in trying to go set mining? It's a lot of this kid. He was pretty active with three betting. Tell it to my heart. Ukraine. So that's a huge aggressive player. Should we set mine? Seven percent of our stack. What's that? Ten big blinds. Win two, four big blinds. He calls. Okay, we're gonna set mine because we get two to one for our money. Okay. We do not hit the set. The king gets there. We'll check. Uh. We both checked the original razor. It's not the worst flop for us, only one over card. Let's see the bigger pocket pair already. He bets 45,000. That's a really small bet in this pot. All right, you know, we have a half a million of chips. We're just going to wait for a better situation. I mean, we probably could call your raise, but I don't know. I don't know. We're trying to give away money. Uh, when I was spent time to start, I saw he, so this guy's from the poker community. One, I was worried about how to get money to pay for my wife's medical. I played a spin and go worth the thousand time multiply, which guaranteed the 600 price. It was exciting. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ACR gives a lot of money away. ACR, to me, is the best poker site you can play in America. The ticket we got, I flew into Denver in 2012, lost my luggage. When I got back to my new shoes, were missing out of the box. I replaced some old Air Force Ones. I ended up sending the Air Force Ones to a shoe store and got an airbrushed with the circle bottle and collars and sold it for two seventy five. Damn, somebody sold his shoes to the luggage. When I was stationed in Iraq, thank you for your service. I bought three hookahs for forty five dollars. Two of them were smaller ones, one person, two person hookah. But the third was a thirty was a six man hookah. Came back and seen the exact same one for four fifty. That's cool. Thanks for your service, Joshua Witt. Yeah. Um, this saved me. I got a wape. Uh -huh. Actually, that's a real post, Mariana. Okay. Never found anything but when I was on Grand Bus 20 years ago, I found a $20 bill. That was enough weed to roll a joint. Hope you don't smoke it. I bought a bag of old coins from the flea market for 50 and one of them was a 1912 $5 Indian head at the bottom of the bag. It was beat up, but still goes for 700 That's cool. Cool. I know we have like tens of thousands of coins we need to search. My memory shows, so I have to say, most recent fun find was Laundry Basket. Of original Nintendo games and Orange N64 controllers. Play oh man, that's cool. That, that's a fun find. I love vintage video games. Yeah. Found that many Crease Islands are for sale dirt cheap due to collapsing economy. And I thought about buying one when a crypto portfolio was doing good. I wonder how much a Crease Island would cost. We should buy an island in Crease. Yeah. How did Renee avoid the straight on ACR? That's on any poker. 
in one of the uh, the hand that I got beat me in one of the World Series event. I should talk about that. That was a sick hand. If you guys remind me later, I'll, I'll say it. I made this crazy play, trapped the guy, and he got run around straight. And he had nothing else to go. Oh, no, he had a pair of pocket dents. So I guess he did have something, but still, like, crazy hands, you know? It's just poker, guys. It has nothing to do with ACR. Does Casey have, Casey have a sister? No. She has a mom. I have a mom. <laughs> my mom's single. In her 70s. And ready yeah, to mingle. Yeah, my mom's 72. Doesn't she look good? There's a bar in New York City called Rudy's where you get a free hot dog with every drink. I'm a regular patron. In high school, my buddies and I would be used suitcases. Found old record player in Germany. Never did a good deal. Touring with the Grateful Dead. That's cool. Casey Jones stopped at a yard sale in the Alpine, Wisconsin. Going through some old baseball cards. Found Nolan my rookie. A lot of baseball card stories. Bought a 2012 Nissan Altima for 3K. 3K. Putting a spare on a factory. So it was $1,000 bills. Cool. <coughs> Bought a bag of chips. 3 for 10 Okay. Found unused tickets to the Titanic. That is kind of cool. Is that real? I don't know. I mean, I've never heard of that, but I guess it would be. Would have been out of London. Or, you know, maybe it was an unused ticket to that Titanic for future voyage because they were obviously coming back. Could have been in the movie. <laughs> Could be, too. I don't know. I found a Barry Bonds rookie card in a 25 stack. Found out it looked like a pirate treasure. Could also be a random press Pete. Haven't gotten it locked. Looked at because of the mystery. Much more fun. I want two Venom, Venom tickets the same day. That's good. You're running good. That's really cool. Having, having married my wife and she has a PS4. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you married your wife with a PS4. I like not to play for a week. Know anything about poker during those days before a very important tournament for me. Okay. Not the question, but it's a cool story. One of the first packs of bubble gum. A lot of years ago, a disc when came out. My grandpa and I was at the flea market. He bought me the first one day. I had a new look for Sony. Cheap, cheap. I probably listened to two songs before it crapped out. My grandpa wanted to fix it like a watch, but couldn't 20 years. Actually, those discmas are worth a lot of money now. Later, when he passed away, this one was still taken on his desk. I'll never forget that. Funny. Thanks a lot. One time, an onion ring with my friends. <laughs> Found a jar of silver quarters buried in my grandpa's yard when I was 11. That's cool. Your venom ring. That's really cool. Alejandra. Alejandra? Right? Uh -huh. Lima. That's cool. Your venom ring. That's actually cool. You should be playing that while wearing the Venom. Playing the Venom. You should be wearing that while playing the Venom. I once went to a yard sale and bought a desk. And when I got home, I was setting up my computer. Found a hidden compartment with 2K. And an old Smith & Wesson revolver with Pro Crips. It was awesome. Bought the desk for 25 That's awesome. That's the best story so far. Yeah. You know why? Hidden person. No. Read the story again. I once went to a yard sale and, and bought a desk, and when I got home, I was setting up, I was looking for a hidden one, that's what I'm saying as well. Setting up my computer and found a hidden compartment with 2K, an old um, Smith & Wesson revolver with Pro Grip, oh, because of the Pro Grip, it was awesome. Bought the desk for 25 What store, how, how did we get West when we first opened up our store? Oh, the desk, and Renee was going to sell it, and I was like, the cardinal rule is always open the doors because the drawers were locked, and then he, oh, yeah. We bought a killer lock, and it's like a Japanese couple, and it was like all kinds of cool stuff, and then they had a desk, but all the drawers were locked, and I, I told the lady it's going to be 300 bucks, and she was like, well, we got to get the drawers off. I was like, tell you what, you want to gamble? You want to be in the storage wars? That's before we were in storage wars, but you want to, you want to, you want to take a gamble? I'll sell you the desk right now locked for 500 bucks because I needed the room in the store. And she's like, no, I don't want to pay 200 extra. And I'm I like, was like kicking right there like, you're not supposed to sell it without opening the drawers. How do you know what's in there? Yeah, so the next day, Casey got a locksmith to come to open up all the drawers. And we found like two or three thousand dollars in, in, in currency, Japanese currency. But two thousand, three thousand uh, dollars. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was two dollars. It was two three thousand dollars worth of American money, but whatever that translated to yen, plus a whole bunch of coins and all kinds of stuff, silver, all kinds of stuff, right? Yeah. So that story is kind of cool. That relates to us. I just don't like the name '80s crack baby, recovering heroin and crack addict with five kids at Bill's elevators. It got ups and downs, and his pic just says cock on it. I mean, I want to support him because he's recovering. I like the story. But I don't like that he does like, I don't like when people put like, because, you know, kids use Twitter and stuff. Um, so, like, you know, when we get to choose our winner, we also, it says cock, I don't like that. What do you think? 
It's not the best, right? And he has five kits. I mean, it's good that he's a recovering addict and trying to do good, but I don't know. I like the story. We can relate to it, but like I try to choose people. And in this one, it's not a drawing, so we get to choose what we like and also the person. Like also Chris Money's maker says we want to try to get it to a poker players so they really have a chance to win a million dollars. But it looks like all these people are poker players. I don't know. I don't like the cock thing because like a lot of kids use this stuff and I think we have a responsibility as adults. Okay. What's up, Gordon? What do you think? You kind of agree with me there, right? Yeah. The most weird value we found was a garage sale. I thought a box of vintage paperback books inside was a very rare Flintstone NES game. Thousand bucks. Very nice score, Snowbird. Yeah. I once won AC Venom at a Twitter giveaway. You might win AC Venom. That's cool. Found a Salvador Dolly picture at a garage sale. That's really cool. That's fun. Recently spent half hour looking for keys. It was late. The keys were nowhere to be found in the system. Hunt the duck. Fun old naughty go at a yard sale for dollars worth 65 times. That's pretty cool. That's cool. I bought a dress at an auction. Found a diamond price that's worth about two thousand in it. That's cool. That's cool. Ooh, pocket kings. Hold on, guys. So this giveaway is taking a long time, but um, you know we want to read them all. Play poker. Somebody wrote my mom rocks. Oh, I have to tell her that she'll get a kick out of it. <laughs> okay, this guy's raising again to ten thousand. We gotta race because he's a huge array of hands. 30,000, we got three times the bet. <coughs> Fed X Sex, what a weird name. Uh, who's, is that, say Gordon, sorry guys, I mean glasses. He says he watches all of our YouTube videos. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. We appreciate the love. You think we should have bought the locker today for 17,000? No. <coughs> I think so too, because the other guys, <coughs> what's his name? What's Franz, right? No, Fitz. Fitz. Fritz said the same thing that I said why he didn't buy the second locker and you're going to find out on Sunday why and I think Fritz's locker with all the comics it was the main locker with the best stuff in it he called he saw what well, we do bet like 35,000 on the flop so I have a 40,000 a pot let's see we'll go 71,000 we'll let him draw <coughs> Called with Jack, so nine ten gets there. Jack eight, Jack seven gets there. Should we bet or should we play it safe? I don't know. I don't know, but something. Then we'll just bet 71000 again. If he has any pair, he's going to pay us off. He might even pay us off with Ace-King. No, he doesn't. He had nothing. So he had Ace-King or Ace-Queen. 9-10 did get there. He doesn't have Ace-Jack or King-Jack. All right, 654000 Thank you, Brandy Todd. Thanks for watching, Richard. Daryl from the show did me make most funny since he's been on anybody else. I don't think so. Bless Daryl also has creative pricing. Like I was joke around like if I buy a locker that's bad. I'm like the only way I can break even is if Daryl prices the locker. <coughs> uh oh, I feel like um because yeah, I still got the cough. I'm talking so much. My lungs hurt. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Found some... Vinyl Hulk figures at Goodwill for five. Hey, tell Tatiana to make me a peppermint tea. Oh, sure. Find some vinyl Hulk figures at Goodwill for five dollars each. They're worth seventy five. That's cool. So many interesting bargain finds. Famous is Colonel Sanders clock. That's really cool. Gives more money. I like the Colonel Sanders clock. So it's always a good time for fried chicken. That is a really cool find. I like that. Hey, Casey, I got another one that I like. Um, the Colonel Sanders clock, because he put up a picture and it looks really cool. Yeah. Let's see what he has. Just a man and a puppy trying to eat little kibble in this world. Used to work on a reality TV shows. Now we're at a work on the blank page or the felt. Funny. Uh, Andy, he's like, he sent a message to, I hope you realize your pros are the greatest thing about your side. They're all the nicest and most likable people in poker. 
but he didn't include me. But I'm not a pro technically. I'm just a ambassador. Ambassador of America's me. card room. All right, let's go. Um, well, I'm not a pro. I'm just a hoe. It's always a good time for fried chicken. I want to find an old looking rope gun. Nice. Well, did gems. you buy me the right hand or no? Yeah, I kind of like that because it's a cool picture and it's a really cool vintage clock and it's a cool find. Okay, let's see. What was his name though? Gizmo Money. Okay. I want to find an old looking rope. And see, we get to decide who we like. Preserves and you will succeed. I want to find an old looking rope crown with nice gems. Couldn't confirm it's authentic. It's gifted it. Okay, that's cool. Wow, we, we got them all? Okay, let me reload it, see if I missed anything. Okay, really quick, see if anybody... I'm looking for pictures, because I like... So, I like the friendship ones, I like the wedding ones, but the question was, what's your coolest find? You know, it's like, obviously, most people will say meeting my wife is the best or worst thing that ever happened to me. You know, that's how the story goes, right? I really like the Irish guys with the kids. Just the way he wrote it, it was really sweet. Let me see. I like very creative direction. Yeah, I like the way he talks about his kids. I like the way he talks about his wife. <coughs> I think that one was... Oh, maybe I wasn't there. Sorry. Which one? Keep on going up. I, I was uh, down. Up, whatever. I like this one, too. Oh, yeah, that one was cool. Genie coming out. That's a cool one, too. So for items, I like this and the clock the best. Was that person a um, poker player too? Evan Grab? Go back. Yeah, I think it. I think so. Let's see what his profile. See if we can just qualify him for something stupid. <laughs> well, you know, I, I still I, know, I yeah. still try to push people that pay it forward and do good things in life. You know, yeah. that's that's a big thing to me. All right, he has no nude pictures retweeting, so that's good. And you know, I was I feel it's a very big thing to uh, another dude showing off his cock backfire. That's funny, play poker. Uh, I prefer KFC, but I eat churches and poppies. So you have Evan Gash written down? No, because we took a picture. Gaff? Uh, Evan Kach, C G A C H. And then we also got to check if they retweeted it. But they oh, should have. Yeah. Because I put that as a note. Mm. So we've got all these. I think we got everything. Let's see if any last minute came in that are really good. What's up, Tats and Toys? Yes, we are well. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Is everybody sitting on some stands like, what are you going to pick? Okay, so how do we do it? Do Do we want to pick the one we like, or should we pick our first four or five and put them in a randomizer and let the randomizer pick? Yeah. You think that? Yeah. I mean, somebody's going to be mad no matter what. Yeah, that way it's fair. Okay, so let's verify. Let's verify all three names because we want to be fair. Well, we'll do that once we collect the winner. We'll check it. So if you win but you didn't retweet, then you automatically lost and it goes to the next person. Yeah, it's a receipt. So leave it here. So don't cut it out. So let's let's find them all really quick. Um. I want to double check everybody that there was nothing that we don't disagree with. Um, I guess we should leave the Irish cards in there, right? Mm -hmm. So did we write his name down? Let's see. I, I think I took a picture. Let's see what couple pictures we took. Oh, yeah. You did take a picture. But before we do the randomizer, we got to verify to make sure that we didn't have like a problem with somebody, how they tweet it. Okay, um, and I'm more, actually, uh, Listen. okay, an emotional fish, so you want to write down emotional fish? Oh, yeah, that was it. Okay. His was good. He was all about his kids, his family. I like that. Okay, we need to, you wrote down poker coach. What was he, do you know? 
fold eight nine even though we're a big blind we're doing this giveaway right now what so here what are we looking for green eyed girl poker post coach andrew snap those are our finalists right now and kiss my money and kiss my money okay so we gotta check evan dutch so if you guys are watching right now woo! if you guys are watching live it's exciting right yeah i'm excited and who knows? I might still see something I add in. So it's not until we uh, we. Yeah, hang on, guys, because he's Renee's the mastermind of research. So and he's lickety split. <laughs> so keep on looking at the names, okay? Okay, Gordon, not you, do we? No, we don't have him. Jesse Fullen, no, Jesse Fullen. So actually, that his book of book is not a bad one. I'm I was looking for unique and creative, and like I said, you know what? S somebody's gonna be upset anyway, so we're just gonna go where we're gonna go. Um, I just want to make sure I don't include somebody that does like really crappy stuff on Twitter. Uh, okay, green eyed girl. Okay, my extra. Okay, I did like that story because she worked hard and she was able to buy her daughter a gift. And that was her best friend. I do like that. She has Ebony Kenny. Uh, oh, oh, okay. She's doing a t-shirt. That's fine. All right. She looks good. She's clear to go. Okay. Green eyed girl is going to be back. Poker coach. What, what was that one? I don't remember that one. You know what that one was? I think that was something different. I don't remember that one. Was that the spinning thing? Was it this? Oh, let's see. We need we need Poco Karch and Andrew Snap. Gives more money. Then we need to figure out to make sure they retweet it. Evan Karch. Okay, he's good. Did we did we look at his other stuff? Yeah, you checked him. Okay, we checked him. He's good. Back. Evan Karch is in. And then um, Andrew Snap. And guys, there's a lot of really good stories, but I cannot pick everybody. So if you're mad, I apologize. But just be happy you got the chat. Oh, okay. Andrew Snap is the guy that did that with the sports cards with his dad. Okay, let's verify him. And like I said, so we're going to verify that they retweet. I would hate if you win and you didn't retweet. He's poker. What did you already see? The other people retweeting? No, so we're going to choose that when they actually win. Okay, now let's put it off to the side right now. Oh, I'm going to get it. Um, I'll take the tea because my throat hurts. Go grab it. I don't like uh, eating on camera, but... Okay, his stuff looks good, so he's good. So he's going to be... What was his? Andrew well, Snapper. Just check if he retweeted. We do that once we pick the winner. So if, if you win and you didn't retweet, then you lost your opportunity there. Aww. It just saves work. Do you want me to start cutting these up? No, because I'm going to randomize online. There's an online randomizer. Oh, I was going to put it in the bowl and have you pull your hand out. No, because then somebody says, oh, you know who was what. Oh, how would I know? You know, so. Oh, Andrew Snap is in the chat right now. Look at that. <gasps> oh, are you excited? Andrew Snap. I want to see like a whole bunch of smiley faces. You, Chad, you're excited. So, um. Oh, that's awesome. I'm getting super excited here, guys. Uh. So who are we still looking for? Gizmo Money, I think we verified him, right? Poker Coach, I don't remember what that one was. We looked at so many. Oh, that's nice. Somebody wrote, good luck, everyone. That's awesome. Yeah, so Andrew's in it. He's excited. Yeah. Casey Jones. I kind of like hers, too, but... Like, so I try to do one and cast so many people at baseball cards. And that's because we also have a huge following in the case for baseball card market. I wish we could. Oh, you know what? I can't search. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I'm trying to find all these. Guys, sometimes you just got to tell me when I'm an idiot. Control F. Poker. Are you sure you wrote down the right name? 
has no poker culture. You know, I think that's something you wanted to write down that we could do poker coaching. I don't think that was a person. No. Well, it's nothing here. So these are all the things. Well, look for something with poker because you said maybe your English was off. Well, the problem is poker. Everyone is so. Uh, hey, everybody! Everybody attacked ACR poker. Yes. You don't think it was that spinny chips? Oh, yeah, the spinny chips. We have to find that one. You're right. Let's see. Okay, let's find the spinny. That, okay, hold on a second. We, let's mark off the ones we got. We got Green Eye Girl. She is clean. Andrew Snap is clean. Evan Gark is clean. Emotional Fitch. That was the guy, right? Mm -hmm. He's clean. So we need Gizmo Money. Let's see if that comes up. Gizmo. Oh, does he have? Well, this wasn't one. Oh, this is Gizmo. That's a different one. Why doesn't this come up either? I think you wrote down wrong names, baby. No, I didn't. I said it was, I wrote it the way you told me. Okay. It shows all our re replies, right? That's the problem. We have so many entries. Seven four off suit. Okay, let's reload this page. Thank you, X Prino. Let's try this one more time. Control F. Okay, let's find the two pictures that we really liked. Yeah, I think next time I'm going to tell people, everybody, you have to include a picture because that's going to make it so much easier for the rest to find. Right. Promise we find so many. And you know what? I cannot miss my tournament. You're like, oh, yeah, are we playing live? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this one. Okay, add him. We like him. Yeah. So oh, add check, check him. Land Landon Atlas. I think you just marked some different ones, but then like I didn't put him down in the final one. So let me make sure he's okay. a, a clean guy. Oh, check him clean guy. Good. So we'll put. No, a, you didn't. I said check him. Yes, yeah, so, uh, no, but you put a check mark so we know. I follow poker Twitter. Play online. Love the game. I play an ACR. Oh, Eagle. it's even in bio. Smart. Ooh. Very good. Okay, we're, we're good. All right, we added somebody new. I just like to see mine, even if you scroll past this. That's awesome. Sorry, oh, buddy. Cool. He's telling me to go back and reconsider. I'm sorry. Honestly, guys, there's a lot of really great ones here, but there's only, like, we're only going to pick one. I don't even know who to pick one. And I already know somebody's going to go crazy, say, oh, you, like, that's why I don't want to do paper. You picked the one you wanted or you picked a friend. So we're going to go with randomizer, which that's what they do for breaks and stuff like this. I think that's the fairest way to do it. Um, min race. Let's see a flop real quick. Uh, Jack or seven with a double belly buster. Oh, that's nice. So... Uh, 11,000. We hit the straight and the inside one. So please bet it one more time. You got chips. You're going to bully me. We're going to make a pot. You flopped a set of queens. We're going to get it in. No, you rivet a 10. Shit, not a board paired. I'm going to check hoping it's a 10. He makes a big bet. I know he doesn't have two pair of trips yet. Most likely not. So let's make a bet. We're going to raise it a little bit, I think. He just had nothing. Okay, doesn't matter. Yeah, so even if I bet he's not calling. Oh, king, oh, queen, we're going to play. Oh, no. You're second. I'm um, 67 out of 337 right now. Oh. All right. But it's way early. No, I, oh, oh, Landon is in the chat, too. Landon is in YouTube. We do like you post, Landon. Oh, yeah. We just verified to make sure you have a positive Twitter because we try to, it's our choice. We try to give it to positive, good people. So, Landon, you are one of the fin finalists. So we know we have Landon in the chat and we have Andrew in the chat. Those are two Woo! finalists. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. 
excited for you both. Of you know, both of these guys, like, let's just give it away. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Gizmo Money's here. Thanks for the sweat. Biggest sweat of my life. Ooh, yay. I'm excited for you guys. So Gizmo Money, we haven't verified that you clean. So you have like 30 seconds to delete any cock pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I shouldn't even say that. I might give us, tag us. So if Gizmo Money is clean, that would be the third one. I think he's the, the bottle though. Okay, let's go back. Um, so I'm just looking for the bottle pick to see who that was. Oh, here, Gizmo. No, that's a different one, Gizmo. Evan Coach. Okay, so he's verified. He's good. Which one was Gizmo Money? Gizmo Money, what was your story? Yes, please help us. Because I don't know what it is, and I have to. I'm trying to include you. So this time we're at the bottom. Keep on going. I don't see it anywhere. Guess more money since you're chat right now. Type in your uh, here. Watch. It's a five minute delay, unfortunately. Um, put in your YouTube name. So which names do you write down? These usernames or the black usernames? The black one. Okay. I do like your spinning chips. Yeah, that's cool. Um, it's got to be further down. Keep on going. Keep on going. Because it was one of the last ones you wrote. I know. People People are probably mad. They think we're idiots. But it's like we have... We, you guys have such a big response. Like ACR and Team Bargain Hunters has just has so much love. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. I don't see it. I wonder if they don't show everything. Why does Gizmo Money not show up? Gizmo, I need you. I need your Twitter name. And help us so we can add you to the list. You know, let's check some of the retweets really quick, and then maybe we can find it that way. Okay, retweets. Control F. Giz. There's no Giz. Let's see really quick. Okay, we need Gizmo Money and Poker Coach. Who do you think Gizmo Money was? I don't know. You wrote it down. Friends one? It was what Friends one. Because that was way at the top. I don't know. He's watching. Oh, do you think we should include a Deer Lakes? That was kind of a cool storage story, too. Sure. You think we should add it to your Lakes? See, I told you guys. Big Gizmo. You sure that wasn't it? Make sure to watch as I'm waiting for Gizmo Money to put in his name. Um, emotional Fish. We got him, right? Mm -hmm. Emotional Fit. Oh, we can also see if the Andrew Snap he retweeted. I don't know, baby. You wrote it down. Andrew Snap retweeted. Hey, look. You took a couple of pictures. Did you look who you took pictures of? Oh, maybe that's what it was. I, I don't want to... like. It, Exclude somebody if we if we thought it was cool. That was land and atlas. No, was it? That's see. the chips. Yeah, so he, he's already in. We verified him. He's good. Yeah, keep on watching chat to see if gets more money. Oh, we're in break. Okay, good. Let's see if gets more money says anything. Shrika working hard. You fish tag guy was listening to the broadcast and made a comment on Twitter. That's funny. You know what? I apologize. I mean, he had kings, but he made some loose plays. I know. I, I, I get in trouble no matter what. I'm so used to it. Hey, will you uh, will you send me a DM with the comment so I can reply to him? I mean, obviously, I didn't bust him with a... Uh, he did have kings at aces. It's just... I don't know oh, what you no. wrote down with Gizmo Money. Oh, no. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, here he there is, he finally. Is. There we go. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Okay, now we should be able to see yeah, in his tweets calendar. and replies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he was the guy that said he did reality TV at one time, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I forgot exactly what it is, but we did like him. Let's see tweets and replies. So 
so I know he was one. He's so he's legit. See if I can see it real quick. But he's good, so he's in. God, that guy tweets a lot. He does a lot of. He's working the giveaways, which is smart. Okay, but he's good, so I remember his tweet. I forgot what he found, but it was cool. Okay, Gizmo Money, check him, and he's clean, so he's good. And then Andrew Snap, we already know, retweeted. So if they retweet it, then they got a check mark. Okay, let's see one more poker coach. Let's see what if we see that. I think I was just talking about coaching poker, to be honest. Well, I'm, I'm really glad I stayed. It's fun, right? Yeah. This is what I do. I hang with my poker family, my uh, Twitter family. And your family. <laughs> and my family. But I do these streams like 12 hours. Shriker's my right-hand man. I know. Shriker's the best. You rock, man. I know he's in Atlanta. Like I, I'm gonna oh, probably. Oh, you live in Atlanta? Oh. It, I always mess it up. Like I used to think Florida, but I'm ninety percent sure it's Atlanta. Yeah, I think this poker coach. I was just talking about poker. Let's. Should we add the one with the deer? Because a lot of people seem in the chat seem to be that was creative. Oh, they like that. Okay, yeah. Why not? Huh. That was one of the first ones. Should I add poker coach? And if he wins, we try to find him. If not, it goes to the second winner. Sure. But you oh. didn't check if he was clean or not. Yeah, and like um. Yeah. Okay. Always Ivy, because a lot of people seem to like this. Let's see. I just like people that do positive Twitter, because so many people are negative and hateful on Twitter. So he's good. So always Ivy. Okay. And put a check mark next to him. I'm going to try one more time just because I want to be fair and I really tried. I think Poker Coach is... Uh, so, Always Ivy, we put you in. So, because uh, a lot of people like your comments, so we, we put you in. So, uh, guys, I'm going to check one more time to see if I see what that Poker co Coach was. I think I was just talking about Poker in case he wrote it down. No. So, I'm going to go one more time because I want to be as fair as possible. Again, it's a giveaway, so you know, not always everything goes smooth. I'm reading both names now. Jack ten suit and a button. We have to play this. Okay. Hey, ask Nana if she has a dice or two dice. Dice? Yep. Okay. We're gonna randomize it as much as possible so nobody says we can cheat. Because then people actually we don't need a dice we don't do a random number, because uh, because um, then people will be we cut one a certain way. I mean whenever you do these giveaways like you know the guy earlier is like scam 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 scam. He actually went away when I told him that no matter what even if I pick his, I'm not gonna pick him. So I try to make it as much randomized as possible. And trust me, there still will be people mad and say we're the worst people in the world and our giveaways suck. You know, and you know, but that's just what it is, you know. I'm looking one more time for, for, for poker coach, guys. So, and then we're gonna go for it. Second, what we got here? Third nuts, right? Third nuts. He checks, so he might have second nuts. He probably bet second nuts, so let's put a little value bet in here. Always Ivy's in. It looks like. Yeah, he's in. So we ha we haven't. Oh, he's in. Oh, all this Ivy's in the chat too. Woo! So it's nice. We got three guys. I don't even know if this guy called. No, he didn't call. All this Ivy's in the chat too. So I know we have four people in the chat that have a chance at a twenty six hundred dollar ticket. These people are right now. Renee, just get on with it. I'm dying over here. I know. I hope I hope everybody goes gets their wives, their families, whoever's close to them. Like I said, there's a good lot of good comments, guys. We only can pick one, unfortunately. Uh, so. 
We only can pick pick one. Then, so after this, we're going to find the guy's comment that when we did, we're going to reply. We're going to do this later, guys. So don't worry, we'll get there. But right now, we're trying to give away the money. I'm looking for Poker Coach one more time. I think that is just something I said. And I, I, all the ones that stood out to us, we put in. I really like the desk one, unfortunately. But, you know, when you put cock pictures and stuff like this or make it seem like it's a cock picture. Like, I'm in a strong believer in paying it forward and doing good stuff to society. And, you know, like my daughter uses Twitter. Like, people used to send pictures to Casey. Yeah. And, like, we can't use it, you know. Yeah, and then my daughter's, like, looking and, like, oh, mommy. It's, like, remember, like, we all have moms, wives, daughters, kids, sons. Yeah, that's when she was really little, like. So six or seven, and she's like, "Why is this picture on here?" I'm like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, so it's like, um, I reward people that put out positive energy. That's where our giveaways and money goes to. Yeah, I don't see a poker coach. I think that's just something I was talking about. But everyone that stood out, we have now. I really like the Irish guy with his kids. I would, you know what? All these people deserve it. I like the story with the dad with, with making the memories. I like the story. There are a lot of good stories. I'd be really happy if the Irish guy wins and he that that you know and then he gets a chance of winning and maybe he gets the million dollars. Who know, and no guys, he might buy in. He might he might strike out. So um, he just smiled. Okay, so okay, cool. Yes, yeah, somebody sent me the tweet. We'll go look at it then. So um, Evan Cat, I really like this with the yeah, bottle and I like the comment. Cool that bottle sarah's is cool too i mean like i said there's so many my nautical collection <laughs> so i mean i think everyone we win deserves it they all seem to be good people which that's the most important thing to me at least as far as we can tell who knows we might give it to the biggest jerk in the world but hopefully we we, we do not and if you guys are qualifying don't get upset i'm just saying could be a possibility. If you're the biggest jerk in the world, you can laugh at us later. Okay, I'm really trying here. So I'm putting so nobody should be mad. I'm putting a lot of effort in this. You reading too, right? And here yeah, I need you to yeah, read these comments. Because yeah. Oh, Gizmo Money, we have him, right? Yeah, yeah, so I really like this. So Gizmo Money, I'm sure he's in chat. I really love this. This is a cool thing. And you wrote Gizmo, and then we're, yeah, the poker coach was early. This is gone. All right, guys, that poker coach canceled out. That's just something that I wrote. Yeah. We tried. All right, so now what we're going to do for the giveaway. So we got to switch screens. So this is how they do it in the card world. We're going to randomize. Okay, so there's different ways to do this. Uh, let's go here. Randomizer.org, I believe. Is it now? I don't know which one do they use for the shoot. I thought it was orc randomizer. Let's see what they pops up. Random orc. Let's see which one this is. Oh yeah, this is the one. Okay. Oh no, we want the one with the dice. Or should we do the wheel of names? Yeah, the wheel of names, because that's fun. Click to spin or press control, enter. That's what we guys going to do, guys. The wheel of names. The wheel of names. All right. Give me the names. Okay, green-eyed girl. And I'm just going to abbreviate. Green-eyed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Andrew Snap. And then we don't have to worry about the dies. Nobody can say anything. Yeah. Andrew Snap. Always Ivy. Always Ivy. Uh -huh. Gizmo Money. Gizmo Money. Evan Gotch. Evan Gotch. Emotional Fish. E emotional Fish. And Landon Atlas. Landon Atlas. So we are down to seven people, guys, out of 300 entries. Wow, this is so exciting. All right, we got... Guys. Okay, guys. And um, I want you to go right now, and then we're going to shuffle it here, too. So it's shuffled a bunch of times. Okay, let's see. 
Oh, we're not doing it yet. We gotta check out Poker Hand Hong. Oh yeah, we're in Poker Hand. <gasps> oh no, no, that that's the replay from oh. the other hand. <laughs> I was like, with the big flying weapon ace. Okay, guys, I want you to go right now. If you're in the chat, we gotta wait five minutes so everybody can be in the chat. Casey's gonna read off the names right now. If you're in the chat and you're here to win, a bunch of exclamation marks, and I want you to say, "I love ACR." So, okay. so we're looking for Green-Eyed Girl, Andrew Snap, Always Ivy, Gizmo Money, Evan Gotch, Emotional Fish, and Landon Atlas. So it's one ten right now at my time. At one seventeen, we're gonna spin the wheel. At one seventeen, we're spinning the wheel. Woo! Here we go. So everybody, right now, I want a bunch of exclamation points. I want you to say we love ACR because America's Card Room takes care of us. They give us all these amazing giveaways. We're going to do a lot more. And also, if you don't have an America's Card Room account, you got your three-year-old son watching me. He's like, why are we watching this? Put Paw Patrol on. <laughs> just kidding. Don't don't picture that. What's up, three-year-old son? Uh, I'm actually in voice actor for Paw Patrol. No, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, you know what? You probably should watch Paw Patrol. So, uh, how many hands can you sit out? I can't sit out hands. You know I'm sick. But we actually have to 700,000. So, and what's 117? So, you guys, we love ACR. If you guys, um, if you guys have, uh, if you don't have an America's Card Room account yet, really important because we're going to do a lot more of these giveaways. We're going to give away more tickets. These tickets, you will get your chance at a million dollars. So um, go to americascardroom.com. Download the software. When you sign up, use bonus code Renee. I don't get any money for that. It's just showing America's Card Room that you're part of Team Bargain Hunters, Team team ACR, that you sh show love and you saw it on there. So. But I don't make any money. You get a bonus code. You get some extra money and stuff like this. Um, so make sure bonus code Renee when you download americascardroom.com. Bonus code Renee. And there, so what this ticket is for everybody wondering, you get a ticket for the same tournament that I'm playing. The next starting day is going to be Sunday. So I would highly recommend play Sunday. It's a tougher tournament because there's a lot more players. But if you come out Sunday, you have a huge stack usually. That almost guarantees that unit money. So, um, so two more minutes till they start hearing what I said. Um, so, uh, yeah, so the giveaway is going to be in a delay. So it's going to be kind of interesting because we're going to give it away. And then you guys will find out five minutes later. Um, yeah, so you're going to play that tournament Sunday. So it's a buy in the buy in cost. You can buy anybody can buy in for two thousand six hundred fifty dollars. And then the first prize is always over a million dollars. So I'm buying you into basically for twenty six hundred fifty, and we'll give you a shot at a million dollars. And I'm not the one buying you. And America's Card Room is buying you. So all their love over all the people at America's Card Room: Melanie, Phil, Juan, um, you know, Ghost of M, which is one of our moderators. So the team at America's Card Room. Then Uruguay right now. I don't know if it finished, but actually no, it's still going on. I'll be in Uruguay in October, so at that tournament. If you guys want to play an awesome tournament, come meet me at Punta del Estes. Mm, nice. And um, we'll we'll play a huge poker tournament. Isn't it a beautiful casino too? It's beautiful. It's right on the ocean. It's a very wow. nice casino. The poker room is amazing. <sighs> okay, so what is it? Fourteen, two or three more minutes till we do it. Probably the longest five minutes for everybody. So I know everybody's waiting right now. It's like, Renee, just give it away. Do it, 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 do it. But because we're working on this delay, it takes a minute. When Ivy wins. So we have people rooting for Andrew. We have people rooting for Ivy. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. Uh, hopefully people are rooting for me to get more chips. If we get one more double up here, I that would be huge. pretty good here. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I'm playing a little bit more aggressive today. Aaron says, hey, Ivy going to win this, win this, then the whole thing. I would be so happy if we give away the ticket and somebody wins the million dollars. That would, that would make my day. That would be awesome. Thanks to you winning now. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll take the million dollars too. <laughs> I take it. So, uh. But secondly, if they won. Yeah. You know what? If somebody. Keeping it real, right? 
if somebody wins this and wins the million dollars, we'll fly you out to San Diego, pay for your hotel so you win even more money, and we'll do a whole interview how you were on one YouTube channel. And uh, can you give me a tissue? Uh-oh. You were, cut yourself? Yeah, I had cut myself in a storage and I just picked a scalp accident. Where you were in one YouTube video and uh, America's Card Room hooked you up with that ticket and you turned from being a fan, from being part of the family, from Bart being part of the fa- team. And um, you you won the million dollars. Okay, we're almost at the five minute mark. I think we should be right there. So we should see some st- stats. Yeah, I got it. Can you watch this? There we go. When Julian is like, I love ACR. She's not even in it. She has the spirit. But when Julianne always has it, always Ivy. Look at him. I love Yay! ACR. He's in the house. So I know we have several people that are watching. You guys are all dying for me to do it. Right. Andrew says, I love bargain hunters. That's awesome. Hey, your life is in a wheel. There's no more butt kissing. It doesn't make a difference. But thank you for being part of Team Bargain Hunters. Right. I'm just kidding. I know you're not butt kissing. Andrew's like, we love ACI. Gizmo Money's here. He's top 10. Yay. I love ACI. So I know we have three in the house for sure. One to- Tovar loves ACR. But I don't think he's in this giveaway. Because I know who his... Who else is it? I, also Ivy, Gizmo Money. And who else is there? You said a third person. I didn't see who that person Yeah, I thought um, Emotional Fish was in here earlier. He's the Irish guy. Oh, he... I think he's just in it. I don't he know. was the one I thought wasn't. Maybe, I don't know. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be present at chat to win. So we got to tweet out to the person. Which item is Gizmo's? Gizmo Money is... Uh... Which one? We, we can look it up when we're done. I forgot. He what... was the camera guy, right? Yeah, he was the camera guy. I forgot what he found, but his story was really cool. Was his story with his dad? No, that, that was... Uh, I think that's Andrew with the dad. I'm sorry, guys. We read so many stories yeah, playing like, poker and talking all day. Stuff. And I bit a huge locker today, which I'm working on. So, like, my mind is like, I'm already tired. I have, like, nine more hours of poker, so we make it. Oh, Aaron Markham right here. Oh, that's a different one. I, I don't know. Cassia wrote, said, hey, y'all, huge fan. All right, guys, it's time to do it. It is time to do it. Are you ready, Casey? I'm ready. So, we're going to go. Let's see the here next hand. Here we go. Here we go. Let's make sure we don't get aces while doing this. Oh, yeah, Gizmo Money is the Colonel Sanders clock. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I, I really like that one. Thank you. Honestly, oh, I, yeah, f- that's right, the camera guy. I feel really good about everybody we picked. I feel really good about everybody we picked. I think they all seem like nice people. Yeah. The ones that chat in here, they, they, they seem nice in here. I hope it's somebody that wins that's in the chat right now, but that wasn't a requirement, but I, that's what I hope I for. Know, that'd be so much more exciting. Yeah. Um, you can win entries on ACR. Oh yeah, you can win all kinds of entries. You can buy into the Venom for like I think they have penny satellites and working up. <coughs> it might be dollar satellites, but you could work yourself up. And you from my favorite YouTuber Face Rec. I'm well, yeah, I've been on Face Rec. Hold on, I just want to wait for the next hand to make sure we don't get aces here. Oh, actually, you know what I can do? I can put my poker screen over here for a minute. This way we can do it. All right, guys, I'm going to shuffle the randomizer some more time. So we're going to click shuffle. Every time we click, the names just change. I don't think anybody can see what you're doing, though. Or, oh. Yeah, no, because this screen is up. That's what they see now. Let's see. Okay. See, it shows right here. It's, so they see this screen. Okay. So I'm just going to click here the shuffle. I'm going to close my eyes so I don't see nothing, okay? And I'm just going to click it a bunch of time. It doesn't really make a difference. Okay. So, again, Evan Gogh, Emotional Fish, Green Eyed, Always Ivy, Gizmo Money, Land on Atlas and Andrew Snap. Here we go, guys. Woo, woo, woo. After you win, we're going to verify that you retweet it. We have to verify that really quick. I think everybody did anyway, but we're going to verify. If you didn't retweet, your name will get erased from the list. And also, um, we'll do another one. So stick around because maybe they didn't. All right, it says click to spin. Or press enter. We're going to click this. Wait, 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 see what your cards are first. See what my cards are. King 8 off suit. Okay, cool. So you can put that on the main screen then. That's okay. This is on the main screen. They don't see that. Anything over here, they don't see. They only see what's on the screen. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, guys. It's the first time Casey live streaming with me in this setup. All right, guys. I hope somebody in here wins. Everybody deserves it. I hope we can change somebody's life right now. I'm excited. You excited? I'm excited. Click to spin. Here we go. Our winner is. Oh, that's so rare. 
Emotional fish! Oh, always Ivy! What do you see? Emo oh, oh, emotional fish. Ah, never mind. <laughs> the arrow's right here. <laughs> where, where do you see always Ivy? It's right here. Emotional <laughs> fish. Going off the top because there was a cursor there. No, it's like, it's like a wheel of fortune. Okay, emotional fish. Sorry, always Ivy. The but winner. He wanted to win. He's the Irish one, right? Yeah. Yeah, with the kids. Actually, I'm really happy that he won. He wasn't chatting him for a second ago. So now we have the reaction. It takes five minutes for you guys to get the reaction. But let's go verify. I mean, I, I already seen emotional fish, but let's verify. You retweet it just to do it right. <coughs> Actually, let's just see. Let's go to the sweater. Emotional. What was it? Underscore fish. <coughs> People. <coughs> there we go. An emotional fish. Let's see. <coughs> that would suck, but hey, the rules are clear. Oh man, my throat is really hurting now. <coughs> Talking too much. <coughs> oh, we got pocket nines in the tournament. Let's put that out real quick. <coughs> it's not official yet, but emotional twi twitch, emotional fitch is the one if you retweet it. I'm going to take another pill. These pills. Pills are for his cough, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, man. I know when you cough, you're like, <coughs> The delay is killing me right now because I want to celebrate with you guys, but we are celebrating together. Yeah. You know what? I was happy with a lot of people winning, but actually, this guy, you know, he has two young kids, pocket night, so he's all in. So we And this guy doesn't have many chips, so we're just going to try to get it down. But even then, he only has 174,000, so we flip, no problem. He has seven, so we have a huge favorite. King. King. King, 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 king. Okay, good. We win. Pick up some more chips. Uh, he just busted? He busted, yeah. Yeah, he's been playing with them for a long time. Um, I wish I had a story to tell off to play. So here, see, you paid the chat attention. I'm going to look for the emotional fish retweet. He tweets a lot, so... Oh, man, this would suck if you didn't retweet it. I know. Thank you, Andrew, that you've been watching for all those years. Gunther says thank you, too. Okay, I don't see it on his Twitter. That would really suck if he wanted you to retweet oh, it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hold on, guys. Hold on, that might be a different hold winner. Hold on, he didn't retweet it, it looks like. Well, hold on a second. I'm going to check with ours because sometimes it doesn't show up. Okay, hold on. There's but why is it not chance. on his page? And sometimes people might retweet and then delete it. Oh no, it's right here. He did retweet. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, you got me. You got me scared, man. An emotional. How to best relax? So he does have us retweeted. He is the winner. Okay. An emotional fitch with the boys. Yay! Let's send this guy a message. So I think he's in chat. So look, look over here. It's gonna come out in a second. But we're gonna send a message to him right now. I need his, uh, oh, he already sent a message over here. Oh, that, oh no, that's me doing. Guess. Hello. Guess. Something. I can't guess. Read. His font is too small. You gotta make it larger. I, I can't on that one. <laughs> guess who won a Venom ticket. So we take him to this. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna send him a picture. Oh, let's, let's see if we can send him a little quick message. So I can update this. Come on, update, update, update. Let's see if we can send him a message. We'll do camera. We'll do video. I think I have to hold it here. Let's just do a 10 second message. Hey, emotional fish. Guess what? You won a Venom ticket. Twenty six fifty. We're going to tweet this out right now, too. We need your ACR username. Uh, as soon as we get it, we send it over to our team at ACR or we give it to Ghost of M. And um, guess what? We're super excited for you. You go. Yeah, he, some of you are right. Let's spend broke some hearts. But you won. We love your story. Hopefully, you can win a million dollars and take care of your kids' college fund. Use video. Hopefully, we can send this. And then we're going to do the same thing right now on ACR. I'm, actually, I'm going to take the video, and then I can post it in a second. This is amazing, guys. Okay, now we're going to go on Poker Mode. So the giveaway is done. You guys are just see seeing it right now. Chat is about to go crazy, I think. Uh, okay, let's do a message that we can post out. Um, 
So you can announce the name on that next post. Let me do the intro, okay? Okay. See, now you're going to get a bunch of confused people like, why am I not in this giveaway? You got to follow our social media, guys. We've been advertising this for a week. Oh, no, so I'm just going to record the video and then we can edit it. Ghost of it. They can't see my messages. We, we see your messages, but it was um, it was in there. Congrats. Oh, so they know the winner. Congratulations. Howdy, Renee and Casey. Congrats, congrats. I swear I saw it in somebody else's name first. Yeah, Ghost of M. So it was it was like it was it was spinny, but that's how that's just how the app is. So that's the final winner. Congrats, fish. I I bet he didn't. Congrats, emotional fish. Hey, Mike. Congrats, emotional fish. I know I saw the same thing, Ghost of M. It was kind of bouncy, but that's probably just delay on, on their website. So but wherever it stops at the end, that's who wins. So um love you guys. Emotional fish one. I wonder if he's in chat. He was here earlier. Somebody writes writes you an idiot pops one. Yeah, I thought he wasn't here earlier, but whatever. But you know it's Thursday, a lot of people are working, so maybe he's only there. I it'd be nice if he's in here, but I don't know. Somebody's saying something stupid, obviously. So now you get the people that don't win. They they try to throw insults now. But damn, forgive. Maybe next week we do the same thing, or we're probably doing the next thing for the next tournament. So it's always nice to be in good standing, right? Not gonna lie, kind of sad, but happy for the winner. I know Andrew, it sucks. I know. Yeah, and Ghost of M, we don't ban him. Hopefully, they change. Yeah, sometimes we ban him, but not too much. Yeah, not, it sucks, Andrew. You were really close. I mean, you had a, what, one in six chance at that point. But, you know, we only can give away one ticket this time. But we appreciate it. We're going to do a lot more than that. You know, my people over at America's Card Room, they, they love the community, the family, and they give away so much. So we're going to record a um, winning message now real quick. Let's do the intro. It's, what's his username again, Dutro? Emotional Fish. I am Emotional Fish. You have it backwards. Huh? Oh. So this is not live. I'm just going to edit this down. Anyway. What's up, Bargain Hunters, Thrift Family, America's Card Room Family? Guess what we just did? We gave away the $2,650 Venom ticket. And that person had a really cool story. We had it down to seven people. We used the Wheel of Fortune. A lot of people were in the chat. It is sad for the ones that came that close didn't win. But unfortunately, we can't just give one away. If you don't have an America's Card Room username, go to the site right now. AmericasCardroom.com. Download the software, bonus code Renee. We're going to do that again, probably next Venom tournament. But the winner who won the $2,650 ticket and has a chance at a million dollars. Who's the name? Emotional Fish. I am Emotional Fish. We already sent you a message. We need your ACR name, ASAP. We'll deposit a ticket. If you win the tournament, we'll fly you out to San Diego, pay for your hotel, give you some food, money, and interview even further. Thank you, America's Card Room. We love you. Make sure to sign up to the software. Lots more giveaways coming. Awesome. It would have been sad if he didn't retweet. Yeah, so you know what, guys? I, I, I know it sucks. You know, like whenever we do these giveaways, we have really happy people, but then we also get sad people, obviously. Is there still a way for them to, like, when you said, like, there's, like, dollar satellites to win up? Yeah, they can end. Is there stuff going on on ACR? You should check their website. Oh, all kinds, because you got till Sunday. You can play dollar satellites, twenty dollar satellites, five hundred dollar satellites. Yeah. Um, you know, you can play single table satellites and work your way up in stages. That's a really great thing that they do. And then you can also play big satellites for ten dollars. There might be two thousand people, and then whatever it breaks down the tickets. That's how many tickets they give away. Um, you know, again, like I, I hope everybody's happy. It's a cool chance. I got to tweet some of the stuff out. Now we're going to go play poker. Hopefully you guys stick around. I think I'm going to give away some percentages also, but I might not do it till day two. I think I'm going to give away. Again, we'll do the same thing. We'll give away 10% of our price pool. But we'll do it day two if we make day two. Right now, I mean, we have a nice chip stack. We should make day two. But we try to build our chips. I want to get with like two, three millions. That would be awesome. So now I'm going to answer your questions. Remember... We are showing your cards, so we are playing on a five-minute uh, delay. Five minute delay. Uh, WC Poker says, I understand if you misclick and send a ticket to me. 
the guy wants the KFC. Michael said way too once, so announce the winner one more time, baby. Uh, okay. Emotional fish one. And I think his Twitter is... I think you, somebody said, I don't want the million dollars, I want the KFC sign. Let's see if he actually replied to us. Uh, oh, didn't we send him the first video we did? Let me see. So he hasn't replied to us yet. Uh, let me see. So he might be at work. I, I could have sworn he was in the chat earlier. Is he in America or is he in... Well, he's in, oh, he's in he's Ireland, in too. Ireland. So isn't it like nine hours ahead or so? Oh, we sent him a video, but for some reason the video doesn't go on chat. I'll try to do it again later. So we'll post the video on all the social media platforms. Um, he might have just went to work. He might have been in a chat in the morning. I mean, he, he's a good dad, obviously. So he might have stopped by for a minute and went to work. Well, we'll tell Gunpy you said hello. He's not here right now. All right, baby. I know you have. Okay, I have to go. This was so much fun. I enjoyed the experience. Hope you guys had fun, too. And I'm sorry to all the people who didn't win. I'm sorry. It's okay. You know, we're going to give away a bunch of percentages. And guess what? This, they play the Venom game four times a year. So you have another chance. At least time. four times. It's been five and six times sometimes. Oh, well, yeah. even better yet. Hey. Yeah, and then if you guys can join us, come to Punta del Estes. So, I um, might even go. Renee might take me. Yeah, but then it's so hard to date out there everywhere. It's just. It's I, know. I was kidding. I was kidding. Anyways, have fun at poker. I have to go with my mom. She's been patiently waiting. This has been so much fun, and I just want to say thank you, guys. Can you have Tatiana bring me up like two bubble sodas yeah. or bubble waters, club sodas? Kiss, kiss. All right, good job. You too. Here, I got. Good luck. I need go to win a million dollars for me, by the way. I know. Well, I'm really hoping that. Oh, uh, yeah, leave me. Let me leave this here. What's his name? Emotional Fish. I really hope he wins like 600000 I get the million. I'm not going to lie. Let's readjust this. So we go down. Do you want me to cut it in half? Is that easier to eat while I'm on the screen? Or? No. Oh. Okay. There we go. Oh, I hate eating on screen, but I'm starving. Tuna sandwich. Hey, always Ivy. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Buy viewers? Why would we buy viewers? We don't need to buy viewers. We got a huge family. Let me... Um, so as soon as I get his ACR name, then um, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to send it over to ACR to get their tickets. I don't know what Pop Smoke said he does. I mean, there's always a hater somewhere, you know what I mean? Andrew is awesome. He just he asked me, he's like, thanks for the opportunity. That's how it should be. And don't worry, we're going to give away a lot more prizes. So today, the stream is in a five minute delay. But you guys get to see how I play my cards. Hey, baby. Are you going to go with them? Oh, she just went down? Yeah, she's just getting me two bubble waters. Okay. Well, now I don't really want to go with them. <laughs> You're supposed to go later, but now I'm tired. <laughs> I'm trying to eat this fast so I don't get a good hand while I'm eating. Uh, today I got Ace Queen suited. Shriker, by the way, I'm sure you heard it, but my chat is kind of messed up today. Um, you in for 1%, as always. It's the unspoken rule, unless I ever tell you you're not in anymore, which I highly doubt. But Shriker's in for 1%. Which is going to get that million. What's this guy have? Okay, big stack, Netherlands, min race. We probably could 3-bet here. This guy, what's this? Um, nah. Wow, are you feeling it here? I'll eat a drink of Coke later. I just want this to be so. Leave it up here? No, I'll leave it in the fridge. But FedEx Sexy, like, has a huge range of hands. He re raised three bets a lot. Landon, oh, Landon is here too. He said, I'm just happy you made it to a one in seven chance at a Venom ticket. It really doesn't get any better than that. Odds, I mean. Thank you for the opportunity. You're welcome. I appreciate everybody, um, yeah, I appreciate everybody being like 
good um, losers. Not that the word losers applied, but you know what I mean. It does. I get it. It does suck when you get so close. But yeah, yeah. Everybody was very um, gentleman like, so that's awesome. Oh. Uh -huh. They were good sports. That's what I'm trying to say. Any one of the seven comments deserve to win. Any one of the seven comments deserve to win. I think we chop here. I win. <laughs> Told you, this guy's a huge range. He three bets so many hands, a lot of them laid down. You could give you could give the percent action to the others on the wheel. Um, I can't do that. We give him a ticket. That's it. What he does with his ticket, that's his, that's his business. Sorry, Michael. The giveaway is already over. But we are doing more giveaways with percentages. Most likely we start on day two. Who knows? Maybe I'll give a percentage away later. Oh, you know what? I will give away a percentage today. I'm going to tell you guys in a second. I'm going to give away 5%. So... Hey, Shriker, do you have where we explain how our regular giveaways work? You know, we give away 1% of the of the 100%, and that gets divided into 100 sections. So if we win $1,000, or let's say if we win $10,000, we give away 10% um, of that, which would be 1000 and then that gets broken into 100 sections. So every percent of that thousand would be worth ten dollars, right? But we give it to a whole bunch of people, so we have a lot of winners. Thank you, play poker. Now she just ran. I appreciate it. I'm gonna bring Casey on more. By the way, we're up to almost a million in chips. 32. I love tuna. Oh, yeah, FedEx. Did somebody tweet me what the guy's comment was so I can talk about it? Hope is, I hope it's not a super nice guy because I don't feel like a jerk. I didn't mean fish. I'm just saying he's a lose range. He might be the best poker player in the world. Eating did used to bring us luck. That's right. Remember, a lot of people call Phil Hamlet a fish and he's the best player in the world. That's awesome, Sam. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's more fun too when we show the cards. It sucks with the delay. But I think you guys can get more out of it. You see how I play hands and what I think about it. It kind of gives an edge to people that are playing against me because they can see some of the choices I make. Where, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll call three bets with certain hands where now they know that's in my range where before they wouldn't know unless I hit. But it's okay. I think the ACR and Bargain Hunter Thrift Family is more important than playing your optimal poker. It's just money. That's actually really good tuna. Sound. I must have been hungry. I must have been starving. I think we're going to call Wise in a second, too. Let's see what's in this locker. The KFC clock. Oh, my dad is here, too. Oh, I know, Shrike. It, it is a challenge. Um... But I think it makes for a better stream. And also, I'm seeing the stats on the viewership. It seems like people are staying longer. Because, honestly, I was thinking about that, too. If um, if you never um, 
if you never see the um if, if you never see the um uh, carts and it makes it kind of boring to watch right oh wow our chat right now and youtube is just going crazy the messages i don't know if it's just getting caught up for me yeah it must be getting caught up because they're rolling by so fast i can't even see them we'll just stick in this chat hopefully we can still see everybody's chat in here restream is funny sometimes but i think they've been upgrading all right let me look at my twitter let's see if we got the guys somebody was gonna send me uh oh yeah okay right here oh it's cleeton Oh my god, that's like the nicest guy ever, and I call him a fish. Oh, finally got official announced what I've been teasing for the last several weeks. I'm partnering with ACI Poker for the worst WSOP rookie channel on the challenge. Just busted to our bugger and apparently earned a fish tag. <laughs> oh my god. This guy's like one of the nicest guys ever, too, and I call him a fish. God. Oh my god. I am running. I am running bad. Tagging one of the nicest guys in in have a poker uh lightfish. Lightfish. Meant you have a wide range and willing to bluff as our previous hands, previous hands. Let's see, that's our previous hands. For the record, he busted with King King versus my ace ace pleasure playing with you it's hashtag storage wars hashtag acr hashtag at or america's card room i'm running bad tagging off the nicest guys in poker are light fish I meant you have a wide range and willing to bluff as our previous hands for the record he busted with king king versus ace ace all right that's funny if you guys never met this guy, if you see him at the World Series, um, super nice guy. Super nice guy. Uh, what we have here, King Ten. I even forgot I was in the hand. Who am I playing? Uh, bye, Rosa. Have fun. He's always giving back to us DGENs. I try, I try. Yeah, so we are going to do the 10%. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys in a minute how you can give it away. Uh, that's funny. Clayton, uh, Clayton, I'm sorry. K.L. Clayton. So that's him. If you guys ever see him in the World Series, super positive outlook in life. Loves poker. Um, He obviously has a disability, but he doesn't let him stop that. That was actually a controversy where somebody, I guess, got mad at him. For taking too much time, which I think is total BS because, you know, <clears throat> I know a lot of people with disabilities and most of them are the most happiest people in life. But unfortunately, they have to have a disability. They don't have to, but they have a disability. So some things for them are just challenging. So like him, he's not going to be the fastest guys with looking at his cards and chips and stuff like this. Or I think the thing was that he was taking up too much room or something like that. I don't know. It was stupid. And uh, I think it's awesome that somebody like him doesn't um, doesn't let him stop. It it, it it he he doesn't make it where it stops. He's just gonna go like you know what, this is what it is, and I'm gonna conquer life. So that's super awesome. <coughs> Hopefully he wasn't offended that I called him a fish, that I tagged him a fish. So I just did it based on play that I seen. He bluffed me with nine high, then made a loose call against me, then had me. And then we got it all in, but it was actually Kings versus Aces. So, anyway, what's up, Sadie? So, uh, yeah, 900K. So, uh, yeah, that's funny. Let's see what people say. I'll probably get all kinds of hates for this, but let's see what they say.
<laughs> Light fish. It's okay. It's okay. So he made that post before it happened. And then he's aces versus kings. But again, hopefully he's not mad. I know, I know when people bust tournaments, they're a little bit more moody, but it's okay. Hopefully he's not mad. All right. So now we're going to give away 5% of the 100% we're giving away. So again, the number we give away, what we win, we're giving away 10% of that. That's going to get put put into 100 shares. We're going to give away 5%. Out of, so out of those 100 shares, we're going to give away 5 shares. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put on a tweet. Everybody that retweets that tweet and replies to us. Um, anybody who, who replies to us, uh, you get a chance at that 5%. And I'm going to give that away at today's at the end of the stream. So let me write the tweet. So the next few minutes, it's going to be a little bit quiet. I'm going to write this tweet. Plus my throat hurts, guys, to be honest. So, uh, what are we doing? So, we're going to do this tweet. So, make a new tweet. So what I want you guys to do, hold on a second. Thank you for everyone that played. And we are giving away more prices. More prices. This tournament. We'll tag Venom. Poker. Storage Wars. Enjoy your show, Storage Auction Pirate. Yeah, he does some really good videos. Money Maker bought him twice and is out in 439. And that happened my last one. My last one, like, I just couldn't win a hand. But, you know, Chris is like me. He plays very aggressive. Well, I gotta see how to do this. Make sure. Okay, so I just want to make sure we had all the inform information in there. And then we're also going to tag him. At I am emotional. Nope, okay. <coughs> I probably should have called that with the king queen because this guy just <coughs> three bets a lot. Okay, guys, so if you want to have a chance at the 5%, I want you, so I'm about to put a tweet out right now. I want you to retweet a tweet, like the tweet, and you reply where you wish to win a congratulations, and you tell America's card room, thank you for the opportunity. And then, you know, because we got to be gracious, they give us the opportunity, and then we're going to look forward to the next opportunity to give us, because honestly, America card room gives back a lot. And there will be a lot more opportunity. 
You know, I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi off for a second. I wonder if it goes better. So, retweet, like, reply, congratulate the winner, and thank America's Card Room. Make sure to tag him at ACR underscore poker and thank him for the opportunity because they are giving us a good opportunity. They don't have to do that. The tweet is going up right now, so I've got to take a second till it goes live. I'll let you guys know. What's up, everybody? Thank you, Sam. I'm glad you liked the videos. It's been a crazy day. Today we found out about a million dollar locker. It sold for 50 bucks, which is the crazy part. I think we're going to videotape it too, so it's going to be a video coming out in two weeks. <sighs> yeah, Michael, that's the, so the poker giveaways are like usually a Twitter exclusive. Uh, we'll put up the messages. Um, but so poker giveaways, like that type of giveaways at Twitter. And then we do a lot of giveaways on YouTube. So the percentages on YouTube. But, you know, you, you got to have the social media that we use. So if you don't have it, no big deal. You just can't participate in that giveaway, unfortunately. What do we got? Eight. Oh man, we would have we'd have turned a full house with this hand. Woo. It looks like maybe 43 and FedEx sex are involved in a lot of hands. So those are the guys we want to play. Oh, we got pocket queens. Man, my post is still uploading. It's because I started it on Wi-Fi. Just upload, come on. <laughs> You know what? We're just going to go all in here because there's already 100000 almost of dead money. Because a lot of people are re-raising this FedEx XX now because they all realize that he's full of boo-boo most of the time. <laughs> so your hand value goes up a lot. I mean, if they have aces or kings, then so be it. It happens. And they have kings, so be it. It happens. Luckily, you only had a small stack. We need a jack or queen, 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 jack. No jack. That's okay. He had a small stack. We only lost about 220000 But see, that's the problem sometimes. When you got a loose player like FedEx on the table, he kind of changes your hand value ranges because, uh, like, this Goodwill punting, he already three bet that guy like three or four times. Somebody else goes up and then he r r lays down too. So I got, um, you know, some people say third or fourth best starting hand. Some people say aces, kings, queens, ace, king. Some people say aces, kings, Ace King. So to me, I rather have Queens than Ace King, but <coughs> starting hand in poker. Yeah, there is YouTube giveaways too. So the YouTube giveaways more often will come on the second day of the tournament as long as we make it. So we just punt, uh, just bubbled, uh, doubled them up. Too bad if we win, win that hand, we would have had a nice stack. We would have had, what, 1.1 million? That would have been a nice stack. Actually, what am I talking about? 1.2 million. Actually, how are the stacks? How are we looking here? The chip leader has 2 million, bunch of million dollar stacks. Yeah, we're still like, you know, 104 to 3 or 2. Oh, man, why is this not uploading? I don't want to delete tweets. Can I just copy it? No, 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 no.
It looks like it's uploading slowly, so let's just wait. I'll let you guys know when the tweet is live. It might take a few minutes. Oh, you just found a bunch of 2021? It's because, you know, if it's much cheaper, so people will buy last year's tax software. <coughs> so they don't have to pay for this year's. I don't know. The Twitter info is coming, um. It's still uploading, so I don't know. It's like super slow for me right now. I'm gonna take a quick quick break. I'll be back in five minutes. <sighs> Did we upload? Oh, it's getting there. I don't know why it's so slow. I think because I started on Wi-Fi. I'll be back in a few minutes, guys, when the break is over.
All right, guys, we got a little bit of a half a million chips. Which good position. We had 900,000. But we ran queens into kings. So, it's okay. It happens. So, the Twitter one is live. So, if you guys want to tw win, I'm going to give it away sometimes during the stream. Maybe later, maybe now. I don't know. We'll see. I'll play it by ear. I'm not committing to a time because then people get all upset. I do it when I feel like it, basically. And, um... So, um... What did I say? Um... Why are you nervous about your tax payments if you file an extension? As long as you file an extension, it shouldn't be a problem. Hey, queen under the gun. We just go limp. The Twitter thing is out, so yeah, I'll show it to you guys because some of you guys are better visual. Home. And then I'm going to put this up on the other stuff too, but it doesn't matter on the other stuff. So you got to retweet this. You got to like it. And you also have to reply. Let's see how people replied. Yep. So the way WC Pokers did is okay. Actually, the way Oscar did it. So both of those guys kind of did it wrong, to be honest. You're supposed to say congrats to the winner and thanks ACR for the opportunity. It's supposed to be both, but I'll, I'll, I'll let it go. So at some point in the stream... Somebody's going to get 5% of the 100% I'm giving away. So again, whatever I win, is going to, I'm going to give away 10% of my winnings. That's going to get split up into 100 shares. And out of that 100 shares, I'm giving away 5 shares. So if I win $10,000, that would be worth 50 bucks. Second best pair, no club, no straight. Hopefully he doesn't have to ace of clubs. That would suck. But we'll find out real fast. Whatever your stupid username. I swipe right 69. And he folded. There you go. That's because we'll bluff to you. I have not picking out Corona balls on a drive in Vegas. That's funny. Thanks for the pick and Fullerton, Renee. The picture. Oh, okay. So that must be somebody who took a picture with me. Sorry, I take a lot of pictures. But you're very welcome. Hey, Storage Auction Pirate, I know you're in the channel. I don't know if you saw about, you know, we bought that killer locker. And then, so I got contacted by the guy who bought the other half, which was the outside unit. And he sent me pictures already. He has like 20 or 30 boxes of nothing but Golden Age and Silver Age comic books. Books from the 1600s. 1500 of those pulp magazines, just like we have. He says he has World War One posters. It's crazy. Lennon World War One posters. Crazy stuff. Okay, so let me put this post up also on um, Instagram. Sorry, guys. Social media time. Oh, Gizmo Money already made the post. He did it right. And Gizmo Money wasn't running for the draw, too. I always feel bad when we get so many people close. But you know what? You all had an opportunity, so... I guess that's a good way to look at it, right? Better to have a chance and fail than not have a chance at all, right? <coughs> Fold.
eBay should automatically send you a 1099. It actually should be in your my eBay thing. I get them. Uh, we're just going to smooth call this in position. I don't want to run into kings again. Plus, there's a lot of stuff that can flop. Let's see what the flop looks like. <laughs> He makes it 70,000. Paisenberg, United States of America. That's a big race. That's six times his original bet. 30. 35, so he doubles what's in the pot. That's almost like he doesn't want to get called. If this guy doesn't call, we're just going to go all in and flip. Unless, hopefully I'm not overly dominated again. Or should we see a flop? I mean, what's that? Big blind and under the gun have all the hands. I mean, I laid down jacks earlier already, so let's see. Wow, this guy re-raises. All right, jacks are going in the muck. Luckily, we didn't race there. <sighs> yeah, so. Oh, yeah, you can't chat anymore here. Okay, let's also do a Facebook reel. So yeah, Peisenberg was full of it, which I thought too I was gonna flip with him, but the, under the gun he I mean he doubled his bet again, so I'm assuming he has jack speed. Oh that's the wrong Facebook account we need to switch. Go to professional dashboard. Yeah, that 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 Colonel Sanders was a really, really cool I like that too. That was a cool thing. Sometimes trying to tag these things is like hitting the right spot on the stupid screen. <sighs> I am in the Venom tournament. look all red on the camera the bottom of the knuckles all right what's happening here huge bet these guys are definitely playing which i like king five suited fold okay i think i'm gonna call my friend vice he's the one that outbid me today for seventeen thousand. Queen seven suited fold. Oh, my buddy Dusty bought another unit for four thousand. I might have to turn off my microphone for a second, guys, because I don't know if this guy wants to be in chat or not.
Well, that was a big hand, so... I mean, I didn't think he was going to call with nines. But like I said, you know, that's why the Venom tournament is just a great tournament. There's a lot of loose players in there. I mean, honestly, if I put my tournament on life with a, what was it, um, 4 six, three flop and I get check raised all in, you know, that's really not, uh, I wouldn't put my tournament life on the line with that, with pocket nines. I mean, that's, you can't be, beat pocket, any of the pairs on there. You can't beat two pairs, can't beat the straight. And you also can't beat any overcards. So, you know, but it's okay. I mean, th that's why that's why the Venom is a great tournament because a lot of people just make very loose calls like that. Maybe not the best thing that I make the better, but I guess, I mean, I have a lot of outs to win that hand. So, open is straight um, and second best pair, basically. Goodwill punt in. So, um, that's okay. I mean, I'll take that call. But, I mean, I don't know. To me, pocket nines is a weak call there. That's not, like, a winning play in the long run. Now, you got rebuys and stuff. People take more chances. People take more chances. So, uh, it's okay. Yeah, when, when Julianne, please don't spoil the stream. Like, if you're watching on the live table, please don't say what's happening. I would appreciate it. So, but whatever. I mean, he made the call with nines, and he's a winner. So, I guess it was a great call, right? At least that's what people in poker usually tell you. But I think you make that call, like, you know, seven out of ten times, that's probably a losing call. But it's okay. Now I'm going to play a little bit more aggressive again, because now, obviously, we're low stacked again. Just below starting stack. You know, when we ran the queens and the kings. But like I said, I'm actually happy the way we're going. We have a long stream going, and my mind is really not on poker today. I'm still going to give away that 5% at the end of the day. End of the day could be in five minutes. It could be in um, four hours. So you want to stick around. Okay, that's a good flop for us. You know, I hope that for one time he has a real hand like a king. But he raises a lot of stuff pre-flop, so we'll see. I guess I could check here, but if he has nothing, he has nothing, you know? This guy, like I said, I mean, he three-bet queen-5 suit earlier. Queen-5 queen suited earlier. So we'll just take that. Let's see what... Let me, actually, I'm going to look over here and type his name. FedEx Sex Poker. Let's see if there's anybody... Pocket fives. Oh, he made it to a heads up in a sixty thousand dollar guaranteed. Oh, his total winnings. Oh no, that was ninety five hundred for that one. Full. So I mean, it seems like he's a decent player. It's just very aggressive. Oh, no, that's actually porn. I don't know if it's that high stupid. Um, so it's not that much. Ah, yeah, yeah. So I just talked to the guy that won the $17,000 lock. He said that's like, he has like, um, he figures a thousand pulp magazines. And then he has books and stuff. But it doesn't sound like he got the mother load of comic books. So I'm happy I didn't pay that much because he paid 17100 and um, he paid seventeen thousand one hundred plus bias premium. That puts you at about twenty. Uh, what's that? Nineteen thousand dollars. So you know, if you if you pay nineteen thousand and you only find twenty or thirty thousand dollars as a merchandise, that's not fun. For me to spend twenty thousand, I need to triple my money. It looks like the real winner of D three lockers is the first one who bought it for fifty, the cheapest one, uh, Fritz. So. <clears throat> Let's 
let's see what are you guys watching on my stream right now where are you guys at the fives oh yeah big hand see how the chat reacts to that one i think that's a good bet like you really should not supposed to call nines here so let me look up this username tell to my heart poker like to me that is not a good call in the long run but what do i know i'm not very good at this game tell to my heart poker let's see that is Okay, so he's a poker player. Played on Poker Night in America. Probably pocket fives with an open and straight draw. That's probably the weakest hand I will have in a situation. It's going to be usually two pairs set or over pair. Um, let's see, I guess he's a poker player. But, you know, a lot of people, you know, with the rebuys, they take chances on these rebuys. Let's see what his name is. Jeremy Calry. See what his hand and mob is. Total lifetime earnings one hundred seventy one thousand. Best life cash twenty five thousand. Yeah, it's okay. Like I said, I wouldn't call that. But what do I know? Yeah, 999, but I mean, like, you got to really think, what hands are you, am I doing this? Am I, am I putting in 600,000 with A6 there? Which, what a one, by the way. But it's good that he's, like, he's, you know, he's going to call. He's loose, so that's good. So I'm going to play my hands. So let me put a note here. I'm not going to put him as fish. I'm just going to put him green. We'll make loose calls. Three, four, six. Called all in with nine nine. I had five five. Check raised him to five hundred k. He had three hundred k. So I, I just make news for later on, you know. So oh shit, I just didn't save it, did I? That's the one thing I wish ACI would fix a little bit. Like if you close it, your notes are gone. I think it should be different, but it's okay. We're gonna race this a little bit in early position, which is loose, but we need, we either gotta pick up chips or go bust. Makes loose calls. I'm gonna edit it later. You have to hit the green check mark, guys. So I get a green light with them. And they fold it. Okay, we got it. I don't know. Should I play good poker, guys, or should I just try to spin it up aggressively? Or should I try to play solid poker, solid aggressive aggressive poker? <coughs> that same person raises again. Oh, yeah, maybe 43 is pretty active. I guess we can start seeing fl flops and see what we hit, right? Let's see it. So maybe 43 is aggressive. FedEx Sex is aggressive. Bisenberg is aggressive. This guy makes loose calls. We have top pair. Uh, Good. I'm glad the stream is fun, guys. So I think it's more fun when you see my cards, you see my plays. I mean, right now I'm playing pretty aggressive. I, I know I can rebuy on Sunday. 
Um, let's see if the if the guy replied to me yet. What? He hasn't replied yet. So. But he's in Ireland. All right. Let's see where we at here. Let's make it fifty eight thousand. I mean, we have top pair, top kicker. He calls. He might have a flush draw. I mean, I guess he's the big flying, but it was race pre-flop double. Maybe he saw the flop with six, three, four, five, seven, four, seven, five, something like that. Queen of Hearts in a turn. Flush gets there. Don't like it. Also, big overcard gets there. Check, check. They both should check to me. I'm just gonna check it. Five is dead. I can help our hand if he had a hand like seven, four. We beat that now. But like I said, Peisenberg is a pretty loose player, so I wish I had more chips. I mean, he will just shove it here. Now he checks, so that's good. Maybe 43 is a little bit more. He's he's really loose, but he doesn't seem to be over-aggressive. Like, you three-bet him, he lays it down. But then he calls the flop. That's a scary turn card. He could have had ace-queen that he raised pre-flop, king-queen, any two hearts, obviously. I don't really put him on the other stuff. They both check to me. I should be good here, but just in case it's a trap and we low, let's just check. Let's just check. A7, and yeah, see, he made trip fives. So I got called. See, I mean, this tournament is so great for a million dollars. This is what I got called by. So that was a bet on the flop. So he bet top pair with a seven kicker. Not the worst, but in early position, it's kind of stupid to bet. But okay, let's go with it. And then maybe 43 calls the bet. I increased the bet. It was 14,000. I make it 48,000. So what, almost four times it? And he still thought to call bottom pair was good here. I guess he had a gut shot straight draw. And he reversed trip fives. But maybe 43 is a very loose player. And I can bet the turn he's calling me. So, you know, some super tight blowers, poker players will say that's why you don't play a7. But, you know, we make the right bets when we're ahead. We make the bad bets when we're behind. <sighs> Raises a lot. Raises a lot. We'll chase and make these calls. Loose calls. Make sure to get your value out of this guy. As a matter of fact, the last ten, every time we put money in, when we called to fifteen thousand, we ahead. When we three betted, we ahead. We checked the rest when we were behind. Actually, the turn card we were behind. We checked on the turn we were still ahead, but the river were behind. We checked it. Just a crappy turn card. I guess I could have taken a big bet and maybe they lay it down at that point. What's up, random stuff? We're doing okay. We have, we're up to like 900,000, and then we ran out queens into kings. And ever since then, the dream is going down. The guy guy? Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe he should have folded the nines. I, I think that's a fold there, but like I said, you know, that's the beauty of putt poker. We, we all play it different, so... And, you know, I'm sure if you ask him, he'll say that's an excellent call because he won the pot. So, I guess it is an excellent call, right? So, but that's why poker is all over the place, you know? We all have a different. What am I trying to do?
Oh, queen 10. All right, let's see some flops. We're just going to play poker. Let's just play poker. Let's build a stack. We're already in the bottom, what, 15% now with that, so let's build a stack. We'll go bust. I mean, this table has a lot of loose calls in it, so we want to see flops. It's like that guy makes it 37,000 again, and he raises every other hand, so let's see a flop. If we flop top pair or one of these twos, we're just going to go with it. 9-7, we have two overcards. Beisenberg is in again, of course. He checks, we check. He checks. Five is the turn card. He bets 44,000. We're going to raise him to 108. And he folds. The only reason I could do that play, because I know the guy has a huge range, and he's very aggressive, so there's a good chance he's checking the ace, king, ace, queen, or if he had a, I mean, shit, that guy, jack 10, and um, he checks it, and then since we both checked, he's just going to try to t buy the pot, and we'll just three bet him a little bit. And my chips are good, it's low enough where he sees me raising to 98,000. I have another 105,000 behind, so he's not really call If he's a smart player, he's not calling 98,000. He's calling the whole 200,000. <coughs> Stupid comment, Donald, but I guess you want attention on that one, right? I don't know what to say. Don't know what to say, buddy. Da -da -da. <laughs> yeah, I mean... That is definitely not a true comment. What was six and a twenty-five? You think it's six that sick that I called a pair of five? I mean, I play to win the tournament. I don't care about cashing. So that was a great flop for fives, you know. Oh, you talk. Okay, I'm sorry. You're talking about that guy called bottom for five. Yeah, for the three bed. Yeah, sorry. So, uh, it's, um, yeah, I'm going to try to play a lot of hands now with maybe 43 because he just plays a lot of hands. So, and FedEx sex. So, I mean, when he sat down, he had over a million in chips. So, We're going to try to play a lot of hands with these guys. Da, da, da. I want to go look at that expensive locker with Fritz, to be honest. But he doesn't have time till next week, so that really sucks. I just like looking at good stuff. So let's call uh, Dusty. You guys get to listen to another talk with Storage Wars. What's up, dude? Hey, you're still live on my stream. Is that okay? Yeah, I don't care. So don't talk I'm about... Alive. On the live show, so don't talk about your hemorrhoids. What's up? Don't talk about your hemorrhoids unless you want people to know. Oh, no, dude. Uh, if, I, if I do, maybe they'll sponsor me and send me a free bottle of cream. Okay, but well, I won't say nothing, so don't worry. All right. Um, What's up? <laughs> did you buy the room for 4000 Yeah. I think it's a good buy. Yeah, you never know. You, you this is a little sketchy, but... 
Uh, you know what? It's four thousand dollars. So I talked to my friend who bought the, who had bid me on the seventeen thousand dollar room, so he paid nineteen thousand. Oh. oh my god! And um, what do you mean? Oh my god! Oh, that's a lot of money. Was it juicy? No, that's the room we talked about earlier. Remember? No, I know, I know. No, he he said so far the best thing he found was about a thousand pulp magazines, but you know a lot of them are ten, twenty, thirty bucks. Some of them are hundred bucks. You know? Yeah, so, but none of us want a ten dollar way out of a twenty thousand dollar purchase. That's what I was about to say. You have to do a thousand eBay listings at ten bucks a pop, yeah. and the ten dollar ones don't sell that fast to make you twenty grand back. I mean, actually, wow. they have to average twenty bucks a piece to get your money back. And, like, the reason I was bidding that high, I mean, I was making the gamble that the comics were in there. But I stopped bidding because I was like, man, the, the first person might have got the comics. Which I told you, I, t I talked to the guy that uh, who bought the other half and he got, like, all the Golden Age comics and stuff. I told you that already earlier, right? Yeah, it sounds like Phase Rug bought, bought the wrong one. <laughs> yeah. and. <laughs> And, and and it's funny because the one that had all the Golden Age comics looked like crap, like a junk locker. Yeah. And um. How many did he get? He probably has twenty boxes of them. It's all. He sent me a whole bunch of pictures. We actually, he said next week we're gonna come over. We're gonna do an interview and a video and show some of the stuff. It's gonna be a million dollar locker. He he has like two big World War Two posters, like Lenin World War Two posters. He oh, has. Propaganda. Yeah, like probably recruitment posters, probably American. So, um, and then he has, he said he has books uh, from the 1600s. Oh, shit. oh man, these That's two guys good. again. I'm just going to fold. Uh, he has books from, the, I mean, I probably should erase and just take a gamble here. What am I doing? Um, he has books from the 1600s. Uh, the comic books is obviously where the money is at. He's sending a whole bunch in to get graded. And he also has. What was the best one he found so far? Well, he showed me in a picture. He's an Avengers number one, but he says he has a lot of really rare Golden Age stuff, but he needs to get it graded. Yeah. So he says awesome. that, that that he's estimating, and he's only went through like some of it because there's so many boxes of books and stuff. And he said he right now is expected at a quarter million dollars right now, easily. Oof. Man. Yeah. Uh, and he paid fifty bucks for the locker. If 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 I would have bought that locker and did the the, the video on YouTube, I guarantee you I would have got ten thousand messages. It's fake. It's fake. It's fake. You probably would have got ten thousand messages. It was fake, and then you would have went home. You would have put it all on a pallet and wrapped it in black plastic <laughs> and put it on the top shelf of your warehouse. No, yeah, no, no, no. We already have a load like that. It's in a different location. No, I know. I know you you have a unit full of that stuff, don't you? I, I, I have two 10 by 20s from the comic book. Actually, three 10 by 20s from the comic book quarter house. And then I have 10,000 Silver H Golden Books in a different private office. Well, if you ever, if you ever need a clean out crew, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I got like a half a million there, probably just in that stuff. So we'll do a lot of videos. We did some videos. We'll do a lot of videos where we go through the stuff. I have a lot of sealed wax from the 80s and 90s in there, too. I need to go through. But, um,. But yeah, so I talked to him, and he he said like, yeah, it's good and stuff. But he didn't he didn't sound that excited like he hit the jackpot. And so I talked to the other guy, Cash and that's huh? Cash him out. Do what? Cash him out. If if it's just a if it's just a thousand or maybe even two thousand pulp books, I don't I don't want it for twenty thousand dollars. Oh no no don't cash him out on that. Cash him out on the golden age load. I I I told him it's like, look, I'll come spend with you two three four hundred thousand dollars, pay you cash. You know, we'll just go to the no bank. Problem, a little wire, no problem, dude. Yeah, but um, he uh, I mean, he, he has he has a huge eBay account. He's a smart guy. He he's like, look, I mean, I don't need the money. I got plenty of money. Which you know, that's what I always tell people in my YouTube videos. And then he said, I'm just gonna list everything on eBay and get max dollar for it, which is the smart thing to do, you know. You can't blame him, dude. It's too hard to find, you know. Yeah. I don't like giving away. You know, you don't want to give away your. Uh the prize when you finally find it i mean what the hell do you clean like 200 tweaker lockers for you know to finally hit one of those licks you know and then you're stupid if you just give it away yeah exactly so so he's doing a smart thing but he sounds like a super nice cool guy i'm bluffing on a hand right here i'm trying to narrow it down against the guy that went all in okay oh we hit the king see that's why i narrowed it down got lucky there we go bisenberg actually had a hand we back to half a million of chips
Playing poker today, playing, baby. Playing live poker? No, this is a Venom tournament, but first prize is a million. That's a lot of money, man. So, um... Uh, I'll give you good luck, so give me 10%. <laughs> funny. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so he doesn't sound... So just to buy uh, from the one guy, it's not worth the 20 grand. I, I mean, I have warehouses full of crap that, no, that's no, paid not for. That. Not just more of those pulps, dude. I mean, unless they're like... Damn, dude, I mean, it would have to be a lot of pulps for 20 grand. They're just, like, really good ones. Really, really well, if it's the really high-end ones, but... So, you know, the guy had three units, and one of the reasons why we didn't buy it, and we said the same thing, and when you see the second half of my video, the guy had stuff stored in different types of boxes. And most of the stuff that was in this boxes was um, more the lower-end stuff. You know, a lot, a lot of like a lot of those yeah. type of boxes that were in there, like mine were full of household. You'll see it in the so second half the, of the video. He put the better stuff in his shittier boxes. No, he put the better like better stuff that we saw you like mid level. The better stuff was in like U haul brand new medium boxes, and this unit only had like six or seven of them in there. A lot of the stuff that was in those white copy paper boxes, what wasn't that good, and okay. most of the unit was that. So yeah. I had isn't households. It funny, isn't it funny how life works, man? The guy that spends twenty grand gets the. The lesser of the three and the guy that spends fifty dollars gets the haul. That's why, you know, if you knew that guy already got that golden age haul, I mean that's why it's kinda of scary to run too high on the third room because, you know, sometimes, you know, that might have been the end of the, that might have been the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Yeah, so that that's what he was saying too. So the guy told me he's like the room looked really crappy, it looked like a whole bunch of garbage furniture. And then it, it was partitioned off halfway through, and you could see boxes sticking out. So it looks like the second half might have been boxes. It was really dirty, full of dust. Nobody's been in there for a long time. But right up front, he had a couple of boxes, and they were sealed up. They were shipping boxes, and they were still sealed. And what happened is, so the packaging tape that was on there was from an auction company. You could tell by the label. So this guy was buying stuff at the auction company. And the guy Fritz said he, he noticed that, so he says he's going to take a chance and just buy it. And then he bid at the last, nobody bid on the unit. And then when he got in the bag, obviously, it was just full of all collectibles. You know, that's just the way a smart unit's packed, you know? Put all the good shit in the back and all the garbage furniture in the front. Yeah, so, um... Nobody, you know, it's very rare that somebody puts, like, the good good all the way in the front, except for our last two lockers. Which was our last two lockers? Oh, yours. You know how yours had the good pulps in the front. And the oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah. And, like, mine had the suitcases full of silver and gold in the front, and then the back was dirty Tupperware. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, I know. I, I wish we could have um, I wish we could have filmed that one. That would have been a great one to film. And it, it's funny because, like, you know, like, on my channel, you know, I'll film good units, bad units, um, our 1977 locker. I'll show everything. I don't care. And still a lot of people think it's fake, you know, but it's That's like... the way the world works, man. You know, if every, if every single locker was good, everybody would be doing the same job. No, I know. It's all good. All right, well, I just wanted to call you. So now I don't feel bad I didn't get the locker. There probably is still some profit, but honestly, with as much as work as that takes, if I have to spend... um like say twenty thousand dollars to get back forty thousand dollars that's not exciting to me i can do that any day yeah do you have the owner's name the original owner yeah yeah i know who the original owner is why don't you uh why don't you follow that rabbit trail oh i will don't you worry how do you think i found the third locker <laughs> you know, the, action, the action one might be in his gun safe in his closet uh who knows um yeah no i uh, so um yeah no that's some more I, I can't say it on stream but i'm actually researching some more stuff too so, but yeah, who know? Who knows? So, hunt him, hunt him down. um, well, the guy passed away, so well, hunt down that estate, dude. <laughs> Unless it's already gone, you know, maybe the state, maybe the state already called the 1 800 junk and wiped it out. Yeah, I mean, the, the comic book hoarder locker that we bought, and you know, I'll, I'll make a half a million to a million of that one eventually. Um, and I've already made like, you know, six figures. Um, they were going to call 1-800-JUNK and have them clean it up. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. I would have loved, loved it if my junk hauling brothers got that house. Oh, yeah, that would have been a great one. Oh, yeah, dude. It's crazy, too, because you imagine people pay them like 10 grand to come pick that shit up. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, you bring two trucks, bring one for us. You know, I mean... Yeah. We only took what we had to, and we probably took 85% of the house. 
Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. So anyway, let me let you run. I gotta get back. I'm on the stream right here. Like I build up a lot of chips, put them down. Now I'm back in a decent range. It's so funny because my mind is really not in poker today, and I feel like I'm playing pretty good poker. Yeah, oh. Sometimes the way it works, you know. I always play. You're an you're an autopilot. Actually, I, I play. I've been playing poker forever. It's that was fun. Like when you play, or like you know, you get into some of the rich games, and it's like, oh, it's the fat guy from Storage Force. He's famous. He has money, but he probably doesn't know how to play poker. Yeah, you can come play with us, you know. <laughs> so. You can clean them out. Yeah. Sometimes I mean, you know, cash games people get lucky, but. Would you just call me fat? Is that what's happening right now? You got it by playing poker. <laughs> I'm just joking. Bro. It's okay. You R called yourself fat, bro. You know, hey, r remind me to punch you in the face next time I see you, okay? Yeah, no problem. I think you already owe me a couple. Probably, so we'll just make it a straight up beating. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, oh, did no you're not looking at that 9,000 locker right now, right? Uh, yeah. You dare really? I mean, at that $4,000 locker. super happy so it's great because it's all uh, 1990s like dead stock women's clothes and there's good t-shirts it's good happy I'm wife fine. happy life yeah oh no. i know i would buy it again just for uh for her and then um i should have bet i thought he had these two <laughs> the um the what, what i was gonna tell you um oh i got kings shit i was gonna tell you. man my mind is just not in it today that's going to tell you something else. All right. Oh, you know what? That locker we talked about in San Bernardino, that's probably going to bring like 20 or 30K. Watch. Somebody will pay 20 or 30K. It'll just be like late, common crap stuff. And the guy who bought the locker for 50, he's going to be the one that's uh, going to get the million dollars worth of comic books, you know? That's how it goes, dude. That's why I like gambling on garbage sometimes, you know? Yeah. Hey. You never know where it's going to be at any time, Brando. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, we don't quote. Oh, I got pocket kings. Oh. You know what? I just want to take it down here. So I hope he doesn't have aces. I got pocket kings against the same guy when I had queens early. He had kings. All right, we got kings. He has jacks. We're holding. Just go put up a king. Okay, we're still holding. Put up a king. Put up a king. Ace. We win. 1.1 million dollar pot. America's card room. I love you. I love you. Woo. Was that too much? Was that too much? Was that excited much? Woo! Hey, I went to almost like being like, okay, I'm getting ready to be bust to like now I'm again in the probably top 20%. I'll see you after this hat. That's crazy. <coughs> the same guy earlier. I had queens. He had kings. I lost half of my stack. He just gave it back to me. Fair. That's awesome. I'm number 30 at a 295 right now. All right, we're back in the business. I was going to goof around, but I guess we're going to try to play serious poker. But I'm playing pretty aggressive today. So, um, you know, I'm giving away money. We just gave somebody $2,600. We're just in it, you know? So we're just in it. Nail it down, dude. Nail it down. Making that money, trying to earn a dollar. Earn a dollar and 50 cents. That's what well, I do. I think I saved a bunch of money by not going higher than 17000 in that locker. I think you did, too. I told you. I told you it would either be... I told you it would just be a tax write-off. Yeah, you, you were right. It would have been a bunch of work. And you know what? I have so much going on right now. Like, don't mention what I... Don't mention, but I told you. I, I made a deal with a company. I, remember the one I told you I just signed? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't mention the name, though, because I'm on stream. And I can't do it oh, yet. Yeah, I mean, we just signed contracts, but I, I can't mention it until oh, I do good. it. Yeah, no, no, you're good. So I'll just remind you on stream. But so I have... Yeah, I have to... Yeah, no, I, I don't... I have to film with them, and then I have a whole bunch of projects. You know, I got my ACR stuff going on. And then we, I really need to, like, my storage unit is my warehouse. You've just seen it the other day. I'm full with stuff. So so I have a lot of stuff going. So, like, you know, I wouldn't want to spend 20000 trying to make 40000 back. And then, like, it would take oh, dude, a back. You're going like, to be like trash Jesus, dude. You're going to have to walk on the pile to get to the back. No, it's not trash. Walk. It's all good stuff. If you if you could look at some of those pallets and stuff like this, you'd be saliv sal salivating. Oh, I'm down, dude. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you get like four hundred thousand cash come to my warehouse? You can have everything in the warehouse. Oh my gosh. But that doesn't the, the comic book hoarder house is not the warehouse, so you're not so you know. Only if it comes with a safe too. There's no safe at the warehouse. All those safes are open. Yeah, well, wherever they're 
<laughs> I'll bring the crane, dude. No, I got the crane, no problem, bro. Very I'm fine. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm poor. <laughs> uh, I made a loose call on the gun. I'm going to have to fold. All right, brother. I'll let you go do your All thing. Right, let me know when you look at the $4,000 locker. I will. I'll go tomorrow. Hey, if you buy a really cool, interesting locker, let's film it. And, well, we got the one. Actually, yeah, so people that are watching right now, we actually have a locker where Dusty paid $1,000. And I think it's going to come out on, uh, what did I have? Queen Jacks. I'm drawing really slim here. I'm drawing the three outs. Luckily, I didn't call. Um, so, uh, guys, I actually filmed Dusty in a locker. It's just a little quick 15-minute video, but it's fun. But if you buy, like, a killer locker that looks like it might be exciting, why don't you let us know? I wish I'd had you come to the one yesterday. It was so much better. It was like, it was perfect, all the little tiny trinkets and stuff. It was great. Okay, well, let's get another good one. I'll just come out and film it. So, you know, people. Right, yeah, I'll let you know. So, we'll have some of your stuff filmed. Yeah, no problem, man. All right, brother. Sounds, sounds good. Sounds good, my brother. We'll have a good day. Good luck. All right, you too. I'll call, I'll, I'll call you later, maybe. All right, cool. Bye. All right, bye. All right, guys, I'm on break. I'm going to take a break. I need I need to take a bathroom break. Don't picture that. Um, Shrika, you want to tell them about the giveaways, the 5% the we're doing? And um, it's just a crazy day today. I'm watching the stream right now, so I don't see the live chat. But uh, uh, there's going to be an interesting hand coming up in a second. I am running good today. Some good cards here. I also like to think I'm playing well.
Uh, oh, it's hot in here. I got all these shiny lamps. Why didn't I go to AC? Um, Because I was starting to promote the card show a lot. And there's a lot of companies that pay me a lot of money to promote a lot of different things. Um... And I don't know, the card hobby, like, I was collect. I've been collecting, like, since probably, when did I start collecting cards? Maybe mid-90s, probably. Actually, early 90s, maybe. You know, and seriously, throughout, I got all kinds of cool stuff. Like, you guys want to see a cool card I just got? Check this out, I'll show you guys a cool card. To me, it's cool. The only thing I probably got chill bit on, because I bought it from Propstein. And he sold the same car three weeks ago, same serial number. It went up to 40. And then three weeks he released it. And this time it went up for 81. So I probably got chill bit on, but whatever. I like it. It's a PSA 9, 1974, Geo Bassett and Company, uh, Franz Beckenbauer, World Cup stars. So I paid 82 or 83 dollars. But he sold the exact same card, same sale number for $41. But, you know, a lot of people in the past, and there was no reserve or anything. So a lot of people, I mean, I mean, he's been accused of shill bidding so many times. But whatever. I mean, I like the card. I'm happy for 80 bucks, so I like it. So I've been collecting cards forever. So he, he, here's the deal, because, uh, you know, Panini, like, you know, sometimes they, like... I was going to do a store with a famous person that is so famous, pretty much everybody in the world knows him. And Penny's like, oh, yeah, okay, we'll help you. We'll get it hooked up. And then they never reply, and they just kind of blackball you. And it's such a good old boys club. So I'm like, I make money in a lot of different ways, so why should I promote it? I can just buy what I want to online and just do my collection. And, like, unfortunately, that hobby is a little bit narrow-minded where it's like either you're in or you're out. You're, like, a good, you're part of the good old boy club. And um, hobbies like that die in the long run, so because they don't expand, because people are trying to milk it. Hey, Wiley, let me buy it. Yeah, so that's just so much stuff. So that's part of the reason. So I don't want to push the hobby because they're just too narrow minded. Why should I promote Panini or some of the things that they do? And then, like, you know, they're like, oh, you can't be part of it. You can't get anything. You know, it's like, pfft. it's just like I said, I've been collecting for 30 years, probably, maybe almost 40. Hate to admit it. Well, not 40. It hasn't been 40. So it's like somewhere between 30 and 35 years. I got all kinds of cool stuff, some really high end stuff, and a lot of, you know, stuff like people would say, this is not great. But to me, like, I always pick up German soccer cards, and I usually like my stuff graded. Um,. But if they're so anti, like, where they just kind of blackball you, and I'm like, all right, then don't worry about it. So, you know, I think, um, and I know I'm not full of myself or anything. I mean, maybe, maybe from people I say. But me going to the show is a positive than me not going to the show. I'll go if I want to, but I had a lot of other things going on this week, too. So it's not, it's not the most important thing. I don't know if that makes sense. I went to the Gem Mint Collective. That was nice. But again, Panini, they actually try to avoid you. I made some really cool things. eBay is awesome. I talked to them. Uh, even Cool Sarah was cool. You know, I'm going to wait till Fanatics takes over. Those guys were really cool. Cool Sarah. So Sarah Cool. Is it Sarah Cool or Cool Sarah? One of those two. And then see how the hobby is there. But uh, with Panini, basically, you know, it's like there's people that left Panini since. And they opened up new stores. And they get all the allocations and everything. It's just like a good old boy club. So, but I think they're gonna have a hard time because this NFL tra draft class sucks. The last NBA cl draft class sucks. You see what's happening to NBA cards. So, um, you know, so it's gonna get a lot harder, unfortunately, for them now. But to me, I don't care. I've been collecting when cards were high. I've been collecting when cards were low. I just like them, so it doesn't matter. And I don't need the money. So, like, if I see stuff I like, like you know, even that, even though I think it was show bit, I still got a good deal. I can probably double my money in this if I wanted to. But I'm not going to sell it. It's going to go in my collection. One day I give it to Tatiana and she can give it to somebody or do whatever she wants to. Oh, Goodwill Putin must have doubled up. He's back up to 300000 
this guy raises, so we fold. But I mean, like I said, he's a huge, huge range, but we just have nothing. And if he has to 10, we can't really hit anything there. You know, my plans is uh, I might go to September for a charity event to Chicago. I'm going October to Uruguay with America's Card Room for to Punta del Este. I'm probably messing this up, but it's the fun poker series, I believe. I'm trying to get Chris to go. I don't know if he said he's going or he's not going. Um, you know, I'm doing videos for you guys. I'm filming Storage Wars. That's just so much stuff going on. So, and I don't even want nothing from the card industry. I don't want them to pay me. And I actually had a bunch of companies offer me to do stuff, but it's just not big enough of a company or where it makes sense. I'm really picky these days. Um, so I just want to be a part of it. You know, it's like, hey, let me, if, if I do a store, let me buy one case allocations and then I'll pay the distributors 20 times the price. Or let me at least get a chance to buy a case so I can do a store and make it fun. Like the store we were going to do with the other celebrity was, uh, and I'm not a celebrity, but he is, was going to be like a super cool hangout place, like where you go just to hang out and it's going to be really fun. And we don't really have anything like that here in, in San Diego. So, but, um, and they just like, they don't even really reply to you and they just kind of blow you off. I'm like, okay, well, you know what? Maybe times are good right now. And remember, the card hobby been dead for most of the time. And, like, panini boxes were going for nothing. And now it's been really good with the pandemic. But everything on the pandemic went way up, right? Rolexes went up. Lamborghinis went up. Comic book went up. Everything went way up during the pandemic. And now it's going down again. And what do you think is going to happen when the recession comes? You think panini is going to sell $2,000 prison boxes where the first 10 draft picks were, like, defenders or linemen? I don't think so. <coughs> so... And, you know, I have a huge social media following because you guys are awesome. Team Bargain Hunters is awesome. Companies pay me a lot of money just to do a tweet and stuff. And I used to tweet about Panini and releases all the time, kind of promote it and share stuff. But then I'm like, why am I doing it? Like the hobby is something that I enjoy and I do with a bunch of my friends. Why, why am I pushing them? And every time you try to talk to them, they're like, they have the attitude. I'm sorry, Renee. We don't even like you. We don't talk to you. I'm like, okay, fine. You do your thing. I do my thing. What's that? What's that? Nineties FIFA cards. He was he was eighties World Cup superstar for Germany. Is it jersey? Was Red Dawn card? Um, so it's a nineteen seventy four card, and you know this might be his Bayern Munich card. Let me see, West German captain and captain of Bayern Munich. So that red jersey is probably when he's playing for Bayern Munich. Here it is again. Uh, but it's a nineteen seventy four card. Pretty safe to say that Franz Beckenbauer is probably the most famous German soccer player in history. He's like our Pelé and Diego Maradona. Also, you know, I buy a crap load of cards still from Panini. I used to show them all the time. I don't really show them that much anymore. But look what I just got recently. Um, these are actually sold already. 101 Steph Curry championship card. The guy paid 50% down. He owes me another 50%. Got this card. That's probably a $3,000 card. Like I said, I got some pretty amazing stuff. I got another curry somewhere. I think it's downstairs. It's much better curry. Maybe it's here. I just got these, and I got the 101s and the 105s UFC. I usually just flip these on eBay because they're good deals. This is uh, Shafkat Raminov, his rookie card on a fight he won. These are great. I paid like, um, I don't even remember what I paid. I think I paid like a couple hundred bucks, and they probably should bring like a thousand. So that's the beauty with eBay. You know, I can sell and make money on eBay. I don't need to go to shows or need an approval for a big company. I just list my stuff and people buy it. Especially when you got rare stuff. This is also one on one. This is Uma Norma Komdev. And it's in a fight he won Saturday, June 25th. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but uh, you see the one on one right there, right? I need the UFC one on one cursive. Now, a company that's really cool to work with, and we are doing a video for them too, because they make sure that boxes stay cheap. Let's see, what's this over here? Oh, I bought this card for 99 bucks, just in case. I'm speculating on this one. It's Austin Reeves' rookie, and it's his, uh, his first triple-double. I paid 99 dollars Austin Reeves for the Lakers. Who knows? He might become a superstar. He might do nothing. It's a 101. 
Uh, just send me a couple of pictures, Wiley, and maybe make a deal with everything. I don't know if you want. I don't know if you want to sell everything, but if you do, send me a message. If it's good stuff, I'll buy it. So the company that's really cool to work with, they send us a lot of stuff, and um, it's just a company. They keep the prices low, but they make some really cool product. Metasu. UFO spoiler. So I got a whole bunch of hobby boxes. I'm going to invite a friend of mine that's really into cards. Uh, I'll buy both Pokemon cards. I mean, send me some message. I usually try to buy graded so I can pay fair because once the stuff is graded, it's really easy to establish the value. But, I mean, I'll buy anything. Send me an email. But, so, I'm going to take one of my friends. He doesn't know this yet. And I'm not going to say the name. But he's also really big into cards and stuff like this. And I got a bunch of hobby boxes from Meta soon. I got different stuff that they have. And I'm going to invite him over to the warehouse. We're going to film it. And we're just going to open it up and have fun. And whatever he opens, he gets to keep. So, that's going to be really cool. Give him a few hundred dollars worth of stuff. But, yeah, Panini's just kind of like... Um, they just have that attitude like, you can't talk to us. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. I'll just buy what I like. I used to buy a lot of Panini Seal product. Now I really barely ever do anymore. Just don't want to get money. I'll buy the one on ones. I have, so I bought, I spent like $10,000 on this product called, um, uh, what is it? NBA Hopes Premium. It's a really cool product. I love it. Signed Williams rookie, John Morant. And I have a John Morant rookie scripts autographed. That's been in Panini Redemption for like 500 days. I emailed them three times. They wouldn't even reply. Have I been to the National? I didn't been to the National, but I know about it. Yeah, so I, I have some hookups with Fanatics. So, um, and Fanatics is super nice. So, you know, I'm just basically waiting till Panini's done. And then, you know, then I'm sure Panini wants us to push their crappy products like, you know, they did wrestling, which wrestling people, they just don't like cards. I mean, uh, wrestling products have never been expensive in cards. They're still cool and everything, but they were trying to sell wrestling prison box for $1,000. Last time I checked, you can buy them everywhere for 500 retail already, and I can get them wholesale for like, you know what? I don't want to sound like an ass. Let's check. I belong to this dealer website. Let's see what it goes for. Da, da, da. Here. Because I buy stuff a lot cheaper. Because you have to be a licensed dealer in here. Okay, so, oops. Oh, Jack 4, we can fold. So I think it should be in a 22 combat. Prism Hobby. So I can buy these wholesale right now at the box at 370 a box. When they came out, they were over a thousand. The UFC, what can I buy those? 510 a box, those were well over a thousand. But this is second year already. Blasters, nobody wants. White Sparkle's not out there. And first of the line, that's not for sale, but somebody's offering 600. So, you know, so when this comes, when, when, when Fanatics takes over, Panini still will have some soccer, which in the long run, most people, I mean, if, if you follow cards with soccer, people don't, uh, people don't uh, collect, um, I have to go back to storage wars, I'm sorry, Tim, you know, I was going to send you a letter too, asking for permission if I'm allowed to do this, but I forgot, but thank you that you told me, this way there's no confusion. Um, in the long run, people don't collect uh, soccer as much. If you've been following the soccer prices, they've been really bad. Soccer cards are great. I love them. One of the things I always loved about them, because most card collectors in the world are American, and Americans just don't care for soccer because MLS sucks. So, you know, um, you know, and also the, the American soccer system. Like in Europe and all the teams, you relegate. You know, if you play good, you move up a league. If you play bad, you move down. So it makes it a lot more competitive. Did you end up making a deal with Alan Kessler for his G.I. Joe's? I think it was. Uh, no, we haven't yet. I text messaged him a couple times. Let me get an inventory. I'll come out there. But he just hasn't replied. It's crazy how these breakers on Instagram like Pullman getting boxes for 200 and charging 3019 on a private jet. Yeah, I hope they invest the money because I think those days are really going down. I mean, look at this coming up NFL class. It sucks. There's not going to be huge chases. You know, uh, I mean, the, the class before, like, nobody really stood out. The prices were cheap already. And there was some, still a lot of good quarterbacks. 
What's your favorite card in your card that's worth the most? Um, you know what? I couldn't even tell you. I have a lot of vintage stuff. So, like, my favorite stuff is the vintage stuff. Like, I like I like stuff from 60s and pre. Uh, my most valuable card. I don't think I want to say. Because I do have some really valuable basketball and baseball, but I really don't care for it. It's just kind of like a money thing. Mm. Yeah, so 101 means there's only one card made, and I got the one out of one card. That's it. Yeah, a lot of cards on eBay are ungraded, but I'm not into ungraded that much. You had Kenny on the podcast. Well, send me some information, uh, Born Evil Studios. Uh, you can DM me or email me, Renee, at Bargain Hunter Thrift Store. I think Shrike could put up the me email earlier. He might put it up again. <sighs> so, um, what was I saying? My most expensive card. What I regret selling, I sold those Star Wars French prototype boxes. There was only one case known. And I think I sold them for five or 6000 a box. I wish I would have kept those. But I have some really high-end Mickey Mantle stuff. But I, I just don't want to say. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. I got cool stuff. I, I like a lot of one-on-one -on -one stuff. And have some cool stuff. So I, I have so much stuff. I have expensive artwork. We, we, I mean, we have a lot of stuff. Like, we've been really blessed. But like we said earlier, you know, the number one blessing is family. You know? My immediate family, my Storage Wars family, my uh, America's Card Room family. Um, that's a new family that's about to join the team. You know, short term, but I hope it goes long term. Yeah, back tops, remember tops, and Fleer. I used to buy Dunruss packs. That's when I started collecting. I remember we used to buy uh, Dunruss Diamond King packs for like a dollar. And like all the cards were always worthless. So. Oh, I'm not throwing the artwork at you crazy. Are you crazy, Joe Mama? Does that artwork is not thrown away. That artwork is a lot of money. Not throwing it away, don't you worry. If everything goes right, guys, I'm shooting a video next week. Hopefully, it'll be next Sunday out <coughs> with Fritz, who bought the other half of the locker. And I'll show you guys a million dollar locker that was bought for $50. <coughs> I've seen pictures already. It's absolutely insane. It's going to bring out all the people that say it's fake. Uh, this is my superstitious hand, so we're going to call it King Nine. Two clubs, we like it. How come my iPhone is locked? I don't want it to be locked. Uh, check. Let me reboot my phone real quick. Just fold. Let me take it down so I don't have to sweat. But if you call and the club gets there, it's going to be 275000 on the river, just so you know. So just fold. You know you don't have this card, so you call. Okay, we hit the king. We've still got about 120000 I just hope he doesn't have ace-king, which he could. Honestly, I've been talking so much lately, and I'm kind of tired. I haven't really paid attention how this guy plays. He has a lot of chips, but... Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh. Is he going to do the old, I got to go into time bank and I, oops, I race. Or oh, is he really thinking about calling or folding? Does he have ace eight? He folds. All right. We'll take it. Or oh, maybe he had a flush draw too. 1.1 million guys. 1.1 million. Yeah, WW. So I, I, when we have a lot of wrestling fans, we always... Uh... Yeah, the redemption is bullshit. 
So, and like, you know, we always joke around that if you, if you like wrestling or NASCAR, you love Storage Wars. So it's kind of the same, same fan base. But wrestling fans, I found a lot of really rare wrestling collectibles. And I was always surprised at the price range. Same thing, NASCAR is even worse. They just, they're not going to give you a $1,000 a box for some cards hoping to find a card. Yeah, no, I'm happy that Panini's done too because they just they just really don't care about people, I think. They're just all about themselves. And I think everybody that's still there is like just in the exit mode. You're going to see a whole... And you already seen it. Some people, Panini left, and now they all got big stores with great allocations. I bet you you're going to see a lot of people that work at Panini. They're going to come out and... Um, Gonna have a lot of product available for sale, the old stuff, you know? So, but whatever. I mean, more power to them. They have the connection. But you would think that still you would want, like, you know, I mean, I have a huge audience. You would think that it's, it, you would want me to be part of the hobby to promote the hobby, right? Damn, Bitcoin is back to 24,000. Should have bought a bunch of 20,000. But I don't trust it. I mean, I love Bitcoin in the long run, but I think it's gonna go down. I don't wanna buy it before the recession. Uh, what was I doing? I was sending a message to somebody. I'm telling you, my brain is like totally gone today. Does the guy still hasn't sent us a message with his ticket? You think he'd be paying attention? He must be at work. Because we got no message. <sighs> you're welcome. Um, yeah, so you have to email email us. It is his cousin. It's a one on one. He's still undefeated. Yeah. So um, yeah. So that's a good card. So I'll probably put that on eBay. I really don't care about UFC cards to be honest. I'm friends with Steve Aoki. I sell him cards all the time. He's a big UFC guy. You know, I like simple stuff like this. This is only number two forty nine. I mean, what's this card worth? Maybe a hundred bucks. I don't even know anymore. Jalen Waddle autographed number two forty nine from Rookies and Stars longevity box. I like that. Um, I have to, what is all this stuff here? I really like these rookie tickets, but this is the wrong player, Sean Wade. But I think those look pretty cool. For your Cowboys fan, CD Lamb number two twenty five. I just opened up one year the new prism. I got the orange Justin Herbert, green Jamar Jace, Justin Fields. Like I said, these cards are cool, but I got way better cards like Trey Lance. I got 101 Trey Lance. I showed him in uh, different videos. Rookie scripts. I got some cool rookie scripts. This stuff is just stuff I opened or got recently. Travis Etienne, rookie scripts. This is a signed card. Mac Jones, Zach Wilson, eh, stuff. Like I said, I have a lot of stuff. Really, because I've been like, like I used to open up a lot of stuff. But because Panini just kind of been that way. And then the last deal we had with the big person said, okay, yeah, we're going to get you guys. And then every time they just kind of blew us off and they asked, like, you know, we asking the world. You know, to this other guy has millions and millions of Instagram followers. Like, wouldn't you think for the hobby, just by him telling all his followers, it would just be huge, right? This year select is going to be it. I'm buying cases and keeping them sealed. That's a mistake. Don't buy cases to select. Did you see what select did in 2020? Um, as a matter, did, didn't select already come out or just a retail product? Oh no, select didn't come out. In 2020, select like the Joe Burrow rookie card 101. There were 66 different select Joe Burrow 101 rookie cards. What do you think is going to happen this year? Yeah, 2020, that's the that's the wax you want to buy. 2020 is good. 2021 has potential, but 2020 is the best. But the hobby is going down right now, so... You know, I also got about $100,000 worth of 2019 basketball stuff, so I hope Cyan comes back. Everything what people are saying, he's like in really good shape and ready to go. If he comes back, 20, 2019, that's the play to buy right now. All 2019 basketball is low. If Sign William comes back, no, I saw that $10 million mantle. I'm friends with Jeff, too, Jeff Wilson. 
I was supposed to do a bunch of YouTube stuff with him when he was out here in L.A., but then I got the sickness. I can't say what it is, but you guys all know. And then it's just my schedule just got crazy. Let's see if Cleeton liked my tweet. He might be mad at me, but whatever. I mean, it is what it is. I didn't mean it in a bad way, but he did make some really loose calls, so put him down. I like this guy. Let's see. Let me see if he liked it. Three likes. He did like it. Okay, we're going to give him a follow. Oh, Big Kef, he's a friend of mine. I'm surprised I'm not following him. So, um, you know. And then I play a lot of poker and stuff. So, like, I try to be involved in communities that are more open and inviting. The, the card market just isn't that way. Unless your sucker coming and spending a bunch of money, then they all, tr like, try to treat you really nice. I misclicked that. I mean, the call. <sighs> but now we're in. Oh, the upper day. Yeah, I didn't rip at that time. I'm off and on. So my daughter was born in 2006. I met Casey in like 2004. And before that, I played a lot of poker. And I have a lot of different hobbies. And like sometimes I get bored. So I'll be like really into a hobby for a while. And then I kind of get out of it. And then I'll get back into it again. Like I used to have a killer collection of sealed Star Wars figures. I still got one layer. I showed it before, I think. So there's no point in showing it. It's great at AFA and everything. I got actually a bunch of sealed Star Wars figures somewhere. I just don't know where. But I had a killer collection all carded, really nice stuff. But I sold everything. What's up, Simon? Ooh, we have some outs. Uh, we can hit a five and have the dummy end of the straight. Off the back door flush. Am I going to open up another store? Uh, probably not because the political situation and how everything is. It's just too bad. I'd rather just sell online and have my freedom and travel and and buy storage units. Maybe I will. I don't know. I was going to open up this amazing card shop, but then I didn't. <laughs> uh. Who knows? We have a 5% giveaway on Twitter too, so. All right, we have to fold here. Man, it's good. We'll put this like a roll, uh, roller coaster. He was back to 400,000. Now he's back down to 116. He won with a pair of eights. Three, five. And remember, if you guys just joined, the stream isn't a five minute delay, so it takes a while for me to answer your questions. doing good when it looks like you're in the vault uh, not in the vault yet i mean a like million chips is good but i, I want to have two or three million to advance <coughs> the blinds seem too low for this long to play not really so like if <coughs> <coughs> if you play the world series the main event you only play five levels on the first day two hours each <coughs> and the blinds stay really low so that's why the venom is such a good tournament if you want to play really tight or play poker you can play right when you start playing turbos and stuff like this, you have to take a lot more chances, play even a lot more aggressive. You have less, less play in it. 9-3 is not much we can do here. Can you say yet? Yet? 
Yeah, so you want good structure, you know, which is better poker. That's why the Venom, to me, the Venom is the best online poker tournament. And trust me, I play different ones too, so. But nothing really compares to the Venom. How sick would it be if I play Venom at the same time and play an online a private app game I play too? <coughs> that would be pretty sick, right? But I could do it. I make sick money moves. Actually, you know, this layout looks really good right now, which is, I just noticed how it's like with the tournament setting all around. It looks good. What's up, Robin? How are you? Yeah, no, Venom is a great tournament. Like I said, last year we played it four times and we cashed three times. This year so far, I think this is our third time. We cashed once and we busted one. A tops complete series card is less rare than the counterparts. What do you mean complete series? So if a complete set, it's always good, but most cards these days is just the key cards. Oh, I miss click all the time. Just trust me. Honestly, I'm a little bit tired right now. It's been a, it's been a really long week. I've been filming a lot of storage wars, the last ten days. For some reason, honestly, I just realized it's only Thursday. I've been filming stuff for our channel. We edited something. I've been doing ACR stuff. I'm working on a new contract. I was looking to buy another warehouse. I mean, I have a lot, a lot of stuff going on. It's um, It just kind of hit me a little bit. And then I think I was really high energy earlier talking with the tickets and stuff. And then excited about the million dollar locker. <sighs> I don't know. Should have put up messages. A lot of people are going to call BS, right? But... It's funny. Instead of opening up your mind and your learning, you know. 1983 Shredder. Oh, yeah, card. So Shriker collects a lot of stuff, too. He has some really interesting books. I didn't know you collect Star Wars, too. I know he does trading cards. Shriker sounds like me. He just collects everything. The fun part about collecting everything, you can always find cool deals and nice things than, um, you know, the people that specialize in something or only buy the best. Like, to me, buying this Franz Beckenbauer... It's totally cool. I like it. I think it's awesome. You know? I showed some of the comic cards the other day, right? I put everything in a case. Damn, yeah. That's why I want to buy when it goes down. I'm buying Cyan and Jar will be crazy if Cyan comes back and plays half as good as Jar. I think Jar's... I mean, I think Cyan is going to come. Yeah, I don't know what his username was. Okay, let's play that new European style. We're going to raise 9-10 in early position. I just joined your YouTube, Kirby. Kirby. And I love all of it. Keep it up. Thank you, Aiden. I appreciate it. I don't know what Kirby means, but thank you. So are you a big collector, trader, striker? I don't trade as much because I just don't have the time. I just buy. Buy or keep. One or two. Oh, this guy's a huge range. All right, we'll call him. Let's see. Let's see if we can bad beat him. We got a gut shot straight draw. We're playing poker now, folks. Let's see what he does. Let's just check it. Come on. I mean, if he's good, he should be betting like 275 here. Unless he has a set of check. Then you check. He's betting 80,000. Okay, we'll, we'll see one more. Okay, we got a 10. Now he checks. Okay, now we're going to take the lead here. Yep. 
if he calls, we're probably, I mean, not dead, but we drawing slim. He's all in. Shit, I was afraid of that. Damn, I should have just checked. All right. Played the wrong hand. God, that guy's so fishy. I should have checked because, like I said, he has a huge range. He plays very aggressive. And that's how, like, weaker players play, you know. They, they check when they're really strong. And they bet usually when they're weak. Damn, I should have checked because I actually had a lot of outs to crack anything he has. But because he goes all in, I can't do it. I played that really bad. Guys, if you want to see some bad poker, go back to play that hand. Because I know what his players say to this, you know. <coughs> I'm assuming that he had jack 10, pocket jacks, or pocket 10s. Because that's the play that makes sense. But he has a huge range. I mean, that guy will do the same thing with aces at that point there. <coughs> so I should have just checked and see if we can hit another 10. And I hope he doesn't have a full house or get the straight. So there's two different venoms. There is uh, there is um, regular venom, which we're playing now, where it all goes in a price pool. And there's also venom PKO, where every time you bust somebody, you get paid. Those are fun, too, because people make a lot of loser decisions. Uh, good will punt and finally busted. Is the rebuy period over too? Let's see. It must be by now, right? Last level. 17 minutes and then there's no more rebuys. Oh, they added Saturday a day one E bonus. Nice. Maybe we should play Saturday. Saturday, Sunday is good days to play. But we'll just try to qualify, so. What's up, Swamp Picker? I play a lot of poker, John. It's part of my life. Ace, queen. Man, maybe 43 just raises so many hands. Uh, get some coffee, baby. We got a long run to day two today. <laughs> That's funny. That is true. I need coffee. Oh, who knows? Maybe I'm good here. 8-6. See? This, this guy just plays any two cards, pretty much. I guess I could have paid and put pressure on it, but... Uh, let me see. Let's Google this guy. Maybe 43. Pretty much when you play against, get a hand against this guy, 3-bet, 4-bet. 8-6, he rivet to 6, which was very nice and well-deserved. Good, we'll take that. 
shocks built. Let me see this guy. So he's pretty new on, um, yeah, he doesn't have that much profit. <laughs> plays big tournaments, though. He plays um, 2,500, 2,500, 2,500, 200, 100, 200. Not cashing in anything, though. Okay, let me t pick up this guy, tell it to my heart. Shark scope is pretty good. Tell it to my heart. Player not found or opted out. Okay. Who's this guy? JS Ali Batu. Opted out. Okay. Uh, let's see what messages you guys are sending. Oh, that's not how I play. I like it. Eek. Bet like you have it. Bet like you have it. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So we gave away money. You guys got to share in a, some big, big locker drama, which is kind of fun, right? And then also, um, you know, I talk about poker hands. So probably everything wrong, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. You know, it might be wrong, but at least you know how I think when I play my hands through. Ace, twos, and nines. What was that hand? I swipe right. $180,000 straight gets there. Okay. So, we'll raise here. Uh, next to the button. And we all fold. You know what? We'll take the money. We'll take the profit. No problem here. Back to 775. We really need to build a stack to like two or three million. I want to. I want to go into day two with a stack. And if you guys haven't done it, go sign up AmericasCardroom.com. Bonus code Renee. It can make you a millionaire. Ooh, Ape Styles, that's an ACR Pro. He must be rebuying again. Everybody checked. All right, we'll check. I don't like to turn card there. Yeah, they added a flight tomorrow. So they do that a lot of times where they just add a bonus flight. So if you want to have two more days to play, take it. Oh, do we have the best hand here with the eight? Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. I would think anybody with a flush draw would bet it. Should we bluff at this here? Bet 125000 you know what? We're not afraid to bet, so. We'll bet 131,000. We'll take a shot at it. And we take it with a bet. Told you, different Renee today. We're playing more aggressive. Bomb, bomb, back to 900,000. Let's get it. And we fold the Jack 3 off suit. Well, nice thing is there's definitely chip potential at this table.
Yeah, you're probably right, Darth. I probably should have three bet. I was out of position, and it's a guy that has a huge range of hands. That's why I didn't. But you're right. I probably uh. <coughs> Um, I, I probably should have done it, but I didn't. It's always easier to play it in hindsight. But you're right, I should have 3-bet. I mean, I should have uh, C-bet. But it's okay. <coughs> <coughs> I also like mixing it up. So, I don't always C-bet. I don't always bluff. I just do different things. What's up, Aiden? Hi! That's a high with a lot of ease. I can't say it right now. My throat like really hurts my lungs. We limped under the gun with 7-8. That's a hand they really shouldn't put us on. So sometimes I like making plays like that and see where it goes, you know. You know, uh, my, what's it, maybe 43. He's raising. Last time he did it with 8-6 eight, eight, suited. So we're just going to play hands, hands up. He bets thirty thousand. So we're gonna go one hundred fifty-three thousand. If he has to ace, he calls. If he doesn't have to ace, he should fold. He called. I don't know. This guy's probably calling with like a four or five in his hand. Conquer's too emotional. Oh, that's a bad river card. Okay, check. See what he called with. Ace 10. He did have to ace. Okay. We tried. Didn't work. Oh, don't move me to another table. What are you doing? ACR, what are you doing? Goshy dang she. They just moved me to another table. What are you doing, America's card room? I, I had my 43 on my table. I just showed a check raise bluff with 8 high. Don't move me. Oh, I hate that in poker. And the one... Oh, no, I got maybe 43s with me, too. Oh, he's right to my left. That's fine. <sighs> Who else went with me? Just him. That's like two or three guys on my table. But you know what? At least I got maybe 43. Whew. Conquest too emotional. I forgot which emotional... I know it's a video. I think we, we did a video emotional. I don't remember. I totally get Alzheimer right now. What a stupid ACR name. Gang Bang Bob. Alright, we have a straight flush draw. This is a really, really loose call. And we miss it. And this guy's been playing pretty tight. We, if he bets anything, he bets $5, we have to... Uh, Uh, okay, so we bluffed some away, and now we made a really loose chase. We fold. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Aggressive poker. Yeah, he makes bad bats with hands, without hands. He's never going to lay down top pair. I mean, guaranteed, if I go all in the turn, he's calling ace 10. He's not going anywhere. I still hate the table move because I was running pretty good in the other table. But we're not superstitious, right? Cards are cards. How can we get a ticket? We gave it away earlier. Best thing is to be subscribed to our Twitter. Subscribe to America's Card Room Twitter. America's Card Room had like 10 different people, I think, giving away tickets. So, um.
This should be an interesting hand, too. Fold. Could have flopped the flush draw, right? Fold. Yeah, would have flopped the flush draw. Yeah, I think we're going to start streaming on Twitch exclusively because I need to play good music and stuff and I just, just can't do it on YouTube. I haven't played royalty-free stuff and I get, like, monetization strikes and stuff like this. I don't understand your question, Aiden. I mean, if you have a complete set of a good top tier, obviously it's good, but usually the most money is in one or two cards. Maybe 43 with the game with the four bet. What did he have last time? Ace 10. Time before that, ace 6. So this guy right here, J JS Alibaba, he's a good guy. He plays pretty solid so far. The stuff he's shown has been pretty good usually. The problem is he's a good play, and he's also realizing now that his maybe 43 guy is full of crap most of the time. You are nice. Thank you. Do suited fold. Fluffy gamer in the house. What's up? How you doing? I'm doing good, Ramona. Thank you. Appreciate it. Fluffy gamer in the house. Check out his YouTube channel. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's a man that went from working a 9 to 5 for like 260 years. And now he's a professional flipper. All he does is buys and sells and builds his bank account. Fluffy Gamer in the house. We're doing okay, Fluffy. Up and down. We had it almost. We had it to a million twice. Now it's six hundred thousand. <laughs> Why 
we had trip eights in this one against maybe 43, which likes betting every hand. Gangbang Bob. Oh, you saw me in Hustler? What's up, Joey? That was a good day. They were all trying to make fun of me because I only bought in with 10,000. But I NSC maybe had nothing at King High and he bet into the Aces. Ah. Uh, break again. Why am I playing passive? Oh, you mean at the Hustler? Because people were sitting with $150,000. So you have to adjust to your game, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, I bought in with 10000 And what did I cash out? Like 26000 Just under 26000 I played to win, you know? You know, my buddy Ryan, he bought in with 150000 He was down 50000 So I'd rather play my style. And he, Ryan is a super good player. He wins a lot. You know, Lewis was way down. He was down like 75000 I think he bought it with 100000 So there was a couple other guys that were way down. That's okay. I don't mind having ape styles at the table. <coughs> You're aggressive on the bidding war, storage wars, yes. But hey, you know, it's all situational, isn't it? You speed up the song so you won't get a copyright strike. I don't know if you can do that. What's up, Rugrats? I've never heard that before. How many big plans do I have? A lot. 67. But I play to win, so. Please don't leave YouTube with the stream. Why you wouldn't watch on Twitch, Mr. Sadie? Rugrats in the house. Can you have mod? I don't even know who you are, Brianna. No offense. I don't give out mods that easy. We used to do that, but no. 51 days sober. Fluffy. That's awesome. 
But you're doing it for weight and health, right? Not for like drinking problem. Let's clarify here. And the streaking, you do sober or drunk. It doesn't really, it's not like you were streaking because you were drunk. You were streaking because you're just a nutcase, right? Seven four offsuit we have to fold. five we check don't know if any of the spider-man chapter one comics are worth anything you mean if you mean spider-man's like i mean the first one was amazing fantasy 15 which is worth a lot and if you have the original spider-man run all that stuff is worth money I mean, the original, I think, Amazing Fantasy 15 was in the 60s, and then Spider-Man 1 is, I think, 66. What's up, Suma? Ball so hard, you. Loose call, loose call. Loose check, loose check. <coughs> Just check it so we can all see a turn card. Let me hit a jack and nobody else have one. I'll be happy. Do another collab with face rock, please. We will, don't you worry. Playing poker on America's card room. Seeing flops, but not hitting right now. Running really well early, but then it went downhill. So we're going to fold the 6-3 off suit. Give me a copy strike, strike for that. Fold. We're going to play a lot more, don't you worry. Well, we got a flop bottom pair with a six kicker. We could go crazy here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Man, that's what sucks sometimes in tournaments. It's happened to me at the main event too. You like you have a table really figured out, and then they'll be like, "Oh, let me get your next big blind." I'm like, "No." <coughs> and then they pick up people, but then they bring a bunch of people into the game. I'm like, "Why are you? Why are you doing that?" You should open a bar, Gem War, Gem War store out east. Have I ever won one of these? I've cashed three out of four times, the last year, which two of them were seventeen thousand each. You don't have Twitch, Twitter, or Facebook, but you can get it. But I've never won it for the million dollars. Ace Jack. Who's this? No more Jimmy. Lithuania. Okay, I'll just call. I'm so sorry I've been bothering you with all these questions. You don't bother me. I'm here to answer questions. If you if I don't answer a question. It's because I just didn't see it. But if you if you if, if I ask a, if you ask a question and I miss it, go ahead, ask again, no biggie. Queen or nine gives us a straight, ace gives us top pair, and he checked to us twice, so we're gonna throw a bet out there. He's not an insta fold, so maybe he's. Oh, now he's a fold. All right, we'll take it. Slowly building the battleship. <laughs> oh, same hand again. Back to back. This time we raise it to 19,000. But yeah, just ask if I miss it. Like, I got a lot of questions coming in, so if I miss it, just ask again. It's okay. You can ask questions about cards and comics. It's fine. I'll try to answer them as good as I can. Maybe. F oh, you know, I forgot. Maybe 43 is to my left. I shouldn't raise any hands. Just let him take control. And then just three bet him once he raises. Because what he's calling for 20, you probably would have raised if I just limp. Ace check would check. Check. You know, maybe he usually makes a bet. He bets 35,000. We'll call queen. Now we have an open minded straight. We'll bet 135,000. He folds, both fold. We'll take it down again. Easy peasy, right? You left my thong? Thank you, Aiden. I appreciate it. I was just freestyling that. Growing up on the mean streets of Germany and Las Vegas. It just flows naturally. <laughs> oh, guys, you don't even know how tired I am right now. I'm actually being more quiet because I get too silly when I'm tired. What do we got? Up to 7.30 again? Okay, we're making a little play. We're making money moves, right? It's not what all the young kids say. Hey, Renee, are you making money moves? Sometimes. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we make them and they just don't work out so well. Oh. 
Oops, hold on a second. I'm coming, I'm coming. King five suited in the big blind. Hey, George, you love the videos? What's up? What's up, buddy? It isn't Hammer George, is it? What's your favorite? What is what is your show on? Oh, it's on a &E. In America, it's on a &E. And then uh, <coughs> most other places in the country. You can buy it on Prime Video, yeah? Storage Wars. On Amazon, I think you can buy all 14 seasons. What is taking so long? Where's the action? Well, all this and we're just a display. And it's that guy. He raises, but it's half of my bet. Uh, the guy plays pretty solid cards, but let's see. It's also never fun when people think they can just get your blind, you know? Oh, you make it 200. That's such a stupid mo all in. Okay, I guess. Tournament poker, right? Tournament poker. Ooh, that would have been a great flop for our hand. King five with the spades, and we win. Whew. Guess we missed a call here. Queen 10 offsuit, playable. What did he go on in there? Like A7? A7 suited. Dominated by the Ace Queen suited. It's always pretty awesome when somebody bets 19,000 and then you decide to full bet all in and then you're only going to get. Uh, you're only going to get called if you beat, which that was obviously the case. And then you got lucky, hit the three out of. We're going to do a lot more videos with face rack, don't you worry. Face rug. The man, the myth, the legend. I don't know, for some reason, they're playing really slow now. What's going on with, like, why are you guys playing so slow? There's, like, no money, nothing. So today, we had 656 entrants, and we are down to 261. And we are 104 out of 261. Which is okay. We should have been a lot better, to be honest, but it's okay. A few years ago, there was a group of players in tournaments. They had figured out computer bonds so they could see the whole color of each other players. Every one of the games are rigged. So... It wasn't like that. This what you're talking about. There was something an ultimate bet. There was a cheating scandal, and uh, there was a couple of cheating scandals. But no, I mean I feel pretty safe in America's card room. Can two people always try to do something? Yeah, but this tournament gets like four thousand players. So all the buy-ins you have to do and to get the chance to be in the same table. 
But even, you know, if I have two or three players and know their cards, I mean, it changes a little bit, but the edge is not that huge, so. You know, then you gotta make sure these players make it into the late tables. So, I mean, can there be something? Always there can be something, you know, but, you know, also um, ACR, they look for suspicious activity for bots and all these things, you know, for weird stuff. Triggers. I think there was a huge scandal on GG where a bunch of people were like multi table and chip dumping and stuff like this. So, but I mean, they have soft on place too. If you have, you know, seven dudes, nothing, and they just dump your chips off. So, like, it triggers alerts and then they look into those hands. I don't know how it is on ACR with that. I don't know the exact security procedure, but it's pretty much the same on most poker sites. If you don't mind, could you show some of your rare comics like that? So, Aiden, like, I cannot pull it out right now. But uh, if you go to our YouTube channel and just type in Storage Wars Comics, you'll see all kinds of rare comics, including all those early Star uh, Spider-Man issues you were inquiring about. Kit Flash. What's up, Kit Flash? <coughs> I'm pretty good. How are you? Five minute delay. What's up, Clark Kent? <clears throat> oh, man, these lights are just cooking me. And I got the air conditioning going. Yeah, that JSA is pretty much re-raising every time maybe 43 bets now. He figured out the same thing that I do, that a lot of his range is very wide. And JSA has been playing pretty solid, but... He has a nice position on this guy. <sighs> Five? What are we playing? Like seven hours of poker? Then I got up early because I had to bid on something. Family guy. Why a five minute delay? What do you mean it's crazy? It, it, it's not crazy. The five minute delay is because hands can take up to five minutes. <coughs> so. <coughs> we used to do no delay, but I think a lot of people get bored because you don't see the cards I play, how I play them, you know. You know, every now and then I tell you, oh, I got aces or I had this. So now you get to see a lot more how we play, which... That's what the stream is about. I still can answer your questions. I can do all this. It's just a five-minute chat delay. And you know what? People become into the stream. Like, I was playing with the one guy where I said he's a light fish. And, you know, he was watching the stream. Or somebody told him. So they, they're redoing it. So people watch to see what you do. So I at least try to get that five-minute delay. If you get in a really long hand where people take their time every time, there's two or three people... Like, actually, my card could come be, could come exposed even with five minutes. So, I know people that play, like, on a six, seven-minute delay. And, you know, we are playing for a million dollars here. So, that's, you know, that's the same buy-in we're giving away. It's not like we're playing for chump change.
Not send somebody a poop emoji. Poop. <laughs> That's a new thing ACR did. We can't really chat, but we can send emoji, you know? Let's send him some toilet paper here. We, we were rude. There you go. Sorry, buddy. Oh, what happened? Forgot I'm doing this too. Oops, 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 oops. <sighs> multitasking, multitasking. Queen 10 under the gun. Let's see a flop. We playing aggressive today. Last time when I played, I played like super tight. But now we're trying to open up our range a little bit. Gang bang pop. He raises a lot too. The ace gets stir. We don't like it. He bets 19,000. We call check he checks and he falls and we win it with a bet <laughs> easy right if you're in California, how can you play for money online? Easy. You can play America's card from anywhere in the country. It's not illegal. This part that's illegal is money transfer, but we use Bitcoin. So. There's a couple sites you can play, So, but America's card room is one of them, and it's the best one in my opinion. King Deuce, we fold. Check here. I'm playing an online cash game, too, on a different app. I'm playing a private game. And I'm doing that, so I'll play a lot of hands trying to not get bored. And then still halfway play decent, right? Cool. The guy just tried to bluff me. I pocket queens. He flopped a 10. $1,500 pot. This is real cash. Waves. There only been documented cases I'm aware of where it could be actually determined what cards could be. Yeah, so that was in the earlier days when some of this stuff came. I mean, there's, a, there's one thing you can get for stud where it eliminates cards that have been exposed and it helps you with statistics, but... <coughs> there's so much more to poker than just known certain cards. You know, there's play styles, betting styles, hands, you know, I mean. I mean, I play a lot of online poker. I feel it's pretty safe. Will people try to get an edge? Of course, they always do. That's just kind of what they do. But um, am I super worried about it? No. And also, all the poker sites out there, and I'm not just speaking for ACR, but all the poker sites... It's in their best interest to keep on working to make the game as legit and as everything good as possible because that's how they make their money. It's not in their benefit to cheat. There's no reason for them to cheat. Trust me, all these poker sites, like all casinos, they're multi-million, multi-billion dollar operations. And part of the reason that is is because, um, you know, they make money in gambling. So they risk something. Every tournament buy and every hand that's dealt, they make a percentage. They make money, you know. That's why all these companies are huge. Party Poker, Poker Stars. I think Party Poker is traded on the England stock, uh, stock Exchange. It used to be at one time. So it's it's in their best interest to provide the best possible game. You know, it's like, you know, if you go to fancy casinos or fancy hotels, it's in their best interest to give you the best experience. The best experience, right? And this is the same thing. It's in their best interest. It's in their best interest to give you the best game and the best experience because then you're going to come back and play all the time, right? 
it's no different than having a restaurant and serving a crappy ass sandwich. You're never gonna come back and eat again, right? Oh, man, I just mocked a hand. Okay, so we got a raise, a re-raise. We got a pocket pair. How much more does it cost me? Forty-five thousand. Forty-seven thousand five hundred. We call, I guess. Um, I don't know about Planet Poker. I don't know that one. I know that was something a long time ago. Two thirty. Okay, our six is going in the muck now. Uh, a long time ago, there was an ultimate bet scandal, where they supposedly saw cards. Um, what else? I don't know. I don't remember. It, it's not that much. It's like anything in life. I mean, there's always a risk, you know. There's no... There's, there's always a minor risk. But, like, you know, the poker community is pretty short. It's pretty... That's not, I don't mean short, but it's really tight. And, you know, there was a bunch of scandals about different stuff going on. Um, You know, a super famous play at the World Series this year was pocketing chips. And because he was famous, they gave him a round penalty. You know, so it's that's like all kinds of stuff. It's just it's just life. Do you, do you have brown? If so, then can I add you? I don't know what brown is. I want to say it was brown or poker. What is? Do you have brown? And if so, can I? What is brown? I mean, if unless that's a typo, I don't know what brown is. Never heard of brown. Yep, we're down to 251. Thank you, Win Julian. Do storage lockers smell like furniture or peace? Sometimes they do, but I try not to buy those. But yeah, sometimes they definitely do. Not really pee as much, but they smell sometimes like old furniture or mold or um, cat pee can happen before. But we usually try to buy good lockers. It's funny because if you watch the stream in the beginning, we talk about a locker that a guy just bought. It was the second half of the face rack locker. It's the one that we didn't get. And it's probably like a million-dollar locker. And he bought it for 50 bucks because it looked really bad, but all the good stuff was in the back. So it goes back to the saying, you know, and I don't buy lockers like that usually. But that was one of them things where somebody just had a really locker and it just looked really bad. And I'm trying to film it with the guy next week. He said we could film it, so hopefully that all goes through. And we'll do an interview. We'll talk to them about it. We'll promote their eBay and all their stores. So they're going to get a lot of cool promotion out of it. And um, we'll show it. What I meant was, do you have VR? And if so, can I add you? Uh, I don't have VR. I mean, I we have it. But I really don't use it, to be honest. But we do have whatever. What is it? Oculus or the one that Facebook owns? We have it, but I don't even know my username. I'm on all the social media sites. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, our Bargain Hunters, YouTube, obviously, Facebook. So we're all over the place. <coughs> you know, so I'm multitasking. I'm talking to you guys. I'm doing different things. I think I'm playing pretty solid poker. I like it. We're 93 out of 250 right now. Anybody know how how many levels we go here, how late this goes? I think it's usually to like 10 o'clock at night, right? Which would mean we would have another four and a half hours of poker. Yeah, he's wrong, Van Julian. It's the transfer from uh, certain banking institutions. But it's okay. I mean, you know, do do what works for you. I tell everybody in life because, and I'm not saying this particularly against you or anything like right now. So don't don't take it the wrong way. But everybody always has a different opinion. Uh. Everyone has a different opinion on what works for them. So I tell them with everything in life, do what works for you, you know. If, if, if that works for you and it makes you happy, then go with that. That's the best policy.
you know, do what works for you. We got a lot. I mean, now this table has a lot of action, a lot of betting, a lot of poker, which is a good thing, right? Ace five of diamonds in the big blind. Okay, let's just see a flop because this guy's a huge range. Probably just win this with a bet here. This guy's been folding pretty much every time we bet. <coughs> Cause of this one. If flush gets there, so now we'll bet 35,000. Increase the pot. The ace gets there. So I feel like he flopped up pair, maybe. We'll put another 60,000. I think he flopped a pair. That got scared with the flush or the queen. So technically, unless he has something like a3, s7, ace8. But that's highly unlikely because um, he's been raising weak aces. So heads up, he didn't make a race. So I think if he had a hand like ace seven or ace eight, he would have raced. I think he flopped an eight or a seven. Oh, he raised this. Okay. Well, maybe he does it, but we're going to see. Maybe he hit the flush. Two ten of hearts. So he just spades. He did hit the flush. All right. Should have raised a pre-flop, but that guy's calling anyway. Mr. Hand here. All right, back to six hundred thousand again. But one thing I promise you, get today we're playing poker, so we're definitely playing poker. Where is it on? We river two pair. He folds. How funny. He's one of them players. Checks when he's weak. Bets when he's strong. I mean, other way around. Bets when he's weak. Checks when he's strong. Yeah, cat pee's pretty nasty. He's so kind. You say, happy birthday, Leo. What's up, Leo? Happy, happy birthday from your America's Card Room family and your Bargain Hunter Thrift family. He makes it twenty thousand. We're gonna go eighty-five thousand. Even though that's a really small race, but we'll just take it down here. Well, he has a business degree, but runs Pro Tools at Safeway. Hmm. But again, that goes back to you know, do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. Best policy in life. I couldn't get no action with the ace king, huh? But I cannot just smooth call that and he flops something stupid like the guy with the 10 deuce. I'm a Leo. I think Leo was his name. LV Leo wrote it. You're so cool on Instagram. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, we try to make our videos fun, right? End of level 28, it's over? Okay. So let's see. What level are we on right now? Level 20. And what are these? 15 minute levels? 20 minute levels? 30 minute levels? 20 minute levels and 18 levels of late registration. So after this, we have eight more. Which, um, next blind, so that can't be, it's 26 minutes. So it must be half an hour levels. So we have another four hours of poker, roughly, yeah, plus the breaks. 
Your name is Leo and you're a Leo? That's funny. I already answered the VR question. I, I have VR, but I'm not really on it. It's in my daughter's room. I like I think I play it every now and then. Okay, we got 700,000. I really would like to push this chest stack to like 1 1 1 2 and become a little bit more dangerous. Ends at 28. Go with this hand. <laughs> it don't work that way. We've been playing poker for now. So this is six. So we've been playing for eight hours. I'm not just pushing in with any hand, guys. Not doing it. Not gonna do it. Just not gonna do it. We're in level 20 now, ends in level 28. And what is it? Is it half an hour levels? Means four more hours of poker. <sighs> the Venom is played just like the World Series. It is a long grind, like a long, long tournament. But it's a good thing. I mean, you want the structure. 9-7 offsuit, we fold. You, you, you want the structure. This is what you're looking for. <coughs> so it's a total of 11 hours of gameplay. Plus breaks. We would have got a gut shot straight draw with a pair of nines here. <sighs> yeah, come on. Am I just getting bad hands or am I getting tired? Check this out. Back scratcher. I have another one I did this a couple times with. It's like a combat knife. And it's really, really sharp. Like, I cut up my whole back, and I got a white shirt on, and I was going to bed in case. He's like, you're bleeding all over your back. I'm like, what? I don't know if that's a good story or not, but it's a true story. Oh, we lost. Where? What happened to my 22? He didn't go bust, did he? Is he lost? No, that was my customer. Thank you, Quake. I appreciate it. Glad you enjoyed the channel. Thank you. I'm kind of bummed because I did miss out, a, out on a million dollar lockers. But I'm happy for the guy. He seems like a really good guy. But he always bummed, you know. But we get to see it, hopefully, so that's cool. Eight, nine. Eight, nine offsuit in the big blind. Ball so hard, you makes a race. Bob re-raises. The Bob guy, I don't put that much stuff on him, but... We'll see. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
<laughs> Man, those people that stream like 20 hours a day, I mean, it must be hard to be high energy. Four five off suit, but also hard raises again. Seems like the guy's raising a lot. Button King Nine suited. So King Nine is my superstitious hand, guys. Bob probably raises because it's either him or Bob is so hard raises. We just smooth color. We don't want to three bet that. We probably could, but I don't know. We'll see. What's up, Tyler Giles? This guy makes it 110,000. This guy loves three betting. Wish I can get some hands with him. When he's still alive, I'm going to start limping. Fold. Hunter Davis. What's happening, Hunter Davis? How are you? Yeah, it's like till 10 p.m. I know I'm tired today. It's been like a crazy week. But the good thing is, since I didn't buy that um, $17,000 locker, I don't have to worry about cleaning it up tomorrow. It's just real money. It's a tournament. It's $2,600 buying. If you win the tournament, it's over a million dollars. The freaking WSOP and other big buying events can't be super long haul. Yes, they can. No, it's like, I mean, I, I mean, almost any WSOP events, it's usually like 12-hour days. You get exhausted. You know, by the time you want to get up early, try to get breakfast, and then try to get some food in the middle of it, you know? Yeah, I mean... Bad beats always suck. I mean, you've guys seen it on stream before where we played good late and then kings or aces cracked by some BS, you know? It's just like, it's just part of poker. It happens. Get some tea or coffee. I can't right now because I'm um playing. So when Casey and Tatiana get home, I'll have them make me some coffee or something. Let's see. Let me call them real quick. See what do other people qualify with day two? Main events. So how many people? Please leave your message for two hundred Well, chip leader eight million. Well, a lot of people qualified with less than a million, so 
I don't know, you really kind of need two or three million chips. That's the one bad thing about um, when you play like Thursday and stuff, because it's just less people. I'll just bet 10,000. Let's see. Come on. He should raise me because that's like a really weak bet. And if he raises, we go all in. He has half of the stack for what I have. We have a pair and a nut flushed. Oh, we don't have a flushed. I thought at a seven of clubs. Yeah, I am tired. I do need some tea or coffee. I just totally thought I had a seven. Oh, my God. A seven of clubs. All right. Well, we got the flush redraw. That was stupid. I, I could have sworn at eight a seven suited. Did you guys see that? Did the cards change on me? But okay, we made money. It worked. Back to eight sixty, or seven twenty. Who's in here? Ace Jack and Axel or Alex. <clears throat> You're not playing those cards, come on. <coughs> Maybe he is, I don't know. All triple X four five six. Okay. Where's this guy? United Kingdom. I love the European players, they're so aggressive. Sometimes the long hauls you get impatient. Yeah, so we're gonna start pushing some chips because we really if we go to day two today, we wanna go with two million in chips. I'm not looking to advance with like eight, nine hundred thousand. Cause again, like I said, I'm playing to win. <laughs> Why are they playing so slow right now? Are they just like trying to kill time or what is going on? Like the table we had earlier, did you guys notice they were just like bang, 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 playing fast? What's up, Deadshot 100? Now it's just like super slow, ball so hard, you. And gang, bang, Bob is just playing so slow. <laughs> King nine, that was a superstitious hand. <sighs> you know what? I should go to fifty. I really miss my forty three. He was overplaying so many hands. I'm a big fan. I saw your video with buying face rock locker. Thank you, Deadshot100. You should watch the beginning of this. We talk about, so remember we talked about in the face rack locker, that was a second locker, and somebody else bought it. All right, we take it down. Somebody else bought it, so that locker is probably going to be a million-dollar locker. We hope to film it next week and uh, get that guy some exposure. Plus, we get some really cool content for the channel. And the best part, he only paid 50 bucks for it, and it's probably a million dollars worth of stuff in there. It's totally crazy. Pocket pair, we have to see a flop, especially with a button raise. And I guess I could probably re-raise and just play it aggr aggressive. Oh, that's a bad flop.
fold. Good that we didn't go all in free flop, right? The grind, the grind to a million dollars. You just want to make something happen, but if it's not happening, it's not happening, you know? What are you going to do? L X bets again. Back to 700,000, fighting the good battle. Man, it's ALXS, okay. All right, let's go. Let's play poker. I check to you. I mean, he raises and bets every hand. If he bets, I just go all and screw him. If he has an overpair, then so be it. Here you go. There you go. If you have an overpair, nice hand. You trapped me. Well done. What now? What are we doing? What are we doing? This is what happens when you bet every hand. If you got tens or better, nice hand. You did nice. You got queen nine. Good job. You did the play with seven eight. Well done. Three four. You feel like gambling? Let's gamble. I mean, you have to make a decision here. You know, you can put another half a million chips in with Ace King. You are European. You should be aggressive. I hate when you have Ace Jack paired and can't hit nothing. Yeah, it's part of it. I mean, I'm ahead right now, so this guy's just making a decision to call to see if he sucks out or not, basically. As long as he's thinking, I know in my head. I mean, the way this guy plays, there's no way he has an overpair here. He might have pocket eights. What do you guys think? Before it comes out, say it in chat. I mean, there's a five-minute delay, but you can say it if you want to. I guess he's making me want to... I mean, he's. What does he want me to sweat? I don't, I don't really get it here, but okay. Oh, he does have tens. Woo! Oh, trip nines. Ha <laughs> ha! $1.4 million. Yes! Ooh, that was sick! Sick, I tell you! Oh, boy. The fish just got lucky. But you know what? This guy bets every hand. He raises every hand. Re-raises every hand. So that's the one drawback. When you play that aggressive, people can get to the point where they're like, okay, well, we're just going to call you then. Whoa, that was sick! Did you... Whoa! Oh, oh, misstepped. I misstepped and uh, I hit. That is sick. Sick puppy, guys. I'll be back. Uh, we're going to take a break. I have to use the restroom real quick. I have to run through a wall. Actually, I got a dedicated wall downstairs. We'll just keep on putting up a drywall and I'll run through it. But that was sick. We misstepped against the super loose guy, and he actually had me. Calls me, makes a great call. I'm surprised that it took that guy a long, long time to call because he's been really loose. And we trip up on the river. Sick, I tell you.
I don't know if Ghost of Emma's still here, but we got some clips going on today with some of our all-ins. I mean, we're not playing around. Oh, that Alex guy's hating me right now, right? Oh. Oh, I think right now in the stream you're talking about the Jack Nine. <coughs> Let me see. See where you guys at. Oh yeah. <coughs> it's about to go crazy in the chat. <coughs> 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 Everybody's trying to guess sevens and eights. That's what I was guessing too, sevens and eights. Hey, uh, can you guys bring me a coffee, a latte? Yeah, sure. We're going to Chico right now, so we want the Chinese Korean place. Would you like something? Yeah, bring me something. That's fine. All right. All right. Bye. <laughs> Sick. Hey, Ghost of Emma, you still here? If you're here, that's a clip right there, buddy. Let's go! <laughs> that was pretty crazy. I'm not even going to lie. That was crazy. Uh Yeah, I hated to push too, but you know what? You know what? I told you I'm playing aggressive today. We're not playing. We're not playing to um, just cash ride. We, we are playing aggressive. What's up, Uncle Mike? For those who don't know, Uncle Mike, he is storage auction pirates, help us, sidekick, friend. Tormentor, all that good thing. If you watch the videos, he's a little bit of everything, right? I can still hear the loser. Yeah, I I'm sure that guy is somewhere. Oh, let's see what. Oh, in England right now, he just broke like uh, two thousand dollars was in China. You know what? Hopefully, his wife takes care of him and brings him some tea and biscuits. Uh. It is so hot today. And I got all these lights that, like, you know, help with the green screen. Even though you can see it's so hot outside, the green screen right here was that. Uh, it's like burning through. So, uh, I'm just cooking. Where's my case? Oh, I don't have my case here. Uh, Three six offsuit. We're gonna go ahead and just fold. You know what would be really sick? Poke adjusted because it always goes. It always happens to me. I beat bad beat Alex now. He should get like a hand against me where he's just behind and he just gives me the rest of his chips. Gives me two point two million worth of chips and we we're filling a good position. Yeah, so 1.4, now we're looking good. That's our high for the day. 34 out of 227. Oh, he's really bad. He's not happy right now. That goes another thousand dollars was a China, English China. The hunter bet the gut shot straight run gets there. I'm going to do a throw of emoji. <laughs> All right, we have ace eight suited.
See, he never stops betting no matter what. Doesn't matter if it's ace high, a pair. I mean, I guess we could have called, but he bets so much. But with that being said, when he bets, we just, you know, we just let him do it. Here, we'll send him a rocket. Okay, you guys ready? Now he's really gonna be pissed. <laughs> I love this new thing ACR did with the streams. Of course he raises. We fold. That's that's what happens when you play that aggressive. People will make calls against you. Three six suited in a big blind. What else we got for this guy? Let's really put him on tilt. Oh, I never give somebody a bottle of champagne. Yeah, you know, that's be nice. We'll give him a bottle of champagne. Well, that's funny. D did you have something good for dinner, Aiden? Oh, yeah, Wiley, I would want to see his stream, too. Like, I got that guy from Starge. Wasn't he sucks? He went all in with top pair, and I called. Uh, oh, you mean go to sleep, like play really tight? Nah, because 1.3, 1.4 is a good stack. But uh, we're playing for, um, we're trying to build a 2, 3, 4 million dollar stack. That's what we're doing here. We're in the game to play. We're not just trying to min cash and just squeak in, you know? Should have just pushed that guy all in preflop. Most likely, I get the better hand here. Maybe not. I mean, he's gonna bet no matter what anyway. Oh, he's betting small. He must actually have a hand. Scary. Or maybe he knows that no matter what, I'm gonna check to him. This guy doesn't really make sense. Like players, like them, I don't really think they usually win. He's like so tilting right now. All right, next big hand we play against him, we'll just go on him. Okay, we calls because he's gonna raise. There you go. He's at fifty thousand. That's the first time he checked to me. But I checked right back so he can bluff the river. He bet 68,000. We'll make it 248. There you go. He calls. We have to flush. Bye bye. Back to 1.4. See, you can push all these chips all you want. But sometimes we have hands too. And then it gets expensive. What did you have to add? No, you had an ace. I'm just going to fold because I know with two twenty three thousand bets, I'm almost willing to bet Alex is going to make it 80,000. So we'll fold. I don't want to play Jack Nine for eighty thousand. Wow, he folded. That's like. Let's send him another rocket. Normally, I would play that Jack Nine and Eight position. <coughs> yes, like the last guy, you got your chips back from plus interest. Exactly. What's the best items to sell on eBay to make extra money? All kinds of items. Obviously, you want to. F the best way to make money on eBay: learn how to go to yard sales, especially if you start out as a young person, and just um. Yeah, I'm just talking trash to city. I'll take some D. Uh, I'll take some um tea and biscuits and see Buzz Gaming. I can see chat. It's just a five minute delay. Did Ghost of M ever answer? Was he still here? Did I might have missed it. I 
I was going to look at his previous hand. A6. So he flopped the ace with a six kicker. And then he called a big raise on the river, thinking that his one pair of aces is good with the six kicker. Didn't work out for him. Too bad he didn't try to bluff. That would have been nice. But yeah, that guy is tilting right now. I can see the chat, but I'm on a five minute delay because I have to protect my hands. What other animations we got here? We got poo, toilet paper, heart, uh, emojis, fire. We're hot. You know what? I think we need to change our avatar. We're going to go with the storage was avatar. Ooh, guys, they just said last five minutes of late registration for PKO, $30,000 PKO. Those are fun games. It's a $100 buy-in. Just looking at the Franz Beckenbauer PSA 9. Cool card. Printed in England. Very nice card. <laughs> King Do's offsuit, easy fold. King's pizza, never heard of that, but sounds good. I could go for some pizza. Kind of hungry. I did eat a tuna sandwich though, so I shouldn't be that hungry. Da da da. Um, let's see, Casey sent me a message. Let me call her back. Did Ghost of M really leave us? I'm, uh, are you asking me? Yeah. What do you mean, what am I ordering? You're on live stream, by the way. Yeah, I'm up and down. I'm playing a lot more aggressive today. You know, I got unlucky in a couple of hands, got lucky in another one. I got it. Oh, okay. All right, I'll text you right now. Well, you know, I'm just a fish getting lucky. I don't, um,. I don't see a menu. Um, I yeah, no, I get it, but it takes me to a website, but it doesn't show me a menu. Oh, I can order for table nine you send me, so let me see. This guy, no matter what, he just doesn't stop bidding. It's awesome. I love this guy. Um. Oh, chill. That I want chill. Hold on. Are you guys taking it to go or are you guys going to eat there? We're going to eat here, but then we'll come home. Okay, I want one order of those beef skewers. Yeah. Beef skewers. Uh -huh. 
And then, um, hold on a second. What should I get? I don't know if do, do I want, um, vegetarian menu, gluten free menu. I think I'm gonna have to, um, here, I'll just take this mashed salmon. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. All right. Love you. I think Ghost of M might have left. He clips a lot of my stuff for Twitch. We lost Ghost of M. But I think his job kind of switched to mainly be with the ACR pros now. That's okay. It's okay. We probably saved a lot of embarrassment, to be honest. Uh, you know what? I should, probably should race here, but Alex just races everything anyway, so. Six on the road would be nice. <coughs> wow, they all check around. Huh? Nobody has an ace. Nobody has a six. <coughs> nobody has a four. Nobody has a six, seven. You know what? I feel if I bet here, I'm only going to get called if I'm losing, so I'm just going to check. So, Jason, the big price we gave away earlier. <coughs> you missed out on that one. I'm sorry. We started at 10 this morning. Right now we are forty two out of hundred uh, two hundred fourteen. But we might have an average stack. Average stack is nine hundred thousand. We got one point three six. So, what's up, Shadow? We're playing online poker. So we're playing a tournament. The buy-in is two thousand six hundred fifty dollars. This is day one. If you make it to day two, you're almost in the money. Usually, min cash is around like three four thousand dollars in this tournament. And um, if you win it, it's a million dollars up first. It's a million dollars for first place. Very crazy, right? Also, he's still listening to chats, so maybe he's there. He's probably not, just not listening, or I know he's probably doing a whole bunch of different chats. Queen 10, let's play it. And our buddy Alex raises like always. Uh, we miss, so we have to check. He bets 70,000. He checks, what? All right, let's see if we fall for his trap. He might actually have a hand since he's checking. He folded. Wow, you know, he built back up to a million of chips, and now he realizes it's probably like, okay. Or maybe he watches my stream, and I just talk that he's just raising every hand. I mean, I'm never raising with that guy being to my left. Even if I have aces, I'm limping, I'm limping kings, I'm limping everything. That guy is like a 50% raise hand, so I can't raise anything now, which is great for me. I want that, you know. Uh, we're leaned back. I got my feet up on the trash compactor. Uh, we bet 23,000. Thanks, wow. Oh, yeah, Shrike is a great mod. That's why he always gets an automatic 1%.
this guy bets, I'm going to make a crazy re-raise. They all folded. Bam! You know, we're playing aggressive. Ace, jack, top, top. If you got an overpair, you got an overpair. Nothing this guy can do. Let's send him. And you know what? He only has half of my chips anyway, so. Like, he's not busting me. I'm just busting him. We send him a rocket. <laughs> Both of those guys bet, right? Gangbang. No, he called the bet, and then he was trying to check race. Yeah, we actually got a bunch, 144 blinds, very nice. Ooh, we would have fluffed two pair against Alex. He could check that to him and then raise it big. I wasn't paying attention, sorry. Pocket jacks. Oh, yeah, with that flop shoot, if I would have called him, I flopped two pair. He has pocket jacks. I check raise him strong on the flop. He loses all his chips to me. Damn. Renee should have like 2.7 million in chips right now. Uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I see a lot of people watching the stream, so that's cool. So obviously people like the stream a lot better with um what's the sixty thousand we fold. People like the stream a lot better when we show the cards. I think it's more fun. It's either that or more opposing players are watching. That could be too. But it's okay. A three offsuit we fold. <laughs> You know, these long streaming days, I feel like I wake up, I just sit in my office the whole day, I take a shower right before. I usually take a shower afterwards just to wake up, maybe go for a walk with Casey or something. So, like, I had one literally where I was going to stream one buying that day, because it was just a busy day. And I was setting up the stream, I get the first hand, I get kings and I bust. That was crazy. I just went on the stream to say, hey, guys, I just busted. See you later. I don't even think I started the stream. I think I just tweeted it out. But, you know, sometimes if you can't make day two and if you just get in one hand, then it's great because now you got a whole day of getting stuff done. Because whenever I do these streams, I always come with accept with expectation that I'm just going to win because I'm that crazy and um, that it's just going to work out. By the way, if you guys just came, Shrika puts it up. Make sure you guys join America's Card Room and use bonus code Renee. Because we do a lot of money giveaways and stuff like this, but you have to have an account. If you don't have an account, then you um, just can't win. And it's free money. America's Card Room. Who's Shrika 20? Shrika 20 is my moderator. He was just an unofficial moderator who started helping us out. And I guess you could say now he's like the official moderator. Eventually, we'll probably do a website with the Bargain Hunter Thrift family where we put all our stuff on there. So we'll put Shrika's picture up too. You worst nightmare, you best friend. Who just sent this guy a bomb? I missed it. <laughs> you know what? Let's just bomb this guy. Everybody's bombing. <laughs> I 
Austrian player. We've got a five. We'll bet half pot. See what Alex has. Alex calls always. Uh, Alex always has a hand. So that's bad. I can beat if he has a five. If he has an eight or three, that's not a good turn card. But he also might have like a 6-4. He just checks. I hope he doesn't have a 7-6. We both check. I win then. Oh, he has pocket sixes. I can't out of that. I can't beat either. Well, he just slowed down against me because I guess he figured out that my ranges against him change a little bit. Don't mess with Rene. Shrike is the Bombay. But I think it's a Bombag, isn't it? I never heard the Bombay. Oh, you're trying to say Shrike is the Bob A? Uh, Alex is great. If somebody else raises, he has an underpair call. The man who never falls, check. Fold. You know, we should make a note on that. He's not necessarily a fish. But he's the type of players I like to play against. Um, let's put him down here as note. We're going to put him in green. And we're just going to say uh, lots, lots of aggressive action. Okay, and then this guy right here. Aggressive. Tight. Okay. <coughs> so there we go. King Queen. I mean, you shouldn't have a seven here. The Facebook stream has given up. Uh oh, that's not good. Fold. All right, we can just we'll just do it on. Um, we'll just stay on YouTube. People can come over on YouTube.
I mean, he probably hit the ace. I shouldn't be bidding here. Betting, not bidding. I'm like, I'm talking on storage auction by about a killer unit. But, whatever. Huh? He doesn't have an ace. Or maybe he laid it down, you know? Maybe it's a weak ace. I have them in reserve. You need a lot of stingers, that's funny. Okay, Alex, three bets like always. How much is dead in the pot? 50, 60, 70, so he makes it 112. Pretty standard. Two to one, 80,000 more, 80,000 to win, 270, let's go. And a good flop, oh, Alex. Oh, Alex! I mean, if you have ace 10 or king 10 or pocket seven, so be it. I'm going to check the flop, too. Give him a chance to bet. Oh, that's a dangerous turn card. I don't think nobody has jack-8 here. Okay, he bets us 268,000. We're going to go all in. Put the pressure on him. He folded quick. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Almost 2 million in chips, folks. My guess is Rene would never retire because of money. He seems to love the game. Oh, yeah. Retiring is for old people. I don't do that. I'll buy storage and play poker as long as I can. Crazy is that I, I call with Queen Ten, but I full Queen Shot. <laughs> but I also was getting two to one for my money, and I was suited. We should just totally mess with him and just send him another rocket. This guy's probably gonna hate me, but you know what? Half a poker is mind games. We are 21 out of 200 with 2 million in chips. Oh, Facebook goes again. Awesome. Yeah, no, I like retiring. That's just really not my personality. I'm not a retire type of guy. I tell Casey I'll probably be buying and selling as long as I can. I mean, I have enough stuff to do it for the rest of my life. I like being active. I like, um, you know, I like even selling it. Like, I, the one thing I liked about the store, you know, we met with a lot of idiots too, but at the end. But we had a lot of really cool, good customers that just, you know, they came in. Fluffy Gamer, he wasn't here earlier. You know, it made me really happy when they come in, you know. And sometimes it was actually a negative for us because I would be so get joy of talking to people and friends coming over. It was almost like cheers of collecting, buying and selling, right? So, you know, even um, 
one of my big friends in AC, on ACR, he's a big collector of something, and you know we share a lot of history about stuff, and we talk. So that's like I really love that, and um, I do miss that in the store. I can see myself having a store. Uh, mm, mm. You know what? I'm just picking my nose up. I got one stream. But you know what? Let's just be honest. Oh, uh, Shrike, a two, one like. Thanks, everyone. We appreciate it. People do pick their nose. I'm talking to the guy right now that bought the, bought the million dollar locker. So I think not this weekend, but next weekend we, uh, um, we are going to have a million dollar locker. That's what it looks like. Uh, we're going to do a video, and he's like really cool about sharing it. So uh, what's this? I think this is Instagram. Oh, Ace, Ace of Hearts. You know what? Let's raise this. 81,000. Falls no more, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. You have a wide range of hands. What's up? I'm slow. How you doing? He calls. Man, he falls. Not a pot that should put us over two million, right? 2.5, 2,050,000. How we roll. You were worrying how to launch those rockets? Okay, so, I mean, he might be trapping us, but... Let's see. 
if he called with one pair. I guess he designed. Nice call, buddy. 1.85. Eight's okay. I don't think he was trapping us. He just decided to call. A6. We'll call. We had 1.85. We're at 2 million, but we're fine. You know, like I said, we're playing. So I'm looking at the $1 million locker. I mean, a lot of good comics. I mean, a lot of 1940 stuff, but bad. the condition is not. But still, I mean, this guy's selling him... Um, He's selling him raw. That's a mistake. You should get all these graded. But still, they're like, uh, I mean, fuck. Ooh, that just go. Whew, I almost cursed. When you love what you does not work, all its clean units. This, um, I mean, he scored. He has amazing comics. I'm just seeing his eBay right now. <coughs> yeah, just type face rug storage wars. You'll find them. <coughs> the two million dollar man I know but the two million dollar man is down back down to 1.8 oh Cam I didn't do the part 2 yet the part 2 should come out I'm hoping this Sunday I'm shooting for this Sunday I'm having some problems like my iPhone is not uploading my photos but we recorded a whole bunch in 4k so it's been a problem I'm not, I can't record in 4k anymore because the bandwidth is so slow $85. 
84,000. That's a big race. Gang bang bump. How did he get 1.1 million in chips? Uh, you'll see part two. So there was a second unit. Oh, wow. We flopped it straight. Check. He needs to bet here. What's he going to bet? 100,000. We're going to triple to 300,000. Calls. We bet 600,000. All in. Well, we got the nuts right now. So sounds like he has a set. It's a set of kings. And we win. Pow! Three million, man. Three million of chips. That's how we do it. Fire! Uh, so there was a second guy. There was a second guy that bought the second unit, the one that um, Face Rux didn't get. And I've been talking to him, and he thinks he has about a million dollars. I'm telling him I'm so excited to see his find. Because I am. You know, I don't know. He, I mean, he doesn't really know me. Randy shooting rose and playing poker on his phone. I'm not playing poker on my phone right now. I, I stopped. I'm actually talking to Fritz. Which is the guy who bought the million dollar locker. So next week we're gonna get together. We're gonna film it. They're gonna show me some of the stuff they got. Um, we're gonna make a video out there. I, it's gonna be the biggest storage locker find on YouTube. I'm pretty sure. Did I just fold King Knight? That's my lucky hand. Why would I fold that? Let me see what happened here. Oh, King Knight! I didn't even see the flop. That is a mistake. I must have time out. It's okay. You know what? We have $3 million. We're just going to steal the 57000 or you can call us. So, when we got a strong hand, I mean, people say that's the third best hand. It's arguable between that and Queens, but whatever. Nobody behind me can do enough. If Even if the highest guy beats me, oh, he calls. Wow. Let's see. Hopefully, we have a coin flip. I hope he calls me with ace queen or so. Tense coin flip. Classic coin flip. Two million dollar pot. Come on, ace or king. Nope, didn't work out. That's okay. We still got two million in chips. Like I said, we're not afraid to play. Damn, we win that hand. We have four million in chips. Woo! My heart, I can't take. I've got ace king again. My heart can't take this. My heart just can't take this. <sighs> okay, now we just call it Ace King. He bet seventy two thousand. He's a pretty conservative player, so we'll just see the flop. Ace King doesn't flop again. He just checks. He might have Ace Queen or something here. I mean he might have pocket tens too. He checks to me. I'm just going to check. He has ace 10. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's back to back ace king. That cost us 2.3 million in chips. Now I got ace king. I should fold it. Ace 8. I fold it here and it'll probably be good.
damn, we were at 3 million in chips, and it just went down fast. But that's poker, you know. And like I told you guys, I'm not afraid to play. We, we're here to play poker. We're not here just to sit in the $3 million and check and hope to make it to day two. And then um, be low stacked. The the big stack and uh, the big stack in poker has eight million in chips. That's the winner right now on Venom. Okay, this guy called me. I don't think he has a jack because he doesn't bet the flop. He checks the turn to me. Could have pocket tens because I keep on running into those. Let's see. We'll still bet it. He could have ace king and just call me. We'll bet half of his stack. We have the second best pair on the board with the best kicker. He might have an ace king like me. I had it the last few times. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, call me race queen. Good. Back to two million. Perfect. Funny. Can't win with ace king. Sorry guys, I'm 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 trying to make this video happen. So I'm talking to this guy. Plus he's a really nice guy. So um Oh you guys are watching my roller coaster. So he's a really nice guy. So I'm showing him a couple of things. Where's he at? Ace 10. Sorry, guys. I'm just doing three things at once right now. Why don't you guys take this opportunity while I do this? Take this opportunity to go to America's Card Room. Download the software. Bonus code Renee. Make an account. It's absolutely free. And then maybe next Venom, I'll give you a chance at winning a million dollars. What do you think about that? Look how bad I suck at poker. And I'm winning. Anybody can do it if I can do it. That's a good turn card for us. <coughs> yeah, 
think it's a good turn card. We'll see. We went. All right, back to 2.2, .2, working our way back up again. We on a break. Sorry, Shrike, a Facebook stream. Okay, well, they can come over. Three more hours, guys. Where are we guys? Where are you guys at? Sorry, I got a lot of stuff going on. But I'm gonna put a video together, and I'm gonna call my friends at ACR. They're gonna sponsor, so we're gonna work some of their gear. Where, where are we at here? We got two million. Okay, so you guys already seen the two million. Another one coming. We gonna call our friends at ACR. They're gonna sponsor the million dollar comic book video. They're gonna do it because they love me. So. You'll see me wearing the ACR sticker on one of the biggest storage auction unit videos ever. I'll be back when break. Oh, it's already three minutes? Okay. Guess I'll just stretch my legs really quick. <sighs> What's this Max Gaming and Shorts hate? What do you mean hate? Hate, hate. We don't hate. Um... Ooh, Tatiana just sent me a house. She's like, this is perfect. We can build a warehouse. How much is it? Uh, 2.2 million? I think I've seen it, but I don't know if I was in love with it. Uh, wait another six more. Hey, Ghost of M, you're back. Did you get some clippings? We had some big hands on the stream. So we had a hand where I made a mistake. It was a $1.4 million pot. And I beat the crap out of myself afterwards. Which is probably not the best clipping, but the, the pot was pretty good.
Oh, he had a straight. Oh, he had king nine. Fold. It's funny, he does the long acting where he has to think about a long time. And then that's like one of the worst things you got to be careful. Like when those tight up players, they, they, they act really long and then the straight comes. Damn, he called me with ace high. I love this guy. It has a day one on Saturday, and there's also a day one on Sunday. Oh, I can't believe that guy just called me with ace high. Oh, sorry, Ghost. Um, can you confirm in your message? Sorry, I'm so un I'm doing just so much different stuff. But are you saying you clipped a bunch of cool stuff? Yeah, we can put on ACR Twitch where I just beat the crap out of myself. It'll be so much, so good for my reputation. Uh, Jack seven off suit on the button. Ghost of Emma's back too. That's good. My head is very still. Oh.
Bloxy plays. I'm her. I'm a, your favorite YouTuber. Awesome. Thank you. Rona or allergies? So I don't have nothing. I'm over it. allergies. We're number 18 out of 167 right now. We have 2.2 million. <sighs> Made a loose call there trying to trap him. But unfortunately, that's his flop, not my flop. So we're going to fold. Even though he's betting really small. <clears throat> but I'm sure he also knows um, the worst, the hot wife. He also knows I check raise a lot, so he might just be setting betting low enough, hoping that that's check raise. Cool, we just flopped a straight flush. Wow. Straight flush, Ghost of M. Mark that one. Unfortunately, it's only 113,000 a pot, but okay, that's... I mean, we're not betting. Just please put up a diamond. Please put a, put up a deuce of diamond and let somebody have the ace of diamond. Not hunted. When I say somebody, I want the guy with a million in chips. Oh, just please put up a diamond. Deuce of diamonds, 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 deuce of diamonds. Let's do it. Okay, we got a $32,000 bet. Just call. Okay, he has to do this for the straight. Please. Just keep on betting. You, you're probably good here. I don't have nothing. I'm chasing. I got ace, queen with the ace of diamonds, maybe. Unless you have the ace of diamonds. I might just be making a loose call. Hunter. The hunter. United States of America. My dinner, too. I got dinner coming, too. He bet 62000 Okay, uh, now we're going to min race in case he has anything. You know, normally I never show my hands, but I'm going to show this hand. Just raise me half ace, king of diamonds. Come on. He's probably going to fold. But the problem is the position. Oh, he does call. Now I'm going to check. If he has anything, he bets, but I cannot really bet into him. I mean, if he did hit the ace, he I check raised minimum, so you got to be calling with something or a draw, right? I hope he's just sitting on the ace of diamond. He's not checking right away. That's good. He's thinking. Okay, he does bet. Nice. So he must have the ace of diamonds, and now we just go all in. He's going to show us the ace of diamonds. We got the straight flush. Oh, he flopped an ace I flush. What a nice million-dollar pot. Ghost of M, I hope you got this one. Oh, that's sick. We just flopped a straight flush. Ay, ay, ay. Woo. Oh, man. My heart can't take this. Too old for the stuff. How can says that we flop a straight flush? I tell you, that never happened to me before. I just flopped a straight flush, and the guy flopped an A-side flush. Unfortunately, he only had 400,000 in chips. 
but my stack is up to 2.6 million. Wow. My high point was 3 million, and we, we got all in with Alex over here, an aggressive player. And um, he had pocket tens. We got it all in pre-flop. I had ace, king, and his tens held up. But so my high pad is six. So what's over here? 14 dollars. Let's see a flop. Flop a king. We're hitting some cards this today. This is kind of wobbly, just saying. Your mom, why is your mom calling me? Oh, because she wants to know what kind of coffee you want. Um, I'll take a latte, please. Do you want it with an extra shot? No, not okay, an so extra what, shot. Uh, what kind of latte you want? A venti latte with... No room, no foam. No foam. No room, no foam. And, and do you you want non-fat milk or what? No, just regular. Regular's okay. regular's fine. No. Bye. Uh, an extra shot or no? No, because it's too late. I'll just take one. That, that's it. Okay, so I got King okay. 10 over here. This guy bets. I'm Bye. just trying to get Thank him all you, Mom. you know, I've been so busy with this guy, so... So this guy is super nice. We're we're filming next week, so he has a hundred thousand left. We'll just put it in. I mean, he might have me. Who knows? So here's a little bit left over my spicy cucumber. Okay. The uh, rice. The chicken. Food. I hate eating on stream. It's okay, guys. He's. Whoa. He needs to eat. It's dinner time. You know, I'm killing it on America's card room right now. Maybe this is why I'm killing it because I really don't care. Like Phil always says, you gotta play free flow. These beef skewers are the bomb. No, I know. That's why I wanted them. It's a lot so of food. They got to make fun of me. Everybody from San Diego, Kim. No, wait. What is it? Oh, he's thinking for a long time. C-H-I-K-O. It's Chinese Korean fusion food. It is so good. They make everything fresh right there. He's thinking for a long time. I mean, he might not have a king and here. And this is your smash scene. Can I put up an advantage? Oh, he laid it down. He didn't have a king. Two point eight million. High point was three. Okay, bye. Bye Good bye. Luck. Enjoy. Thank you for getting food. You're welcome. I know I tried to hurry home to feed you. It's okay, I'm good. Oh, I'm gonna feed you so you can win. All right. Guys, you wanna get into these percentages I'm gonna give away. I'm gonna give a lot away in day two, but we got to tweet today because I don't wanna jinx myself, but I think we're gonna make some money this Venom tournament. So funny. Like I said, I'm more excited about seeing that guy's locker. And I've been talking to him. He seems like a really nice guy. Uh, it's a tournament, but we pay 2650 to play if we win it. Um, If we win it, it's a million dollars. So, But I'm more excited about it. I've been talking to the guy on the phone who bought that locker. And he seems like a really, really nice guy, so I'm happy he got that. Like I said, I, <clears throat> I wish I would have got it. I'm not going to lie. Like, we always want to get it. But it sounds like it went to a really good family. They have a family business. I'll check out the Instagram. Father, son, working, so I'm sure mother also. So, it's good. But we get to see a really cool story, which I love it. It's going to be amazing. You guys seen some crazy as crazy videos on my channel right beautiful play thank you i'm a, talking about the straight flush you guys seen some amazing videos on my channel but there's gonna be a good one i'm excited and then he's actually building his instagram channel um Sorry, guys. So the guy's building his Instagram channel. So Team Bargain Hunters is going to get together. 
And when that video comes out, I want everybody to go to his Instagram, if you have it, and just give him a follow. <laughs> so. Oh, these are so good. And then I know I got beef and the cucumber, but then I got, um, the yeah, Ashriker. But, I mean, I'm happy that I got his, that guy had 400,000. I'm happy I got that because, I mean, when you get a hand that strong, it's like, what are you going to do? You have everything, right? I'm happy you flopped the flesh. I should play steak? What does that mean? Pie go. Please have ace 10, please. <laughs> So I think you guys are having a lot more fun, right? You're having a lot more fun seeing my cards. It's funny, these beef sticks are usually really good, but they taste a little gamey today to me. Maybe it's because they drove them home, they've been sitting, I don't know. Yeah, I wish he had more money too, but, I mean, he wasn't even thinking about the last one. But once he calls the check raise, he's done, he has to call. What's up, Dunkware? But so it's really cool. Um, my high point was like just I I don't know. Did we hit three million? Or was it was like two nine eight or something. But we're like right there at the high point. <laughs> and you know we decided this time we played a little bit different. And we just decided just to see a lot more flops and stuff. And play post flop poker. So, and the tables we've been on they let us do that. So. And we've been hitting some good cards, which always helps. But that was good. And now, so for the main course, I took something a little bit healthier. It's called Smashed Up Salmon. And basically what it is, it's a whole bunch of salmon and vegetables. And I have the rice right here I think you put in, but we'll see. But I've had this before. It's like really flavorful. It is actually pretty good. It's not too bad. So we have cucumbers with three beef sticks. And now the salmon. This is like all carrots, bees, mushrooms. So probably the worst thing for you was um, the beef sticks. So. I'll take it. I can't believe we flopped a straight flush. By the way, big shout out to my moderator, Shriker. Big shout out to my moderator, Ghost of M. Love you guys. This is a long day. We've been streaming for nine and a half hours. So, let's keep it up. How many levels do we get left? And did we ever did we ever find out? Is it half a half? Um, is it thirty minute blinds? Thirty minute blinds, no late registration. That's day two. And let's see where we at here. Right now we are playing level twenty three. Seventeen more minutes. So we have two hours plus the breaks plus the 17 minutes, which puts us at, so it's 7.30, let's say 8, 10 o'clock, but 10.30 we'll be done, Pacific time.
you know, even though we're playing creative, we're not calling two three. Yeah, that's gonna be money. We're gonna be in day two. And we're gonna be giving away money. So, um, you guys want to stay around? All right, this is like all vegetable. Actually, it's funny. It's like barely any salmon in here. Yeah, it's probably a piece of salmon. We'll put the rice in there. Jack seven fold. That's a big check race. Well, the guy only has 140,000. I didn't see that. So it doesn't really matter. Watch like all vegetables. Which is probably good for me. And I'm eating quick because I don't like eating a shrimp. Ghost of MC says seeing the card is better. Hey, Ghost of M, why don't you come? You should come to Euroquine in October. I'll be there in Euroquine in October. You should call ACR and tell them it's like, hey, I deserve to be in Euroquine. Yeah, I still got the crystals. Somebody actually offered me 20K for both of them. But Casey's like, yeah, we're not selling those. I'm like, well, I'll take 20K. But she said nay nay. So we're keeping them. Jack 10, Queen 10, we win it. Probably could have got a little bit more out of there, but the flush got there and the king got there. I really didn't put him on king 10. But he might check that because the flush gets there too, so who knows. No, 2.3. If the 3 million stack is great. I mean, let's go look at day two. Right now, this is the third day one. Where's the main one? Sorry, I'm tired. Where's it at? Day two, here we go. So, oh, that's Million Dollar Sunday. I'm like, what happened? Main event up here. So day two right now, eight million on a chip. And then like so three million would put me to top forty. But you know, we still have two hours of play here, so I wouldn't mind getting a big stack against somebody and make some hands. Let's see, what do the other stacks have in our game? So we got a four million. I'm a two point at several three millions. You know, there's a lot of people that made it to day two with less than a million.
Well, it's safe and I can show the cards. If we don't do the delay, we can't, um, we can't show the cards. And yeah, because I'm so busy with more giveaways, which we'll still have, don't you worry. I'm so busy with more giveaways that, um, you know, I'm not talking about every hand, so you guys just see me fold a lot or, you know, call and fold, so... Now you can see me in all my stupidity. That's just so good. Way too healthy, but good. Probably isn't healthy, but whatever. I feel like Alex might give me his chips before the night is over. Yeah, Shrike, I'm pretty sure day two is Monday. Keep on working out. Martin Shrirelli. Isn't that the guy that has like the medicine company? He had like the pills for expensive. Two point eight eight. Trying to win a package if possible. You know what? I don't know, and I probably even shouldn't say that. But um, I'm gonna send them a message. I'm like, hey, Ghost of M been working his butt off. He should be flying to Euroquite for that package, because you know ACR is pretty generous. Maybe I can ask for you. Now, I have no pull with that stuff, but I can try. That would be super fun. Oh okay, yeah, let's see if the guy that replied to me on Twitter. He must be working. I mean, I know he's island, so. He hasn't replied. Actually, I just checked the DMs. I'm assuming he knows how to DM. Let's check our regular Twitter. Nope. Yeah, your crying October is going to be fun. I'm going to be there. I'm thinking I'm probably going to take Casey. It depends with Tatiana's school schedule and also um, if we have the right babysitter, which would be our, her mom. And um, and then, because um, it's always a good husband and wife trip, you know. So, um, and um, what am I saying? 
I hope Phil comes down. I think Phil usually goes down for those. My buddy Juan will be down there. It's going to be a party. Streaming, man. <laughs> you know, I'm lucky with like all our family. They all love YouTube and stuff. If I were to make like a big old streamers channel all of a sudden and I see some of these streamers streaming like 16 hours a day, mm -hmm. that'd be crazy. You, you finished with this? Hold on, let me get two more bites here. All the salmon is in the bottom here. Oh, really? <laughs> this? Okay, take your time. And this is finished? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There's still more. It's okay. I'm fat. Thank you. You're welcome. And that's two. Yep. Okay. Anything else? That's yeah. it. Thank you. Nothing else? Okay. Man, I'm going to get you a little bite so you can drive your bike while you're sitting there. <laughs> I should. I'm a streamer. I'm a streaming machine. It's so funny because I felt like I was going to bust early today, too. What's that? If I have to create um, the electricity when I'm streaming. <coughs> What's up, Alex? Don't bet the house on me. Don't do that. Oh, Alex is back to Alex on the table to the left. He's finally raised again. Three betting. Well, we got Queen Jack suited. You know, we can see a f we can we can see a flop. We can see what's going on. And sixty thousand is not that much more. Seventy thousand in the overall picture. We flop a backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw, two over cards. We got some coffee. Life is good. Who is this? Hundred sixty-three thousand. You know what? We we'll let him bully. We we'll, we'll do the same thing. We we'll let him bully a bunch of whole, whole hands, and then we take half of a stack. Let's send this guy a crazy picture. Uh, if 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 people don't know me, they might think I'm crazy. They probably think I'm crazy anyway. I just sent this guy. He's like, I don't have you saved. Who is this? There's another guy I was talking to. He's like, I just sent him a crazy picture. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so that guy's a jerk though, right? Anybody that makes a whole bunch of money and people die because of it? I don't think so. No problem, Ghost of him. I will send him a message. I ask him, but I can't promise you anything like this. I know some of the high ups usually watch this too, so you never know. Never know. I can't promise, but I can put in a good word. But if it's not this one, maybe another one, because I know like a lot of the budgets are set already. So who knows? But you know, ACR takes care of their own. So if it's not this one, I'm sure it's a future one. But it would be fun if you get to go. We'll have the whole stream team there. I would have to bring Shrike too somehow, but that would be hard because he's not in ACR. He's with me just. You know what? If we win this tournament, I'll just pay for Shrike everything. How tall am I? 5'10". There better not be like a stupid joke with this. Damn, we would have turned two pair. So, um... I don't think I've ever asked on stream how tall I am. I'm 5'10 and I like long walks on the beach. And cookies. Oh, no, there's Jay's video. I thought he was in for the long haul. I missed that conversation. Oh, no, yeah, Jay, Jay's video said no. Um, So I, I just actually watched one of the documentaries where he bought Wu-Tang's Clan and 
I knew he was coming out, but I, I didn't think he was coming out till like the end of this year or next year. What's up, Margaret Reed? Oh, Facebook still must be going. We're getting messages. Stream on Facebook must be up too. Awesome. So maybe the restream software resets after eight hours or something. So I just got a Facebook message. What one? Oh, I think I would have lost my two pair, right? Let me see. Yeah, I would have gotten rivered there. And he's not laying it down because he has top pair against me and a gut shot draw. Yeah, he wasn't laying down. He served five years of a seven-year sentence. Interesting. He's kind of like, I hate using that term, but he's a douchebag, that dude. I hope he doesn't have millions of dollars from all the scams he did. He made people's medication like go crazy high, right? Oh, he's sending a rocket Psh, himself. Nines. Oh, he hits the gut shot straight. That is so sick. Ouch. Chap money. Oh, they moved me to another table. What are you doing? I don't want to move to another table. I had everybody figured out at that table. Uh, but you know what? At least there's a lot of chips at this table, so it's potential for us. Be alive, big stack to my left, small stack to my right, rest all around the mill. <sighs> I appreciate everybody that did the thumbs up on our videos. That's nice. And if you haven't done it, why don't you go there right now and just click the thumbs up? Because honestly, the thumbs up button been talking trash about you all. So you need to squeeze it. What's up, Paul Fox? Everybody's good? It's been a long day. I thought this was going to be my short day stream. I was going to play super aggressive. And we played pretty more aggressive, but then we started building up chips. And we still play kind of aggressive. I mean, we're not playing scared. We're seeing flops. So, we're still alive. We're number 11 out of 152 right now. We have a good chance to make day two today. Fat and sassy. <laughs> hmm. That that fast from the tweet? I don't know what Garrett is talking about. That's the problem with the five minute delay sometimes. <sighs> Check racing. Wow, this guy's username is Hurenson8000. Hurenson is a German word. The guy's a German player. And Hurenson means son of a whore. Not respectable. Don't really like him. We're going to bomb him. There you go. It's like, it's funny. Like on poker, you see some of the craziest usernames. Like, I would never say that. I feel like we'd be, like, disrespectful to my mom. I don't know. Just crazy. Hey, any progress on the rock storage unit? Uh, So we filmed the second part. I just have to edit it. I'm going to try to get the second part out this week. Um, That's going to be a huge twist. And then there's going to be a follow-up next week because we know the guy who bought the other half. And, like, he literally bought a million-dollar unit. It's crazy. It is crazy. So you guys gotta be. Uh, I have to film some twist and turns, turns and twisties. I am so tired, guys.
would be cool to get to meet who? Warner or Phil? Or both. Both guys are cool. I don't talk to Phil that much. He's always busy, but I talk to Warner. But me and Warner also really bonded over some historical stuff that we're both into. Plus, Warner's just like a really cool person. It's funny. First time I met him, he was like, oh, hey, Renee. I'm a big Storage Wars fan because he's like really into that stuff. And then uh, he was like, oh, you got to try Costa Rican breakfast. And he was like, oh, fat boy's going to like this. And he's like walking me. I was like, you got to eat this. This is this. You got to put this bean with this. And then he gave me this. Um, it's not like a hot sauce, but it's like a special sauce they use out there. Oh, my God. And then we're just like, you know, we're just talking. He's like a really good guy. Like when you meet him, really good people. And so is Phil, super good guy. We were hanging after the tournament. We were just like at the bar talking with a whole bunch of people, poker stories. You know, in a casino. It's just good. I mean, probably that um, tournament I played in Costa Rica. That tournament I played in Costa Rica at the cage event. I can't wait till they bring it back. But that was probably the best and most fun I've ever had in a bigger money poker tournament. Plus, I won $15,000, which was awesome. But even besides that, like, everybody was so cool. Uh, you know, Scott Ball was with me. He's a good friend of mine. And then, uh, damn, I got check rest to 210. I think he was talking trash with Phil about food. And I forgot how it went. But anyway, he ended up like saying, like, I want a cheesecake. And Phil was like, no, I got you. I'll order this for you. And he ordered him like a dozen cheesecakes. That's my type of guy. <laughs> and then the food was really good at that, too. Like, all the food was good. ACI would be an awesome sponsor with wear the t-shirts and had every day for a year for sponsorship. Yeah, I know ACI is good. I'm I'm very lucky to be part of their family. So. Good peeps over there. I'm just going to check fold there. What do we got? 2.7? You know, we were trying to crack that 3, but we lost the last couple hands, so. <coughs> do I have stores in New Jersey? No, I don't. We just do online mainly now. I'm just too busy with so many different projects. I don't have time for a retail store. Plus, people are too crazy these days. So, yeah, we have Punta de Estes, which I'm probably totally butchering. And then I'm waiting for them to come back with um, the cage events. I love the cage events. Put in a word for me to grind in daily. Maybe I can send me to the Bahamas. Nothing big. <laughs> Thank you, Renee. Just hit crazy unit full of expensive jazz records. Wouldn't be here without your words of wisdom. Uncle Renee for president 2024. That's awesome. That's awesome. You know, you should. Why don't you do me a video? Do a really cool video where, I mean, if you still can, where you film the unit. Because I really like it. Like, guys, you don't know. Like, I have a lot of friends on here. And I have a lot of friends that are very successful. But then there's guys like Slim Picking that just said, I wouldn't be here without your words of wisdom. Which, that's like the best thing. That's better than any kind of money. It's better than any kind of sponsorship. That's better than anything. If you can, why don't you shoot like a 20 or 30 minute video of you talking about the unit, talk about what helped you in our channel, what didn't help you, and also um, just talk about anything in the unit, how much you paid for it, what do you think it's worth, show some of the highlights, and then if you can put the stuff into how we help you and stuff like this, that's the best thing, and if I can use it on my YouTube channel, because that's the whole point why we started a YouTube channel. We wanted to inspire other peop people and show them ways to change their life. That's the whole reason we did all this. That's why we still do it. Trust me, like people think that, um, people I would think the money we make through YouTube, we do make some money, but it is nothing compared to our other investments. It's nothing compared to Storage Wars. I make more money with my ACR sponsorship, to be honest. And honestly, like I just signed another sponsorship with a company, which is huge. And companies like America's Card Room, they don't even care if I make YouTube videos or even with these streams, they like it. But a lot of times they just pay me for my face because of storage was to use it in their promotions and stuff like this. So um, so we do the YouTube channel because really from the bottom of our heart, we want to we want to inspire people change and make it better for them. And like when you tell me stories that, hey, we gave you words of wisdom and we showed you some stuff. 
and hopefully you learn something. If it's just how to buy units or how to take chances or or if it's just, like you said, words, words of encouragement to keep on fighting through the hard times and the good times and always be honest and, you know, have self-respect for yourself and walk on this earth like you're a man, you know. And that's not a sexy thing, but when I say like a man, I mean like do stuff that makes you proud and do stuff where at the end of the night you can go to sleep easy. So, um, you know, um, you know that makes me really happy if I change somebody's life. I always talk about the story, the guy that had sent us a letter from San Francisco that was about to be homeless. And he says, uh, he says because of our channel, like we gave him a different avenue, different things, and he was doing really successful. He's not homeless and he's taking care. I don't remember. I'm sorry, I get a lot of letters, but I don't know if he was saying two sons or two daughters, but I know it was two kids. So I always remember that. So if you put a video together and do something, I would really appreciate it if you can. If you don't want to, don't worry about it. <coughs> but it makes me happy to hear that we did make a difference in your life. Just saying hello from Western Massachusetts. Enjoy your videos. Hugs and thumbs up. And smash that thumbs button. Thumbs up button. Like button. Yeah, everybody at ACR is cool. Like a whole bunch of stuff. Melanie's cool. Um, and then also a lot of the other staff. You know, I call them supporting staff. But they're like all in different departments they run. I got to meet a lot of them at the cage event. Because that's where the headquarters are. And um, everybody's just super cool. Super friendly. You know, just good, good people. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go hug my wife real quick. We're at 11 out of 147. I believe we have three hours of play left. I'll be right back. Casey and Tatiana not even here. So. I can't see you, chat, Alex. But everything is like five minutes too late. Oh. Don't get tired. I'm not tired. I'm good. I mean, look, I'm still going to play to win. You know, if I have a big hand, we're going to put it in there. If we lose, we lose. I'm playing this Venom tournament to win. I'm not trying to mint cash. I'm not trying to make $3,000. We're going for the sweet million dollars. And part of that is building stacks. So we have $3 million right now, 2.7, which is good. But on day two, that only puts us in the top half. You know, we need to build. We want to go in there, you know. 
we always want to be in that top 10% of how we are now. And just cruise to the final table. But by just folding all day long, that's not going to work. It doesn't work that way. We're going for the cool million. If we win the million dollars, me and Shrika being our speedos in Uruguay, do not picture that. But that's what we'll be doing, playing poker. Separate. Casey will be there too. Nothing weird. And I think we can win it. Somebody has to win it. Why not us, right? We're good people. People love us. We're on a break. Tulio, good night. Hug to Brazil. Actually, when I fly to Uruguay, I'm either going to land in Brazil or in Panama. But I think we're going to Copa or Copa Air now. I think it's going to be uh, Panama. I was going to fly Delta or originally. And uh, that would have landed in... Um, that would have landed in Brazil. San Paulo and then a three-hour flight. <coughs> But I found Copa Air, and it's direct. It's from, well, that's one stop. Yeah, Aiden, I'm still playing. It's just a break, 20-second break. So Copa Air flies from L.A. to Panama to Uruguay. Running it up. I'm trying. I'm trying. I mean, if we get one more double up here, then we start getting pretty serious. Pocket pair, let's go set mine. Let's do this. Set mining in the house. And let me be the eighth dwarf, the big one. I'll be chunky dwarf. Rene, I did score a nice 50s Pepsi cooler complete with train original paint for 25 bucks. Should be easy, three to 400. You would love it. Oh, yeah, I love Pepsi coolers, love Coca Cola coolers, all that stuff. Can't believe somebody sold that to you for 25 bucks. <coughs> That's such a common knowledge item, too. But hey, you know what? More power to you. Take it when you can. Oh, that's a bad flop for pocket threes. That is not the flop we're looking for. We check on that one. <coughs> we probably could bluff on it. People are scared of us right now. <coughs> we have a huge stack. But with three other players, I mean, I'm assuming somebody has something. And also, if anybody has a king, they're not laying the draw down. <coughs> I will right, we'll make a small bet. We'll bet three quarter pot. But it's it's a pretty stupid bet to be honest. But let's see what happens. Like I said, it's an excellent bet. That's just how you play the hand, and that's how you play pocket threes. <laughs> Oh, there's something wrong with me, guys. H sending a hug to Brazil too, Tulio. Thank you. Yo, what's up, Danny Vila? How are you? Pocket. Honestly, guys, that was kind of a stupid bet, but just that hand, nobody have, seemed to have anything, so that was good. Mm -hmm. All right, min race, let's see a flop. 
Okay, we have a straight draw. Gut shot, full outer. Good chance ace might be good too. Be alive. So, I'm, I mean, unfortunately, I just got moved to a new table. So, I really don't know how anybody plays. He's betting really small. <laughs> we do hit the straight. We'll check. He checks. Flush gets there. And, you know, if he has us ace, then we chop it at this point. So I'm not going to bet into it because if he has a six, I'm totally screwed. So I don't want to bet any raises big. If he has a flush, I'm screwed. Mm. I mean, we're probably calling trying to chop here, but. Oh, no, he bluffed. We got it. I almost laid it down because I'm like, man, we're only calling. Uh, it, it, we only call. Oh, aces. Ooh. Oh, okay, Shrika says Facebook is off. Okay, well, let it be off. We, 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 we went eight hours there. We got Aces. Acabo o Rosario. Malta. <coughs> I got another call. Under the gun race should be pretty strong. So we'll make it like that's a hundred thousand of dead money. We go one seventy two, hoping that he's a big pair. Normally, if you race under the gun, you should be pretty strong, unless he's one of those European guys, any two. But we want to make him do a big commitment for his chips. This guy, I'm hoping. Okay, squeeze. All right, we got it. Now we picked up one hundred thirty thousand without having to play the hand. We'll take it. Who's striker? He's my mutt. When is part two of the face rock coming out? I'm thinking Sunday. That's what I'm shooting for. I can't promise, but that's what we're shooting for. Let me see. I'll probably work on it tomorrow on Saturday. All right, we're almost at 3 million in chips. So I think that's our hide right here, guys. I don't think maybe we're at 3 million. I don't know. It happened so fast. We had we got that 3 million and then literally the very next hand literally the very next hand we um had that all in for 2 million dollar pot. Which is okay. We didn't win that one, but you know, it's a coin flip ace king versus tens. Your wife's nightmare, your best friend Aiden loves saying that too. I think Sadie said it earlier. Funny. Let's do a late position, late race, 28,000. Small race, jack five suited. See what happens. If they all just fold and be good collaborators, then we could be over 3 million. But no, this guy has to race. He bluffed me earlier. Should we play? How much is that? Uh, 65,000. All right, let's play. Heads up. And we got the jack. God, this guy's made every decision 30 seconds, so we'll make 30 seconds too. We'll, we'll do what the uh, Europeans do. Just sit there and count. They count in their mind. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, now I can fold. I hate that. At the World Series, there was so much of that going on. Every decision, I'm just like... Pfft. I'm like, you play at the highest stage of poker, you should be able to make a decision. It's not that freaking hard. And the funny part is, a lot of times when they get the all-ins or the call, over half of them are like the wrong decision. So, like, you think so much, maybe you play better if you make decisions faster. You ever think of that? It's my message to Europe. I don't care. 
Jodu, what's up? What's up? Yo, yo, yo. We can't crack that 3 million. We're trying. We're back to 2.8. We were at 2.95, but we just lost a hand. We're trying. They were thinking about you what you were thinking about them. LOL. <laughs> uh, fold. Probably, you're probably right. The guy's jiving and weaving and bluffing him around. A little bit. Playing aggressive today. Where are you guys at? So you must be at the 3-3 three, three hand. What did Shrika say? Like three more, three more hours of poker. <sighs> Big hand alert. <laughs> Jack five. Let's see which hand are you guys at. Big hand alert. Where are you guys at? Oh, you got the aces. Yeah. It's not as exciting as we're hoping for. We basically double the pot there. Level 24. I'm gonna play five, six, seven, eight, four more after this. Oh shoot, we have another two hours after this. Next level in 10 minutes. Thank you, Mr. Sadie. Good bet. What's the most profit you ever had? What do you mean profit? I mean, I bought a deal that's probably going to make a million dollars on. Nah, I'm not crazy on poker stars. I play America's Card Room. Yeah, we gave away the ticket earlier today. Wow, our channel is about to hit 170,000 subscribers. Can you guys believe that? A lot of you guys have been with us for a very long time. <coughs> 
170,000 subscribers is just crazy, right? <coughs> what did you think about the venue, Renee? Uh, what's the rarest comic you found? Probably Flash number one. <laughs> Amazing Fantasy 15, but Flash number one was better. Wow, 10 times we got Ace 10, we have to fold. What do you think about which venue, while? You talking about the World Series? I liked it. If you're talking about the World Series to Paris, I really like playing it to Paris. Yeah, shot clock would be much, much better. It doesn't take that long to make a decision. I mean, like, people literally sitting there for, like, 10 minutes making a decision is just ridiculous. Oh, one of my ace-10 was good here, huh? Never seen it. I don't think they showed the hand, right? Just takes the pot. 3-6 offsuit in a big blind. That's really awesome. Oh, flush gets there, straight gets there. That's a dangerous board. I don't think my hand was good here anyway. Horn stone is raising. We fold. Actually, two hours, six minutes plus break. I'm falling asleep. Can I just click and fold the rest for the last two hours? No, we can't because we're catching hands today. Kings. <sighs> oh, we got a raise. 65,000 in the pot. Play for hundred thousand. And he folds. You know, like I can try. What did Jeff Boski bag up? Ten thirty ish? You mean ten ten point three big blinds? That's really low for day two. Is that what you're saying, Wiley? Or 10 million? <coughs> Did 
that's the one thing. Like, I can try to limp with kings in a really slow play, but then get a crappy flop against me. You know, and then the other drawback is I have a lot of chips, so people are a little bit more scared to play against me because I do have a lot of chips. So that's my superstitious hand, king nine. Should we see a flop? We won't see a flop. Probably should see a flop, but we won't see a flop. Wow, he raises every hand, huh? All right, let's see a flop, I guess. Marine 1972 out of the Ukraine. The rarest Marvel comic ever? Um, I mean, I have X-Men 1, Avengers 1... Uh, probably Marvel would be Amazing Fantasy 15. That's Marvel, right? He has to take his time bank. He has to think for a very long time. He cannot make a decision. He has to go into his time bank. But then only uses 10 seconds because he doesn't want to be sure, right? <sighs> Maybe things are missed a spade draw. He could have had 9 10 of spades. That's why he bet the turn pretty big. Could have ace jack king jack beats me jack eight jack. I mean he's raising like every hand. Hmm. If I'm right, I got four million in chips. If I'm good, if I'm bad, I have one point eight. You know, I should have known. I mean, like, this online, that's like the biggest online toll. He's just not sure what to do. He has to get to the tank, which means the time bank. So now we're back to 1.7. It's okay. He has to get to the time bank, but then he only uses 10 seconds because he doesn't want to use up his time bank. So it's just like that. It's, it's like one of the biggest online poker tells. <sighs> I should have not called. Like, the first time I clicked it, it didn't go through. Then click it, right? I should have just not called. That's okay. Like I said, we we try. Hold on a second. Note, we'll just make him um, blue. Usual time bank tell. Uh, I guess I could have laid that down. I don't know. I was getting greedy. I was getting greedy. That's okay. This John No Arms, he raises a lot of hands too. Basically, these two guys are raising a lot of hands. <sighs> I wish I wouldn't have called that Queen Jack.
Man, these guys, every decision is like... Okay, I'm just going to wait a long time, too. We'll just play really slow poker. King nine. <laughs> See, he made it five times the blind. I need to start coming over the top again how I did earlier. King nine offsuit, right? On the button. What was how much did he make it pre-flop? Oh, king nine suited. Gets me in the river. Check it down. I just gotta be like, these two guys are just full of shit most of the time. The one time, of course, he had kings against me. <clears throat> That's okay. So he raced, he raced again like every hand. a really bad turn card it's like any two john he checks i'm just gonna check let's see probably race 10 7 or some garbage a6 so when a check raise him on the flop i got him of course but then i know to turn if he has any kind of eight. Oh, he got down at 10 30 if he has any kind of eight any kind of queen yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? But I'm happy. I'm running into a lot of donkeys today, but sometimes they just get lucky. It happens. I made a donkey play too. <coughs> he raises this one again. I'm going to have to fold. I think I'm going to start three betting this guy. All right, Aiden. <coughs> Catch you later. <coughs> <coughs> Two more hours. Ay, yeah, yeah. All right, we have 45 out of 130. I shouldn't have called that Queen Jack. That was bad. Actually, it wasn't bad. I mean, it could have gone either way. And, like, you know, those guys just raise a lot of hands. But it's good that they're my table. I hope I don't get a table change. What did you rate this time, big pre flop? What was that? 9 6 suited. And you got called by Ace Queen. Uh. Fold. Alright. What's up, John Wick? <laughs> I, I love it how people always like to go in the chat. The guy goes, like, awful call. Hundred bucks says you're not in the venom and um It's just um they they always all have like information once uh, once the cards revealed then they have advice. But they don't play the big tournaments. Same thing on Hustler Life, everybody's like, Oh, you should play more crazy, you should be like, look, there's seats open, why don't you come in and buy with a hundred thousand if that's what I should do? So that call could have gone either way with the Queen Jack, you know? I mean, Maureen and John No Arms are like in every hand, so he happened to get kings. It happens. It does happen. It's part of the game. Can't win them all. Cannot win them all. John No Arms has another raise in him. That's good. Fuck every hand he raises. We're gonna re raise him. Uh, 
Ah, it's okay, it's okay. And he folds, there we go. Three, nine, we have to lay down. You know, our high point was almost three million, so we'll work our way back up again. Passive. Uh, boy. That's the best part about streaming. That's like always a lot of people in chat that will get willing to give you free poker lessons. That is the good part. I got a bunch of World Series caches for different tournaments, different games. I must be one of the luckiest players of life. When is the next break? Need to go get something. 24 minutes. Mm. I'm tilting. <laughs> uh, you're funny. Let me see. I'm tired. I work a lot. It's been a long stream. I didn't really plan on streaming this long today, to be honest. Six nine off suit fold. Jeff Basky back back six thirty seven. Okay. It's a shot at day two. It's not bad. Uh, we have a few comics listed on our eBay, eBay, but the rest we just haven't listed yet. I mean, the only place I sell through is eBay, to be honest. eBay, um, that, that's pretty much it. I have a lot of really killer comics. I just haven't had time to list them yet. They'll come up eventually. Jack, four offsuit in the big blind, great hand. Get my week split on the regular myself. Hmm. Horn stone raises again, like a lot of hands, so I have to fold. 
different ring cons, like a lot of hints. We would have flopped open straight draw. Alright, Big Tim said before you called that you shouldn't, it was easy to see that he had you beat. Okay. I'm just learning poker. Like I said, you can look me up in the hand and mop. Like, I just played World Series first time in 2019. I got like six or seven caches, I think. It's not bad, right? And I barely played any events. So, big time, um, big time 89. Do you have an ACR username? You make it to day two yet? What made it easy to see that I'm beat? I mean, that top pair, third best kicker, just because he went all in? Because we called all ins earlier for big money and we want all those. So, I don't know. Like, I'm not the type of player that just sits here and waits for the nuts. That's stupid. That doesn't win you tournaments. I mean, that's some pay players that do that. And it's like a lot of min caches. I play to win. That's just how I roll. I do that in everything in life. See, Marine, 1972, almost raised every... Between these three guys over here, like, everything. We're just not hitting any cards right now, so... But if we can start getting a couple of hands and stuff like this, I think we'll build up really fast to 3 million again. Because these guys are definitely giving action. Should be coming a race for Marine. Yep, typical race. There we go. I don't really drink much beer, Scott. I mean, I like Heineken and stuff. But I just don't drink that much in general, to be honest. Oh, this guy's going in the time bank tank. And he raises. Doesn't know what to do, but... Old fault. <clears throat> I love online poker. Time pank tail. <clears throat> oh shit. Now we get all the dummies in. Chuck along those noodles. Alright, hold on a second. Let me get two. Uh, where we at? Alright, where are we at here? Didn't seem chuck along those noodles, huh? I probably have some people in here not just the way they're talking that are probably in this table. Mm, let me see. Alright, sparrow list. It's okay. Also, poker is a long um a long tournament you know there is going to be ups and downs it's just part of the game well like i said you know are you doing a poker money giveaway i gave away 2600 dollars earlier that's 25 percent up for crabs right now and then on day two i'm going to give a whole bunch away but like i said all the people that you know they know everything would love to watch your stream you can put the link in it we'll, we'll even advertise it for you let us know when you're playing the Venom. Because that's, you know, it's like everything in life, even in the business. You know, the people that don't do, it's just like with the NFL too. Like all the fans in the stands, they all think they would make a better decision than Aaron Rodgers or Patrick Mahomes. But for some reason, none of them play, you know. They... I'll talk, you know. Just how life goes.
I'll talk more about giveaways on day two. We have the one today. We're going to do it at the end of the day. We'll either do it at the end of the day or the beginning of day two if we make day two. One of the two. Yeah. We'll see. I think, what have we been playing now? It's 8.40. What's that like? 11 hours or something like that almost? Is it 8.40 or 7.40? Yeah, 11 hours so far. Marine raises under the gun. Of course. Talking about calling hands, you feel you have one. Then they have better hands, so can't see people playing a regular to see how they play. Uh, what's up, Governor from Hawaii? I don't know what that means, Ray. What was the starting stack? 300,000. Right now, we're in 57 out of 129. And this tournament has been started by 656 people. Thanks, Top 10. appreciate it. I don't think I'm playing great or anything, but I'm playing okay. I didn't know it was beat. If I went, if I knew I was beat for sure, I wouldn't call. I thought it was 50-50. My decision was, if I call and I lose, I got 1.8 million of chips, which is still fine. If uh, if I call and I'm good, I got 4 million chips, and I'm going halfway to the highest stack in the Venom, which that is what I'm playing for. Like I said, I'm not playing to min cash. It's just not what I do. If I min cash, that's waste of time to me. Besides doing the stream and doing all the other stuff that I do, but for a poker tournament, a min cash is a waste of time to me. I, I could care less. I ride a bus the first hour. <clears throat> uh, let's make a loose call. The last time we would have flopped two pair. Okay, so maybe our luck is changing a little bit. He goes all in for 400,000. Goes one limp. Okay, we have to fold. Thanks, big time. So, that was a bad time to make a loose call. Queen eight. I need a cough drop. My lungs are hurting. I've been talking way too much today. Standard 30k raise from my John No Arms buddy. All right, let's play post flop poker. King 99. Oh, he, he likes raising that hand too. Like right now, I'm just not hitting any flops. You know, if I had pairs and stuff, I'd play against them. But I mean, what are you going to do? Let him push me around for a little while. It's okay. We had a bunch of people pushes around earlier too. Most of those guys went bust. Oh, this guy only has three hundred forty thousand. I didn't even see that. Probably should have raised. But we totally missed a flop again. Can't even do anything because I got a guy behind me too. Three hearts on the flop. Ghost of Amazon star. Renner ever buy any German books? Just clean out a lady's house full of German books. Selling cheap. I think you emailed me. I replied to you. I wouldn't have an interest in that. I'm sorry. Unless you got stuff from like 17, 1600, stuff like that early, I'll buy that. But just books in German, I don't really care.
Yeah, no, I'm still in a good position. I'm okay, you know. I mean, I started to get, I was borderline to start to get really good. To, I'm still in a good position. A lot of people haven't read The Man in the Arena by Teddy Roosevelt. Still playing, Fritz, still playing. So I just got another Facebook comment, so. Good luck win it. Thank you, Fritz. <sighs> nice guy. Three bets again. I'm running a little bit better, I would call. I'm just running a little cold right now. That's okay. Let's just try to weather the storm. Damn, see, like those hands, I hit queen five. Ay, ay, ay. Just fold. Let me have one. Come on. Let me start to run. If you call, I'm all in in a turn. All right. We got one. A little bit. Oh. Just a little bit. Yeah, I go for the wins, you know, I try to, you know, I mean, that's how I built my chips up the first place, to be almost a three, we had a big hand, so, this is day 1C, Sunday is 1D, and then they added Saturday, they added another day for 1E, so you have plenty of chances trying to get in there, trying to get that million dollars. <coughs> 127 players left like 600 some started 650 i think today <coughs> 656 and we're down to 127 Most of the pro streamers were playing this past week in Venom. <sighs> Six ten off suit in the big blind. Only way I'm gonna win that if I just go all in, right? Let's see, now my three landmines are there that raise everything. Rug rats, what's up, rug rats? Oh, we got an all in 240. 
Then he folded. See, like, those three guys right here? Hornson, Marine, and John No Arms. They raised so many hands. He just happened to have kings against me that hand. So that's why I said it's 50-50. Just happened to have kings against me. Which made me so sad. Five three offsuit marine raises. That's a shock. Been streaming that for eleven hours. Do you ever want shock score as you play the venom? I do sometimes. What's up, Ruben Perez? Yeah, I look at shops go sometimes. Hornstone with the race. I don't look up everyone's shark scope because it doesn't matter as much. I try just to play the game like in the old ways, you know. And just try to get my reads on people. And then just play the game how I play the game. Just go with that. The lucky winner was, um, I don't know, I forgot. It's on my Twitter. Go to my Twitter. It's on there. All right, we flopped the gut shot straight right here. Wow, these super aggressive players, they're all hitting like crazy on me. What's your all-in hand there? I guess he got aces now. I mean, he raises every hand. Of course, we have to fold. All right. Ah, well, the last hour's been a little rough. Table change, please. Yep, emotional fish, that's what. All right, I guess right now it's just at the part of the game where everybody hits against me, even though they like literally raising every hand. So, I think we're gonna tighten up. And then the hands we do play, we'll just play, uh, I think we're just going to play it super, super tight. I mean, super aggressive. Gonna, we're going to switch our style to tight aggressive. Except we limped it.
I'm ready for some good run good. All right, we're going to go and break again. I'll be back in a second. We have two hours to go. What's up, Daniel? What's up, Sam? Shrike, ten hours in. I emailed the school, they sent me an email back so they fixed your registration so I can finish it tonight. Cool. I tried to do it yesterday, but they had a mistake. How's my German? The gates? The gates are good. They're good? They're good? Super. 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 Yeah. Hand problem. 125 players left out of 650. Oh, you busted? No, there's still, I'm um, 72 out of 125. I thought it's okay, I had more chips, but like the last hour and a half just been really Super. Okay, and you get a turn now to your one. Are you still streaming? Huh? Are you still streaming? Yeah. Hello. One hour to go. I think I don't know, I'm tired. <sighs> Alright, we just gotta wait for good hand now. We got one point two million. You're German? Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Maybe I'll just play some life poker at the same time here. I just take my German lessons today. I didn't, I wasn't slacking. I wasn't slacking. That's good. And I learned how to say, like, no problem. Kein Problem. Kein Problem. And, um, I don't know what of course is, but it says, Nein hier? Nein hier? What? No problem. Or, uh, of course. Of course. Jawohl. Jawohl. No. I learned a different word. Wait a second. I think it's about an hour, yeah. Do you need another water? Um, will you make me a vitamin C water? Or will you give me a cough drop? My throat hurts. That's rude. I got 1.2 million. I almost had it up to 3 million, but then I lost a big hand again. Oh, 
Then I made a loose call. I got, I got, been going strong. I don't know. I'm tired right now. I made, I made one call. I was 50, 50 on. Cause I was 50, 50. I shouldn't have called. I can trap better. But, um, but, um, I had, um, what was I saying? You, are you playing that game too? That's sick. I just, guys. I just started. Does everybody... Wait, wait, They don't know. They don't have to know. Does everybody know that Renee's playing a second poker game right now? And I stopped kicking the camera. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, guys. Yeah. Is Stryker still here with you? Stryker. Stryker. I know. I used to say Stryker, too. It's Stryker, but he's, he's like a striker the way he handles the chat board. Stryker's been right here with you all day. That guy's a soldier. He's always here with me. Dang. I he's think, like your bestie. I all think right. we... We, Wait, we, here's the camera. Found it. We streamed, uh, we streamed uh, Venom tournaments like seven together on several different days. On only one day he had to bounce because he had like a <sighs> prearranged thing, but he came back. But that's because like I decided last minute to stream another day. So, yeah, he's always there. I told him if we win the Venom for some reason, I'll take him to Uruguay with me. <gasps> wow, that's so exciting! We'd be running in our speeders on the beach and upset the locals. <laughs> Uh, what did I say? Speedos. Speedos While driving speeders. <laughs> yeah. So then the gravity really takes hold of you. <laughs> and the bumps. What are you talking about? And then the word that I was talking about, of course, naturally. 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 Yeah. Do you want a vitamin water and a cough drop? Yes, please. Two minute break. You're not gonna find many pots in the Venom tournament. That's twenty six fifty. I'll see how to do that. I just want to do like that's all. We got you a gift. What's that? Is that a back scratcher? Back scratcher. See, oh, good. But oh, this is plastic. I'll break this in one day. It's not plastic. It's metal. That's plastic. It's metal. Plastic. Oh, do you think knives are better? Yes. Got it right for you. Thank you. Very cool. I like it. Love it. Thank you. That's not bad, actually. King five off suit.
with a river two pair here. Might be good. Play good, no mistakes now. I try, I try. You know what? If we were to go to day two with 1.2, I guess it's okay too. It still puts us like in the middle of the field, but we want to get more than that. But let's see if opportunity comes right now. I mean, the way we're going right now. <coughs> Are we playing level 27 right now? Oh, it's 26. We're level 26, so we got 27. We got an hour and a half of play left. 26, 27, 28, yeah. I mean, right now, we're just not hitting anything. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks. Huh? Sure. You didn't use tap water, right? No, I used filtered water. I never used tap water. I'm like so cold right now, and I'm like not hitting any single flop. You need to sit here and do your good luck trick? Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. Wait, you're ready for me. Do you have a primer? I don't. I used them all. ACR has so many great personalities. Thank you, Wiley. Uruguay. Oh, Shrike is laughing at my Uruguay comment. You know, he's thinking right now, I hope Renee doesn't win. This only comes in like second. Because <laughs> if we win it, we will run on Speedos on the beach. <laughs> we'll have a fancy contest. No contest. We're just going to shock the locals. <laughs> we'll see who gets arrested first by Uruguay and police. What is that? Is that a cough drop? Yeah. I'm not going to eat that anymore. That looks like it's been through Chernobyl. I know. I'm like trying to pull it apart. <laughs> then I was getting stubborn with it. It's like you try. Don't we have to. Don't put it in there. I'm not. I'm trying to get you another one. No, get me the ones that are the medical ones, not these. The ones that have the medicine or have the bag. Oh. Yeah. They did a good job signing people. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, I didn't do it, but thanks. I'm glad that you like the ACR personalities. Russian Federation, Ukraine, Brazil, Germany. Just got everybody here. United States, Malta, and the United States. I liked ACR when they had all the social groups, private games like that, OTR and Royal Flush Radio. Uh, I don't remember what that is. Can you sit here and be a good luck charm? Uh, you can if you want to. All right, finally somebody doesn't hit. I'm like, I'm betting all at the wrong times. and like everything here called a flip. 
Surprised he didn't go all in. All right. See if we can work our way back up again. This poker is stressful. Yes, it is. What's happening here? Man, they're playing crazy like everybody's down in this game right now. Because Priscilla goes, one guy's up 76, one guy's 59, one guy 400. Then down 100, 500, 2,000, 23, 33, 91, 42. 500? It's just 500 bucks. It's a tight, oh, tight player. <laughs> no, you, I thought you, no, this is the smaller game. Oh, I don't even have 500,000 yeah. dollars. That will be in a big game. Still a couple levels to double up. Dr. Prepper says, Wow, glad to see you still in it. You're a good player, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Go, um, Rene, go. Good job. No, somebody made fun of me earlier. They said it's obvious that he had it. I'm like, it was 50-50. I took a gamble. I win it at 4 billion chips. I lose it, I got 1.8. Oh, who? I almost called by accident. 250. Actually, 251,000. I should call, right? Under the gun, he has ace king or something. Should we flip with pocket deuces? Okay, why not? I don't know. I, I don't know. Don't listen to me. Crickets, cheers. I fold. I probably should call. Did you hear what happened at the WSFP Saturday, July 16th? You talk about when people were freaking out because they thought it was a shooter. Oh, good that I can call. He yeah. called the jacks. Yeah. A late position I could have called. Because he didn't listen to me. But that would have been terrible if that three was a two. It's, um, well, you really should probably bet to uh, try to isolate there. Because he, if, I, if, if I isolate, he might not call the jacks. I had jacks twice today. I had to lay him down both pre-flop. And both times I didn't see the hands. But it was race, re-race, re, -race, re -race. But it was a crazy game. So... So it was it was a crazy game, but both times I jacked had to lay him down. Yeah, I heard about what happened in the World Series, but it's um, I don't know. People too nervous, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, short stacks will try to start pushing. But let's see what do I have. I got the guy from, what's what's he from? Uh, I forgot, Malta. And everybody else has a pretty decent sized stack. This guy just busted. He was a short stack. Maybe we get lucky to break this table because I'm really not feeling this table. Even though I got three num nums here, I'm just not hitting anything right now. So, like, between these three guys, it's almost impossible not to face a race, which is fine. You know, I was being a little bit more aggressive, but again, like, I'm not just not hitting anything right now, so. 9-3 dudes, what a terrible flop for my hand. I'm patient. And he bets because he raised 7-3. But hopefully we can trap one of these guys with a hand. Oh, Hornson has another raising hand. It's amazing. These guys just get nothing but raising hands. Come on, give me some cards, ACR. I feel like I'm at a buffet and they just won't let me in.
I hope so big time. I hope so big time. Queen four offsuit, we fold. And I gotta be careful too with trying to steal the plants right now because this guy only has 190,000. So if I steal any plants, it better be with a hand that I'm willing to. Um, that I'm willing to um, go all the way in. And we got another stack, but it's a $2 million stack. Poker is more stressful when you're broke. <laughs> F. Then you really have to make the right move or get a job. Eh, I'm not broke. I'm lucky. I wouldn't even think stressful is the right word, to be honest. I'm just tired at this point. I'm playing PLO at the same time in a live cash game. All right, that's about forty thousand dollars on the table right now. Actually, more than that, thirteen thousand. Probably fifty or sixty. Let's see, hopefully Casey has luck, she's here, so. Oh, with a net flush draw. <coughs> Renee is obviously a top elite player. Then I don't think so, but thank you. <coughs> it's very nice. Okay, in PLO, we have a net flush draw. We're just going to go all in here for $1,800. We get three to one of our money. Nobody has hearts. That's good. And we miss our flush. Huh? Jack five suited fold. Just missed a nut flush draw. Got two guys to go all in. Nobody has hard draw, just me. Dang, I can't take it. I'm like running back the last hour. Just all my luck this morning. And a uh, straight draw too, but gut shot. But these? When I stream, um, no, I'm used to talking. Good at talking. Yes, everybody, he does have the gift of gab. <laughs> gift of curse. Today I didn't talk as much because my lungs hurt, so it's like, after the first time my lungs started getting sore a little bit. Eight, six, seven, well, nine, double suited. Yeah, That's but it's, it's been hot. But it's, it's the lights are hot. <coughs> what time does it end at? Uh, so it's 9.20, I think 10.30 we should be done. Sam says the hottest day in Florida. Right now, today is the hottest day in Florida? That's what they said, yeah. Wow, how hot is that? I don't know, but I just flopped the nuts straight. Eight, nine, there's a flush draw out there, so hopefully they don't call it a flush draw. Okay, this guy raises, who is this? AR twenty two. But see, I also have one pair. Yeah, you are getting boring cards. Six three offset. You don't like that? Oh, should I like it? Do you want me to sit this way? Uh, two guys call. Okay, well I got the nuts. I'm gonna go all in. This is gonna be like a six thousand dollar pod. Just we don't want to see any spade. 
$4,800 pot. Still got the nuts. One card to go. Oh, they still got betting going on. Come on, bet out the flush draw. Just bet all in. I need somebody with the lower end straight just to bet all in. He checks. Come on, JD. Just bet them all in. You can bet 4600 They oh, both yeah, check. Right? Oot, running aces. So now somebody could have a full house. Oh, no. Uh, four, so they both check, though, so it might be good here. No, he got there. So the guy flopped the set. He got run around for full house. All right, eighty-three thousand. Should we coin flip? This guy raises a lot of hands. Here we're gonna coin flip. Screw it. There you go. One point two million. The limp out of the gun. There you go. Pow! I just did that on screen. I don't care. Tied to this guy. One point three. I was dealing five k. Every pro you can name was in the room. Doctor Prepper. Nice. I just doubled up. <coughs> I just in the in a PLO game we just went all in pre flop by Jack Jack seven eight and I got called by Queen Jack seven five. He didn't even wasn't even suited. Woo! I know I'm doing two things at once now. I'm just trying to be distracted and not make a thing. Learned I can run like a gazelle. That's funny. Another race from John No Arms. All right, let's see what happens. Queen 10. We'll check. I was going to go all in, but then I was like, yeah. It's kind of a weird bet that he made there. I was going to go all on the flop there, so whatever happens, it is what it is. He called me Queen High. <laughs> oh, that guy is worse than I thought. He just called me with Queen 9, nothing, and I win with Queen Jack. Oh, that guy is bad. Oh, that guy is bad. How much game? Just right here. Oh, I just doubled up here, so I just had a big go. Um, this guy just literally, I bluffed the river with Queen Jack, 
and he called me with Queen Nine. The flop is King Ten Rag something I don't even know. What which guy? John, no, I'm that guy is bad. That's my donkey. Please don't move me. Actually, move me from the table because I'm not winning. But um, yeah, he is light green. Wow, she has two juice turn four king fold. Um. Wow. Super loose raises a lot. That is like that is probably one of the worst calls I've ever seen in Venom. Let's go back through it. I can't believe that just happened. Uh, what was it? Hold on, Sean Anthony. Ren is probably one of the guys that featured the ACR show where guys are pushing hundred thousand around on rat tables or higher limits. Huh. Um, let's see previous hand totals. <coughs> Fold. Um. Wow, that was like one of the worst calls. Will your notes be there forever? Yeah, so Did next time. Did you ever play that person on another tournament? So I get Queen Jack. Uh, let's see. Play. He bets 26,000. I was going to go all in, but I just called. He would have folded. Turn, I miss. I check. He checks. River card is another king. I think most likely he has nothing. Now bet 120,000. That is a huge bet. I'm betting three-quarter pot, right? So, I mean, any ace. So he thinks. I mean, I don't know what he puts me on preflop here. And he calls for 120,000 with queen knight. And I win with queen jack. <laughs> That's pretty loose. <coughs> but you know what? I say thank you, and I appreciate it. This guy just wrote, You have to learn to play this game better. You're making total amateur mistakes. Think before you play bad hands on line poker. Good luck, and remember, it's a game of skill, not luck. Okay. Love it. 9, 4, 9, 6. Do you want me to respond to that? Because I can tell him. Rene was a professional poker player. Just, you're right, I'm just... I know. It's my trust fund that pays for this. Probably shouldn't tell him I'm playing a game like right now. This is like uh, $60,000 on the table, I think, right now. It's half PLO, half Hold'em. It's Phil Helmut's private game. This is a small game. There's another large game that's sometimes half a million on the table. But you're right. I probably don't know how to play. I just send him a check every week for a quarter million dollars. It's like, I don't know. What do you want me to say? Who never watched Rene play? I gotta love these comments from people who probably play five dollar tournaments while he's right. It's like I don't, I don't know how right? to. Right, exactly. There's always a comment from the peanut gallery. This guy basically just told me all I need to do is sit here, grind out, only play for high hands, and the better players will never know that I only play one hands in every three hours or so. And then every when I play a hand, everybody knows exactly where I'm at. So I just had a guy call me with queen high and a nine kicker. Why do you think that is? But. You know, what the hell do I know? <laughs> All right, back to hold him on here. It's so funny when you play PLO and then it goes back and hold him. And like, wait a second, I only got two cards, you know? Uh, where are my other two? Mm. Don't give advice. That's so funny. Remember, the truth is the truth. Casey. The truth is the truth. The Remember. Tru the truth is the truth. <laughs> Uh, I love social media. People are awesome. Hey, 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 Jimmy B747. Will you send us the link where you play like a big tournament we can watch and learn? Oh, big cash game is fine too. I always love to learn. You know, guys, I got about an hour to go. I'm going to be more quiet now because my lungs really hurt. And at the end of the tournament, you attract a lot of the dum dums, and I don't feel like it. We do a lot bunch more giveaways. We already gave away a bunch of money today. Looks like we're most likely going to make day two unless we run into a big hand. <coughs> now, day two, we're going to have a whole bunch of giveaways. So you definitely want to be there. <coughs> and uh, it's just important, you guys, remember the truth is the truth. Especially if you read it on the internet. Uh, I'm too old for this.
I see why a lot of places they can, they only let you allow to chat if you're like a member or. I know Queen Nine. Don't you like that? Are you guys at that hand right now? I've played ACR every day for the past five years. I play up to about thirty three dollar tournaments and all the way to two dollar tournaments. Cool. Hey, whatever your range is, that's all. That's awesome. ACR is awesome. The move with Fofo was great. As Renee repped Ace Ace under the gun. I wasn't totally trying to rep. I just think John No Arms races every other hand, and if he has an Ace King or Ace Queen, we flip. You know, actually a player on ACR nine years, I think. Yep, I've been on ACR a very long time too. It was really awesome when they said, "Hey, you need to be part of the team," because I love ACR. It's like, have you heard of ACR? I'm like, have I heard of it? Here's my username. Check my record. Love ACR. Um. You know, it's not necessarily that uh, I was trying to rep aces. So I just the guy has a huge range. I got a pocket pair. You know, it's tournament poker. That's two more day ones coming. You know, if you guys they just added Saturday if you want to play. And uh, what's the worst thing? We flip. You know, I mean, every now and then the person will have a bigger pocket pair, but like I said, this guy literally raises every hand. Yeah, go ahead. Well, you asked Tanya to make me a peppermint tea. My lungs are like really killing me. Oh, okay. <coughs> I got 1.5 million. I'm happy with that. That's yeah, okay. I was like at almost 3 million, but... um. I think we just went to the last level. Let's see what we're <laughs> Level 27. So we have two more levels. We got another hour of play. 59 minutes of play. The truth is the truth. <laughs> Remember that. Oh, Sean Anthony, um, yeah, you should say hi next time. Actually, I gotta send a message to Alan Castle. I was like, you wanna sell this stuff or are you being flaky? What's going on here? I'm sending him a text message right now. He's a poker player, he should be awake, right? If we buy it from Alan, we'll make a video out of it. How about that? Ooh, why did you fold? Oh, don't fold me shit. I just timed out. I flopped the flush draw and a straight draw on a bomb pot. Oh, please, please don't let me get there. Oh, the guy has aces. Another guy has ace-10. They both fall in. And I would have missed. Thank God I timed out. Oh, just saved myself. A oh, I just saved myself $3,000. And that's cash money. It's not tournament money. Whew. Good time. Because I would have called it at straight and a flush draw. How was your experience with Rug? He's a super nice guy. Rug is a nice guy. <laughs> All right. With a big blind. Ace and watch Renner play at WSOP. He's significantly better than Donkey said play cheap heel and math only. He's a very small and smart balanced player, sir. Thank you, Dr. Prepper. I came from Face Rook. What's up, random kid? That's his username, random kid. I'm not calling him random kid. 
Yeah, I don't really play that much. Um, you know, just the math only or game theory and stuff like this. I pretty much adjust to my table. Thank you, baby. I, I, I adjust to my table and, you know, what the playing conditions are. And also how my cards are running. Like, I'm a strong believer. And, you know, you know that, I guess that's why we have run good and stuff like this. Sometimes you just, like, you, you have days in poker. It doesn't really matter what you do. You can flop top set, get them all in, and guaranteed they'll hit runner, runner, whatever they need. So, um... So I adjust. I also play pretty much every type of poker game there is for big money. And if the, if there's a game that I don't know, you know, as long as the rules are not too crazy. I mean, I sat down and played Chinese poker without knowing nothing about it at like five bucks a point. And I still don't know how the point system works, but um, I think I won like a hundred bucks. So it was really, I only played, the, the two guys that were playing were super cool. So it was just fun. <clears throat> but I just do my game and I love cards and I love things that make you think chess and you know I'll play military games a anything that makes you think strategy and overcome that's just my thing that's how I look at life too right mm -hmm. so like I'll play whatever you want to play you know I used to be very competitive when I was young and in good shape now obviously stuff hurts so we're not doing that anymore Oh, yeah. There were some Monopoly fights. Yeah, in our household. <laughs> Casey gets mad, but Casey cheats. I do not. Oh, yeah. Let's see what these guys are. You're only saying that because I beat you last time we played. I don't remember you beating me. Uh, I think because you were like, okay, we gotta go upstairs. We gotta do some business. I'm like, I hate you. Huh. Um, Somebody said it's, it's on a high delay, but that's what it takes for big hands, you know? And, like, people do come in the room. And they're trying to watch you. I mean, there was people earlier with different tables that were trying to egg you on. And now that we switched table, they're gone. So, you know. Somebody was trying to egg you on? Well, you know, just trying to get you in tilt. Somebody says, I can't play PLO. It's too much for my brain. PLO is awesome. But the one thing you really want to pay attention to PLO, especially if you play for bigger money, you want to flop a super strong hand. And you want to have to redraw. You know, a lot of people just flop the nuts. I'm like, oh, he got lucky on me. I'm like, no, he didn't. He had a good hand, too. He just had to redraw. <coughs> I watch all Renee's streams and watch all the stored wars. I just like his flow. Thank you, Sam. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Thank you, Sam. Uh, oh, I Wiley. Watched, I watched him, too. I like him, too. Casey likes me, too. You can sit over here again if you want to. No, I'm okay. Casey says, I super enjoy his poker streams. Awesome. I watch all Renee's streams. I play PLO and PLO8. I like PLO8, too. What's I'll, PLO8? Eight. It's eight, eight or cards? better, so it's a high and low. Oh. Okay. So you can get high hand, high low hand. It oh. plays very different at PLO. Like, you get eight cards. <laughs> <coughs> There's a, it, it's, it plays very different, surprisingly, than just high low. I prefer high now, but I play a high low too. There's another game I would play. It's called Big O, which is PLO eight with five cards, basically. <coughs> yeah. You know, I start to play a lot of stud games. Like, I'll play a uh, high-low stud, but 200 400 you know, dollars. Uh, I'll play high-low stud. Actually, on America's card room, I started playing a lot of stud. High-low, so that 10-20 game, 20-40 game is a really good game. A lie is a lie as well, in case you weren't aware, man. I think that's for somebody else. So, I'll play everything. You know, I played with a lot of very famous poker players. Like I said, this online game is Phil Hellman's private game. There's a lot of famous poker players that are friends of mine that I played with. Uh -huh, I like that you're working a deal with Alan Castle. I just sent him a message. I don't know if he replies, but he's busy, whatever. Super hot anyway, so I don't really want to feel like driving to Vegas. But again, guys, you know, I have so much stuff. Um, It doesn't really matter. I have so much stuff. Too much stuff. We got a nice PLO hand here. Jack, Jack, King, Nine, Double Suited, Diamonds, and Hearts. Oh, Alan just re replied. He said he's on a road trip for poker. I'm like, okay, good luck. Fans want to know. Um, so Alan just replied. Hold on a second. We got a big PLO hand here. I got about 3,000 in front of me right now. Flop is four ten six, so that sucks for us. One diamond, one hard riffle. Alan Castle, Chuck of the Hollywood Cherokee, Cincinnati, 
Tulsa. Oh, there's a whole bunch of places. 5-8 suited. We're just going to fold. Oh, hey, what's up, Mark? Can you take my seed? You can take my seed. Who's Mark? Mm. Losing some volume? Uh-oh. Check one, check two. Sorry, my lungs hurt. Microphone spaceship here. I was talking to the vice giver from a few minutes ago. Okay, no problem. You good for the poker community. Thank you. I appreciate it. I try to be. I'm sure some love me, some hate me. My marine raises King Jack offsuit. You know what? We're just gonna we're like in like forty minute countdown, fifty minute. I probably should play with this actually let's play with this guy. What the hell am I talking about? We're not playing scared. This guy raises every other hand. And maybe we get lucky and he has kings again and we just donkey him off eight hundred thousand ships. That's always a good time. Queen Jack seven three. Feel oh we fold. We have a gut shot here. John no arms called you always does. Hundred thousand dollar bet. We have position, so now we can check. Hopefully, he doesn't have aces. Okay, we miss anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. Fold it here. Hope he didn't hit the five. I don't think he has to ace. I don't think he has to five. We'll see. Let's see if we can build a pot. If we can't hit cards, maybe we can just do a little betting and not playing. He calls. What is he calling with? A five. Of course he hits the five. Stupid. Oh, Ukrainian player. Let me see something. Oh, we got aces, two, three, double suited. So see, that's the new European poker style. Like these guys, Ukraine. Okay, let's make uh, notes. His play was he gets four or five suited under the gun, and he raises. That's his play. Okay, we have pocket aces with the nut flush drawn. In the game, we bet $700, $700 pot. Flop is six, jack, nine. We have pocket aces with with the spades. <sighs> Remember, like some of the people that watch my stream, where I'm like, that's the new thing that's really hot in Europe. Now everybody's like, oh, any suited connectors and stuff, race it under the gun. <coughs> I should have just re raised in pre flop. Okay, I get called for seven hundred dollars, so I really need to hit a spade on the turn. But now the pot, oh, this guy raises all in, so we're going to go all in. But this guy's JD, he's a loose player, so who knows. We got the nut flush drawn pocket aces. Yeah, I think five minutes is a light delay, too. So we just went all in. The other guy went all in for 33.65. The guy flopped a set of jacks. We need to hit our spade. Or hit the ace. We hit the ace on the second board. We run two boards, so we chop it. So, well, he never runs. So we actually ended up making five hundred dollars because another guy was calling pre flop and he put dead money in there. Oh, we got pocket aces again with ace, deuce, five with suited clubs. Uh, okay, we gotta change the notes on this guy. Pocket eights. We're just gonna limp. This might be note. Let's see. Right here. So. Um, New European style. Raise a lot of hands under the gun. Also, in the flop, he called me with bottom pair and a five kicker. Call. Who don't fold that. Okay, horns on a 68. He calls 68. So, this is going to be our all in. 
moment. <coughs> that would suck if we bust right at the end. But again, we're not gonna be afraid to play these two guys. They just play a lot of hands, like I said, four five suited, nine six suited. So you know he made it seventy thousand. Hey, there's no dirty talk like that, okay? <laughs> That's dirty talk. Oh, we flopped a set of aces here, but three hearts on the flop, unfortunately. Let's see, we call four hearts now. <clears throat> pair the board. Board does not pair. Checks. We got a set of aces. Hopefully, it doesn't have a flush. And the set of aces wins. Nice set. Seventeen hundred dollar pot. Okay. And they do want to send in. You're playing for real money on that one. Yeah, except the guy that's giving me poker lesson. He doesn't know. He just know the truth. Doesn't hurt. Okay, this guy must have a big. I mean, he did call ace king with coin flipping. Do you? Ocho. Ocho. Yes. There you go. <laughs> That's funny. I always forgot I was here. <laughs> mm, ow. <laughs> Keep it gangster. That's it. What up, horn son? There you go. You want to raise all these hands? He actually had a good hand. But that's okay. You know, because we're not afraid to play. 2.2 million. See you day two. Pre-flop, pre who was favorite? Were you 51 and he was 50? Or it's 49? like 52, 48. Like something like, it's a coin flip. It's but a, are you higher? I'm the one. Yeah, the you pair. Have, I'm ahead. He, he has ace high. Because you have pair. You have pair. No, I let Casey play for thousands of dollars, which is a scary <laughs> thing. Does Casey go to Vegas with your supportive poker? Why is it hard to find rare and special finds? Uh, well, um, I have a dog collars type of thing going on. And then like... um. You know, even though that's the Me Too movement now, like, I don't really go with it. So, like, I just hooked it up. I'm like, we're going to Vegas. And if she finds it, it's and then she kind of gets in the car. Isn't that the dog car, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. No, she goes. She loves playing. I, I'm teaching her to play poker. So, she still makes a lot of mistakes. I did or, not. You just asked me if a pair beats Ace King. No, I didn't ask that. I asked percentage-wise, is two Ace Worth fifty one percent and ace king forty nine percent free flop. That's what I asked. It's the made hand. He has to make a hand. I'm already stabbed. Yeah, I know so you wrote the made hand, so you're fifty one percent. Fifty two forty eight. Okay, fifty two forty eight. But I knew that ace beat. I was just asking what that because I don't know percentages. Oh, my head hurts. So um. You know what? And just so you know, you guys, I did play in a tournament and there were a hundred people and I came in thirteen. Well, you did better than that. You came in second in the Jennifer Harmon tournament. Yeah, I came in second out of three hundred and there were a whole bunch of pros playing. Okay. And okay. I only came in thirteen. Okay. Okay. See, that's where I get it. I used to be a really calm person, but then I started marrying her and now I just walk around the house and people all day. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah. Well, you said I wasn't a good poker player. I didn't say you weren't a good poker player. You're a great poker player for how much information you have. But yeah. there's still a lot of mistakes you oh, make. Oh, there's still tons to know because poker Like is... when you have to set of aces and the guy could get a runner, runner straight and then you bet it the whole way. And then you're afraid that maybe you call for the runner, runner straight. And there's only one hand combination he that... He's a tight player. There's only one hand combination. You check your set of aces. It's like when a hand like this comes, if you really call me the whole way for run and run a straight, then hey, more power to you. Here you go. Take the rest of the money. It's fine. I was really tired. And Casey, there's no excuses. This is life, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if our chat is at the big hand yet. Not yet. We still have low. So we, now we're back at 2.2. My height was like 3 million. But I only had that for like a short while. So I'm good. 2.2. Let's go to take 2. Just so that, like the Highlands is a light fish. And you know what? He made a lot of fishy plays, you know? So big for coming, big one coming up for him. There's one way he can run this poorly for this long. Come on, Renee. Uh, Ace King, I raised it pre flop or they re raise it, but it's Brazil God that re raises. He loves free betting. Ooh, we got a King high flush draw, a pair of sixes. We check.
do is this betting. Can I draw Lewis for 500 bucks? Deuce. Lewis never stops betting is the problem. Now you bet 1700. Straight gets set a turn, so I only have a flush draw, 22%. Huh? I'm rabbit. Oh, I would have made trip sixes in the river, but I don't know. King five off suit. We fold. Okay, guys, we have a good stack. I'm really tired. Um, We're just going to try to cruise into day two now. We have what we have left here, 41 minutes. If we have a big hand, we're not going to be afraid to play it, obviously. I tell you guys that all the time. Are you guys, let me see, are you guys on my big hand yet? Are you, have you seen my double up yet? Oh, there you guys go, you're watching it right now. <coughs> Lewis raises, every, every, so every pot somebody raises and a Lewis three bets it. Which is really funny because in uh, PLO, like, raising preflop doesn't really do that much. But it's great because he just keeps on betting it. And if you, if you hit a flop or anything like this, then, um. You're there. So the flop is king 10. I have ace, queen, jack in my hand. So that's good. I have to check. Lewis is going to... Oh, I bet six by accident. I don't know what I was thinking there. There we go. One level left. Yay. You guys just saw my big hand. Okay, here we're just betting in. We got a wrap straight draw here. Oh, Miss click. Not by Renee. Congress, hope they deal you garbage and you hold till 11. I can hold, no problem. On it twice. Let's see what Pink Jinx says. Hey, so we make the straight on one of them. So we chop, me and him chop. Right? Yeah. So we chop, but we get everybody else's money, so we make a little bit of money. Should have just ran it once. Crap. <sighs> Not a double would be splendid. Ah, sometimes a ace king beats a pair. It does. It's a flip, you know. But whatever. Ghost of Emma said he pulled me aside. He sent me a FaceTime message. He's like, "Look, kid, don't be afraid to play your hand. It is what it is. You know, you put it all in. I mean, really, if you have a, if you go up against ace king, it's really no difference if you have pocket threes or pocket queens. It doesn't make a difference. So, so we just play it." Oh, yeah, don't remind me at the end. I mean, do remind me at the end. We're going to give away that 5%. So you guys go on that Twitter to America's card room. Marriage will make the rage. That's funny. Ah, da, ta, ta. We have 2.2 million. We love it. We have 4,000 in cash on the PLO game. This guy just really min-raised. So hold him. Fold. Good job getting second, Casey. I think you're good for the poker community like Renee. Thank you. Play poker now. Now, Casey knows how to play. She actually does good in tournaments. I was going to buy her in the women's event. I mean, it's our money to get her, so she was going to buy in the women's event. But then, you know, everything happened again. So I'm like, ah, you know what? It's better if you don't go. <coughs> Which was the right decision because pretty much everybody that went to the World Series got sick. So, but yeah, so you know, especially when Tatiana gets older, 
um, when Tatiana gets older, you know, and she goes off to college and stuff, me and Casey probably be traveling a lot to go play poker together. So she'll go play poker anyway. I'll, I'll probably play a lot higher limits than she will. But um, she still plays serious limits, you know, $500,000 buying. Which I guarantee you, most people that give advice on you, they don't play those limits. <laughs> So, the stuff that Casey has to work on, she still needs to read a lot of hands and play. I mean, a lot of times she always thinks whatever the nuts is, that's what her opponent has. So, so she's still working on that. And, you know, the, the thing that I worked with her, to, like, so that she's getting good at now, before she used to bet, like, $50 in the $600 pot, I'm like... That doesn't do anything. So now she's getting good at pot size bets and, you know, doing what she does. Like, she, like, literally will bluff $25 and $800 points. She's like, oh, I was just bluffing. I'm like, they're going to call you on anything for that. That is not a bluff. So, but she plays good poker. You know, she learns a lot and she hasn't played that much poker. So she's only been playing poker probably for a couple of years now. And not that much. So just off and on. So she's doing good. Ooh, we got a big pots against both of the fishies. I'm assuming they both should have a 10 here. I mean, John, no arms, gotta have to 10, obviously. Yeah, they both have to 10. Okay, we're at break. I'm gonna use the restroom really quick. Yeah, two to three million chips. I'm happy too. I mean, hey, if we if we go to day two with 2.2, let's just do it. I'm really tired. We'll fight again at day two. I'll be right back. I gotta take a restroom break real quick. All right, guys. What's up, Russia? Ask Nick. What's up, yeah? Ultimate bat. And so I did have an ultimate bat account. Um, I didn't like it. I never liked ultimate bat. <coughs> I'm 
my favorite site back in the day was Paradise Poker, which I think a lot of people liked. But, you know, then it became Poker Stars. Full Tilt was okay. And now I think America's Card Room is just as good as all the other sites. So it's a younger site. The only thing I wish for America's Card Room is if they start adding more games because I like playing all the other games. I want to have the option to play Do 7, Triple Draw, you know, stud games, um, all kinds of stuff. So maybe one day they'll do that. Maybe they don't. But I love America's Card Room. Oh, your wife played in a women's event? I hope she did good. And you're right, there's a little bit of a percentage between threes and queens, obviously. You know, especially if you have something else and if they hit something, but it's all good. Like I said, I just play poker. I play the way I play and let the chips fall where the chips fall. Pretty sure we're playing the last level now. Let's see. Level 27. We're about to start level 28, right? Let's see. We're number 40 out of 105. The day started with 656 people. Oh, do we have two more levels? No. Fold. Let me check in a second. Yeah, fold. What do we have here? We have King 8 suited, fold. Come on, we must be level 28, right? Oh, next level is in seven minutes. It was just break. Okay, so we got 37 minutes left. 37 minutes left, folks. That's a link, so um, it's a documentary talking about the scam and everything. Is there a link for the, um, what's it, the Ultimate Bet Scam? I would want to watch that. But they had all kinds of stuff going on. It wasn't like Annie Duke's husband, like, or boyfriend at the time. He won, like, a big tournament for a million dollars they were giving away. Did they vote online casinos in California? That would be really nice. <laughs> Time to run it up. We try. I'm happy with 2.2 .2 million right now. So that puts us in the top third for day two right now. Probably by the time because like Sunday and Saturday will be bigger days. But still that should put us in the top half. I mean not top half but like about halfway through. And then you know we'll take day two. And we'll see what happens from there. I don't know. We folded. Oh, we picked up a little bit of chips. Two point three. <laughs> See, like, you know, my betting is not the best there, but again, I'm betting into a guy that is super loose. So he has a huge calling range right there. I mean, he could have called me with King Jack, King Queen, who knows? I don't know. Queen Jack. Something even worse. Who knows with these guys? 20, 35 minutes. 8 6 in the big, A6 in the big blind. John, no arms. Come on, John, no arms. Lose your chips to me before we go. Marine on the button. He doesn't raise the button. That is weird. 
And then Rolling Throne is pretty new, so we don't know where he's at. We flop the Ace here. We also flop a Wraparound Straight Draw in the PLO game. He checks, we check. Let's see what the turn look. We turn two pair. We like it as long as he doesn't have 8-9. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Uh, can Canadians play in Asia? Oh, yeah, lots of Canadians. Can America's card room laughs, Canada. Okay, we're going to bet the pot here. We have a wraparound straight draw. And what's happening over here? So A6. We have two pair. We should be good here. I mean, let's bet three quarter pot here. 81,000. See what he does. Calls with pocket deuces. Thank you, buddy. Love it when you guys call with under pairs. Because you know I'm bluffing every time. 2.4 million in chips and going. Let's see where you guys at. You guys are watching me with 2.2, so it's going to get sexy time. <coughs> hey, Win Julian, did they vote that we can finally play online in California for online gambling? Uh, so we did not. Hit the straight, and we have a big bet against us. 34,000. Uh, you know what? We're playing tight now, even though I know this guy's a dummy. And then we don't hit the river on the straight, so we're just going to check. We can't really win here. And then we hit a pair on the river. Oh, we hit a pair of deuces on the river. We won. Huh. That's weird in PLO. <coughs> the guy had the same straight draw, but he didn't have a pair with it. <coughs> Do I play Omaha? I'm playing Omaha right now. Omaha High PLO. I'll play everything, guys. <coughs> <coughs> I can literally be with a bunch of gamblers to say... I mean, I was playing PLO $50 bomb pot. $50 bomb pot. Every hand. Double board. Okay? You have to buy it for 1000 at a time. That's a game right there for you. Again, let me say this again. PLO, every hand is double board, and every hand is a $50 bomb pot. $50 or $100 bomb pot. So I think in a King's Lounge it was, um, I feel it might have been 100 in a King's Lounge. I don't remember. It might have been 52 out. I really don't remember. Um... So I'll play any game, whatever. Oh, he went all in. Shit. Let's see. I shouldn't have called with him. Like, it's always dangerous when we don't know what he's doing. And this guy's going to fold because he's just raising a late position bet. He's going to call. All right. 8 7 of hearts will have to fold here. Ace queen versus ace jack. And we were lost. So, ace of queen hands. The guy from Malta is bye bye. I'm glad to see some of the Gracies give Shrike a 20 a bit of a break last few hours. Yeah, they come in. That's, you know. They want to come in. They want to tell you how to play poker. And like I said, the people that usually stand on the sidelines, they usually know everything. I get the same thing in storage. People tell me, like, if I go to live auctions, they see me buy a unit for, like, you know, ten, eleven thousand they come up, it's like, you know, it's like that wasn't really a good buy because this, this, this. I'm like, okay. And it's like you have nothing else to say? I'm like, no. What do you want me to do? They think I'm gonna tell you why it's a good buy? I'm not gonna tell you. You're right. You should stick with the twenty dollar units and let me buy these. Ooh, PLO, the aces with double suited. Ace queen, a ace queen of diamonds, ace seven of clubs. Somebody raced at seventy five pre flop. I'm gonna make it five hundred pre flop. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, it, it, it is exciting sometimes with the crazies, whatever, but it's just funny, you know. They just all, um, they always have something to say. Okay, at 500 I got four callers, $2,500 in the pot. 
Shit, two hearts on the flop, two, five, three. That's a terrible flop for my hand. Normally, I don't three bet aces in PLO, but I did in this game because they just play crazy. And one guy, of course, is all in for a thousand. Another guy calls the thousand. <sighs> so there's at least one flush draw. There's probably somebody with six, four already. The great thing about this online game right here, they just play so bad. So two guys call. Um, the guy, other guy has 6,000 behind, so I can't call in case he has 6-4. I just have to fold. So one guy calls with a pair of fives and a gut shot straight draw. And the other guy has ace-4. He flopped the straight, the pair of fives. <laughs> a pair of fives loses. That's fair. Uh, what we got here? Fold. Okay, cool. I, I will watch that scandal later. So the guy that beat my hand, his hand was jack four suited of clubs, four diamonds, four hearts. PLO, baby. <coughs> That's why PLO is a lot better to just play post-flop, I think. Okay, so this is a new play. I don't know how she plays. Maddie Pie. We'll pick up the nut flush draw. What do we got here? Eight, nine, no diamond draw. Check. We fold our PLO hand. Check, check. I hope online pro doesn't get left behind if online gambling passes California. Daily fantasy sports is already legal as a considered scheme. I know that's so funny, right? Uh, we're just going to check. You know, there's a good chance she has ace king. Ace queen, we chop it. See, it's the first time she played a hand. I mean, she just sat down, so I don't know how she plays. I don't want to bet. I almost bet, but I don't know. You know what? We're 27 minutes away. I got 2.4. What am I going to bet in that pot? 300,000. And then I lose. Let's be sitting at 1.8. And I have no idea about the player. <coughs> Omaha is my favorite. It is fun. I like all poker. You can check. Okay, we check. Multiple pro pokers were involved in scamming everyone as well. Phil Hamlet and a dupe included. Uh, I don't know about Phil. I know Annie was part of it. She also had that poker week. But, I mean, who knows? I don't know. Whatever. Hans Gruber. Is he really from Germany? Kazakhstan. Uh, what do we got here? We have nothing. We have to fold. I mean, like I said, I play an ACR all the time. I play ACR and I play this private app game sometimes. So, I love the stud game on ACR. The weekends, really good stud. If you like playing stud, high, low, they have a great stud game. Seven fold. <coughs> twenty five minutes, guys. Twenty five minutes to day two. I kind of feel content. If I have a big hand, I'll play it. I'm tired. We're gonna give away the five percent as soon as I'm done here. Actually, did everybody do this last chance here so you can come in? The 5%er. Um, what's the Twitter? Let's get Twitter over here. 
six three suit and we fold so i'm gonna pick a winner right in like just a few minutes so if you haven't done it this is the one you want to do where's my knight uh, isn't this the one we did okay so you gotta retweet this you gotta like it so 46 people liked it, but only 13 people retweeted it. So you got to be retweeted and liked, and you have to reply with either like uh, congrats to the winner or thanks ACR for the opportunity. And that's going to be good. So I'm take I'm whatever I win, I'm giving away 10%, and that 10% is going to get broken down into five shares, 5% 5 off the 10%. And... Um, that's going to be the first 5%. The other 95% I'm going to give away on day two and three. So you definitely want to come and watch. So you guys have a few moments. Double suited. Let's see what happens here. <clears throat> do three offsuit that's an easy fold Nine three suited in the big blind. Okay, we're gonna call this the two ten over here. Let's see, read you guys' questions. Thanks guys for putting up the stream. You're welcome. Thanks everyone who was hanging out. Thank you guys. Yes, much appreciated. Go do the Twitter stuff so we can. Uh, oh, we flopped two pair and a straight flush draw. I like it. He bets nine thirty. We're gonna go all in for thirty two hundred here. Fold. Actually, that's kind of a lose all in. I probably shouldn't have done it, to be honest. But he's going to bet anyway, so might as well try to run it twice. Another guy calls. I'm getting three to one on my money, so if he calls, I'm getting it's like an $11,000 pot. Ten seven suited. Oh, everybody has a flush draw. I'm the only one with two pair. So I got the main hand. Oh, I get counterfeited. No, I win. I win the main pot. Ten thousand five hundred dollar pot, guys. Yeah, baby. I just won almost an eleven thousand dollar pot, baby. Real money, yeah. And you know, I'm in 4,500. I bought in three times with 1,500. So I'm up 6,000 and I'm tired. I'm going to sit out. Because those guys just pushed it in both with a flush draw. One guy had four of the same students and nobody even had a pair. Okay, great, because I think I found the house. Oh, you found another house? Oh my God. It's not the time to buy a house right now. Okay, we have to buy a house. Let me see. Okay, you know what? I don't want to talk it on stream because in case yeah. we do buy that, I want to put that on stream. Let's wait till we're done. We'll look at it. <coughs> Casey, don't make these guys witnesses. <laughs> Hold on, I got it. We have twenty minutes left, and I gotta get away five percent. <coughs> I have ten thousand dollars. Nice. I'm gonna leave. Cool. Now I'm up sixty one hundred dollars in this game. You know what? I should probably play more, but I'm too tired. Oh, actually, I'm up six thousand twenty-six. 
<coughs> nice. We'll take it. I should play more, but honestly, I'm too tired. Even that hand, when I pushed all in, when the guy made a thousand, I pushed all in. It was wrong because I had a, I had two pair and had a straight flush draw. But if I just hit the flush, it's only jack high. And so somebody could have called with the straight already, the nuts or a set and a bigger three draw. So it was kind of stupid. Even though the guy who bet a thousand is a loose player, it wasn't my best play. But then I got called by two hands, weaker hands, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> I'll go play the big game if they started. Nobody here has a pussy next to me. Who, me? <laughs> I just don't want to play PLO. I'm too tired today. Today, Thursday, right? Yeah. Plus 6,026. All right. Safe. So you know how that guy was saying earlier the truth is the truth and stuff like this? Because the truth is the truth. So I just, in one hand, I just won $6,000. And that's the smallest game I play right now. Okay, that's the small game I play. Actually, I'm going to go back and look at this hand really quick. I want to see what happened really quick. I want to see what they called me with. Because I'm tired and I don't want to... Um, hand history... Oh, and I got counterfeit in the river, too. I thought for sure I'd lose in the river. Let's see. I'll tell you guys this PLO hand. Like, if you guys want to play good PLO, America's card room has amazing PLO. Okay. So. No, no. Stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Leave it up, please. Thank you. The flop is 7, 8, 10 with the 8, 10 of um, clubs. I'm holding 7, 8, and then ace, ace, jack, and then I've... Uh, jack seven of clubs. So I have two pair with a gut shot, straight flush draw, and I also have um just a jack high flush draw. So it's actually not that strong of a hand. Uh, pre flop, it was somebody made it two hundred. We had five callers, just just under two hundred. So it, it came out to like nine hundred ninety bucks. A loose play in early position. He bet the flop nine hundred dollars. I raised it to thirty two hundred. Another guy called. He went all in, so we went all in for that. Uh, they had a, like a five thousand dollars side pot because they had more chips. The one guy called with ace four nine five all of clubs for the club draw, and I guess the four five gave him a gut shot straight draw, and that's it. And the guy who made the other call, he had king queen of clubs, and a jack deuce of hearts. So I got to say something. So nobody had a made hand or anything. The turn is a deuce. The river card is a ten. And I win. So my pot was ten thousand five hundred twenty-eight. The side party one was forty-one seventy. Crazy, right? Super crazy. So um, you don't understand the peel off. You like that? I know you're looking. I'm looking. Okay. Okay. Well, you have to wait about twenty minutes because I have to give away five percent. No, I, I'm looking. I still haven't finished looking at all the pictures. So, all right. Okay. Okay. <coughs> 15 minutes in the Venom, baby. Don't have a Twitter account. Good luck, everyone. Sorry, Dr. Prepper. Get a Twitter account because we give a lot away on Twitter. But don't worry. When uh, when we do the day two stream, we're going to give away a lot on YouTube, too. Nice pot, yeah? $11,000 pot. Well, 10500 Don't want to have to hate us. Correct me there. To me, that's 11000 I only think in thousands in that game. <clears throat> so that was nice so I played that game on the side the last 45 minutes just to distract me and I made $6,026 which means I can buy two more Venom tickets if I want to yeah. I can like just go crazy just go all in every hand right now and if it doesn't work out I can buy two more Venom tickets what do you think? you're crazy I am crazy <laughs> 
All right, min race. Let's see a flap. We flap a straight. No, we don't. How does Phil do it? Tick 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 tick. Rene has eight outs for runner runner. Or tick 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 tick. Two sixes for the bigger full house. Ace Robert. Bonus code Rene. Download it. Do the right thing. Yeah, we had a lot more views in the stream this time. People stuck around. I think a lot of people are liking it. A lot of people are liking it just for the simple reason because um, a lot of people are liking it for the simple reason because I just exposed my card so they can really play along. Yeah, so they can learn. Huh? They can learn. Oh, you don't want to learn poker from me, but I'm just saying they can play along. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to poker. I have a hard time trusting online sites. Do you think there's an ins any inside cheaters on some of them? Oh, uh, I mean, you know, wherever there's money, people will try to find a system around. But you got to remember, it's an online site's best interest to make the game as straight as possible. I don't think sites cheat or anything like this. And honestly, most cheaters are dumb. So that's a reason why they have to cheat, because they're dumb. And most of their cheats are kind of stupid. So is there a guy that, I mean, wherever there's money, a guy's trying to get an edge or so, so. I can tell you an ACR, I play a lot of them, and I don't really have a problem. What I got going on? Michael just replied, Mr. Longcar. It's like, it only says a light fish. Because I put the label on there. Somebody saw it. So many people checking on the stream and then they see me in the table. Like, he mocked me as a light fish. <laughs> it's a nice guy, but he made like two or three plays that I thought were really fishy. In my opinion, I was a fishy play. You know, he replied, he doesn't know who I am. It's like, it doesn't matter. This is just how I read you right now. So... Uh, And then I busted him, but he actually had kings, not aces. So, oh, so you hate that? Not if I'm the one with aces. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I just got this card shipped. I bought it for 80 bucks on eBay. Oh, great. Casey's like, yeah, whatever. Did he use soccer? Soccer, fun spec and bauer. He's like the greatest German soccer player. Well, it's not the, I don't know about the greatest. Did it's, you buy it's, that a long time ago? You finally got it, or what? No, I, I bought a German team card, a sticker. Sparrowless, yep, we got an extra million. So, um, PSA 9, Franz Beckenbauer. <sighs> yeah, you know what? I was gonna play some more in the life game, but I think I played over 12 hours of poker. I think I'm kind of done. I know, I'm like, no. I think my brain is fried. What sucks? So we didn't buy the seventeen thousand dollar locker, so I have to do paperwork tomorrow. Ten minutes, guys. Ten minutes. That should be enough for one or two orbits. Jack seven off suit. Let's see, is there any low stacks we can pick off? There's a 600,000. I would hate to go to day two with 600,000. I mean, you're still close to the money, but you're kind of playing for min cash. <coughs> oh, Korean clutch. That's a new play. Did I get moved from my table? No, just new people came in. Oh, both of my fishies on the left are gone. All three of my fishies are gone. Oh, you know what? I think I got moved. Did I get moved? Anybody paying attention? <laughs> I think I got moved, and that's why when, when Maddie Pie said earlier, I just wasn't a whole new table. Let me see. Luckily, I'm streaming this. John, no arms. 
Oh, I got moved to a whole new table. I didn't even realize. Yeah, that's how tired. That's how tired I am. I didn't even realize. Whole new table. Wow. Just like the retweet and hope you get lucky. All right, we'll see. So, um. But, um. But, um, I know my brain is fried at this point. I'm sorry for the tease, I know. That's okay. Come on. I'm okay to be teased. <laughs> About to hop a shower. Nine minutes and then we'll do the giveaway. So, guys, as soon as we're done here, we're going to do the giveaway. And then, you know what, remind me, as soon as I do the giveaway, I need to do a tweet, too. Maybe we'll do two giveaways. Okay, you guys want to hang around, I'm going to do two giveaways. If you care about winning money and get prize pools, because that we're making it to day two, whoever wins some of these giveaways is almost guaranteed money, because we are, we, I mean, we have eight minutes, and if you make it a day two, a lot of people will redeem the money. Ooh. What's Nana doing? Why is she so sleep so early? Like ten thirty, I guess. <sighs> Top ten been all here day crying. Top ten, you almost won the big, the big twenty six hundred dollar ticket, right? So, uh, yeah, you were really close, I think, if I remember this right. Ghost of M said, fair enough. <coughs> Ghost of M been all day here, too. I hope you got some good clips, Ghost of M. I didn't see any clips on the ACR side, so what the hell happened there? That's okay. It's okay. Let me text message Melanie. What should we take a picture of our our people are playing slow now? Da, da, da. Okay, you know, we'll take a picture when we dare day two. Six minutes, I just text message Melanie. I'm like, yeah, I think I've got day two. She's like, don't jinx this. I'm like, I was thinking the same thing. I know, right? We may have a new poker term that's good for poker. The light fish. <laughs> uh... Hey, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. You guys watch the stream. You watch poker. And, like, so, you know, I play a lot of poker. And, you know, I knew I was good at poker right away. And the reason I knew I was good right away. Um, You're good at math. No, the reason I You're knew. so like people. No, all the poker players, they have nicknames. Oh. And when I started playing poker, they gave me a nickname, like, instantly. The like, kid. No, everybody called me Guppy. Uh. Which I thought was really nice. You know, I don't know what it means, but. I'm known as the Guppy in Vegas. So, must have been good at poker. You got that joke? Yeah. For the ones that get Guppy, it's a fish, and fish is a very bad poker term. If they call you the fish, that's not a good thing. <laughs> What's up, Crease? 8.34 a.m. in the house. I hope I don't have to film anything on Storage Wars Monday or Tuesday. Because um, if I do, I have to fake a heart attack. Let's freaking go. Nice stack. What's up, Rob? Whoa. This chair broke right here. Like a screw broke in the side. I hate buying Costco crap. Oh, no. I guess it's in my furniture. It's Costco. Belarus, should we play? Right, let's play. 
Oh, look, I flopped it straight. I'm just going to go all in. Just hope he doesn't have queen, jack, and diamonds and gets there. There you go. End of the day. He called. We both have queen, jack. That's funny. We chop. He might, he probably just left it. He goes like, oh, my God. The guy check raced me all in and I got the nets. We both flopped the nets. Uh, you know what? We're going to send him a nice bottle of Chardonnay here. Or what's this? Dom Perignon. <laughs> How do you like that? You bet 100,000. You flopped the nets and the guy check raises you all in. and You think you're pretty good there, right? I know he snap called. I was like, damn. Somebody says I got moved 40 minutes ago. Big time. I didn't even realize. See, that's how tired I am. No paying attention no more. Damn, I thought last hand, like right at the end, I'm going to pick up another 250,000 in chips. Then he snap calls. Thank God he didn't flop a set because the board paired on the river. That would have sucked. <laughs> Oh well, Jack do suited, we fold. Three minutes left, guys. Dun, 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 dun. Super Renee. <laughs> Super Renee. <laughs> nah, you know what? We're good. Let's see. I mean, 2.2 .2 million, it puts us. It, 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 we'll be like halfway down the field. It keeps us competitive. keeps us competitive you know we've done a lot worse so hopefully when day two comes we start out with some good run good and spin it up and then just cruise to day three and then when day three comes we get some run good oh shit i got a pocket pair look at this two minutes to go in the game We got a lot of clips, to be honest. Oh, Ghost of M is like, we got clips. I love Ghost of M. Ghost of M, you my boy, Blue. <laughs> you know what that's from? No. From old school. You my boy, Blue! Old school? Yeah, the movie oh, with him for real. I don't remember. When he goes streaking. Yeah, yeah. Tastes so good when it hits my lips. We submit them to the social scenes, have a whole series of reasons they've posted certain times. I know, I'm just kidding. All right, we have pocket jacks. Let's just see what the flop looks like. Ace, king on the flop. Perfect for pocket jacks. We played that very conservative. Fold. You my boy, Blue. So for, sh so for sure the clips get used even if you don't see them on Twitter. Oh, okay. Okay. Jack five, fold. Duh. I don't care if they'll send me like this whole itinerary. Damn, Bitcoin is back at 24,000. Yeah, it's all, but it's kind of weird. It's like all more interest rates, everything goes up. It doesn't even make sense. Yeah, that's weird. I know that's what we were saying. It's all, it's all, um, it's all so manipulated. Oh, that's it. I think this is the last hand. What happened with the jack? Did they all bust? No, I just, just no, somebody made a min race. I just called. I don't want to get involved in a huge hand with jacks at the end. Who won? Or did you not call him? Um. Hold on a second, did I get a good picture here? Oh no, I got crap in a picture. I can't do that. Delete that. Um, the flop was ace king, and a guy bet a hundred thousand on the flop. And that's not a good flop for ace jack. Mm -mm. Guppy, somebody just said guppy. Everybody's laughing at my guppy joke. We're down to ninety four people advance. So the day started with six hundred fifty six people. Looks like ninety four around will advance. I mean, I'm assuming a couple people might bust in the last hand because that's just how it is. Rene Guppy in the soda. <laughs> hey, if you guys see me at the World Series, I just want you guys to come up and be like, Guppy, what's up, Guppy? <laughs> there goes Guppy. 
Oh my god, I just gave myself like the worst terrible nickname out. Actually, let's forget that whole story, guys. Day two with a sizable stack concords for me. Thank you, thank you. I think it's like a mid-level stack, isn't it? Because average stack right now is 293. So we're like we're okay there. We're live, we average. We have what do we have here? 123 big blinds, not bad. Okay, I think we have to wait for second and comes. I know I saw the diamonds with a flop. Oh, they seen the hand right now when we when I flopped the nuts. That's funny. Ninety three players are left right now. That's a cool Marcus Cardinal shot. You know I'm gonna run good. They have like a big old red layout. I love it. Heart attack. <laughs> Congratulations, you placed first in the tournament. Which is not true. It just means you advance to day two. Okay, you know what, guys? Mission accomplished. So stay tuned because there's gonna be a second opportunity to make money. So we're gonna give away. So guess the way it works, whatever we win, we're giving away 10%. It's gonna get split up into a hundred shares. This is going to be five shares. So 93 people advanced. Let's close this. We came in 40s out of 656 people. We'll take it. Let's close this. Actually, no, we're going to keep this open for a second. Let's go. So let's first, let's do the first giveaway. So, and then when we pick them, they got to make sure they retweet it. Because if you don't retweet, you're not winning. So the way I do this, I put my finger on the screen. And I'm just going to move the cursor up and down. And whatever name I hold on gets to 5%. Hey, do you have a piece of paper? Mm. Yes, would you like a piece of paper? Yeah, just a full-size one. So I'm going to put the name on my screen right now. I'm not looking. I just go up and down. Okay. Paul Gobert Jr., the Rain Man. Congrats to the winner. Let's see if he retweeted because that's an important one. Paul Gobert Jr. Let's see if he retweeted us. He did retweet us. That's our winner. Paul Gobert Jr. Let's write him down. Uh, we don't have his ACR name. Uh, oh, that guy tried to enter and win the... Um... Oh, this guy, he just actually won. Oh, he won one. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, he, he wrote stuff because I recognized his owl with the hat. Yeah, it's a lot easier with delays and cards up. I think it's a better stream. Sorry, Ghost, I didn't see what he said. So you want entry, but don't, but don't keep those chips. No, I do keep those chips. So when we start on, we have the same amount of chips. Okay, uh, so we're going to reply to this guy really quick. And then I'm going to tell you guys another way to do it.